It's uh, Saturday night. Fight night. I'll probably pop that on and watch it while I chop it up with everybody tonight. I don't know how long I'll actually be going or what I'll be doing tonight, to be honest. My night's just playing by its ear. So, um, yeah, we'll see what's going on. But crazy stuff going on, man. I was, you know, I don't really want to get into it too much so people pop in. But yeah, to the people that are listening at home, like, the stuff going on with Iran striking Israel's it's real. I I was live earlier when it happened when, when people were talking about it. I didn't know. And uh yeah, uh, that's very concerning, I would have to say. Very concerning. What up, homie? What's up, G? Shit, dude. I'm just uh, chilling. Molly went into my bed. Oh, so. I just sat on the Bible. It hurt my ass. <laughs> the devil's like, or God's like, what you get for talking about those Australians like that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What if I would have been like, Australians, they just fucking go on stabbing sprees? Shit. That would have been, dude, that would have been classic. I mean, everybody was talking about it last night. <laughs> have you ever been stabbed before? No, I, I yeah, actually I have. I've been I was stabbed like fighting twice. my dude over a knife. I've been stabbed twice, and one time this dude almost What's like up, killed legend? me. He stabbed me in the back, but like he didn't stab me in the back like from behind. He sta- he stabbed me in the back like he went around me and stabbed me, and I and I kicked him like this, and he like went away from me. But dude, if he if he what if he would have stabbed me all the way in the back, you know what I'm saying, into the lungs and shit? He tried to stab me good, and when I was walking Ooh. away, my back was hurting. I didn't realize he stabbed me, and then I felt my back, and I had blood, and I was like, the motherfucker stabbed me. So but, you didn't really even feel it because the adrenaline. It, he didn't like go deep into my lungs, but I have a scar on my back. Damn, you got some gangster stories. Yeah, bro, you were the first one in here, legend. I literally just went live. Like, oh, are we live? Dude, I didn't even know we were live. Yeah, a minute ago, we were. I was live when you popped in. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know if you were done. I just sent you the link. It was like, if he wants to pop in, you can. If he doesn't want to, that's cool. I don't know what yeah. to smoke. Should I take a dab? Should I smoke a J? I just ripped a dab and I got I smoked one of those Gorilla Glue uh pre-rolls I got. What's up, dub? Or out west. I like that name. Out West Landon. That's pretty cool, bro. But yeah, I got uh I smoked one of those Gorilla Glue pre-rolls last night. And it was uh I was bitching about them. It ended up not being so bad, bro. I mean it didn't taste like I wanted it to, but it got me really faded. It was really good, so. That's I'll good. I'll probably rock one of those again tonight. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what, what you smoking on. It's like a little J. It's like a third of J. I just want to get high, so I just need something. Is that dude guy? Oh, what up, dude guy? How you doing, brother? I didn't realize. I didn't read it right. What's up, dude guy? How you doing, man? Uh-huh. Time boys with big American dream. What up, Ryan? Welcome, bro. What time do the fights start? I don't know, but I uh, I got I only wanted to do a twenty dollar bet, but they had some kind of special that was like you get like six free twenty five dollar bets, but they jip you on how much you can win. So it's like mm. if I bet all my free twenty five dollar bets, I can only win like sixteen dollars each bet. 
but my twenty dollar bet I did, I could win thirty three. So add all that up, and it was it came out to like one twenty that I can win off a twenty dollar bet. That's cool. I hope you do it, bro. I hope you kill it. Who who'd you take? Do you know? Perriera. I don't know who that was. I was hoping the chat and the people in here would uh, enlighten me tonight on on the Uf on the UFC. I watched some of it, but I've been out of it for a while. So I don't know who's better, who's good. <laughs> well, Perriera is an interesting fighter because he got his start like in a weird way. Like he he fought uh, this guy who was the champion like a long time before he was the champion and knocked him out. And then when this dude was the champion, everyone kept saying, well, you got knocked out one time before. And he was like, yeah, by a nobody. Fuck that dude. So they actually found him and brought him back to fight him, and he knocked him out again. And everyone was like, oh, this guy's got your number. You know what I'm saying? So now he fights in the UFC because he's he was the champion after he knocked out the champion, you know? Right, right. And he's like, all right, well, there's nothing left. What up, pretty cat? What's good? Butter bean was fun, bro. He, do you see him now? He looks like I don't even know. He looks like a little bulldog or something. I don't know. He looks weird. He's all skinny now and like stretched out. <coughs> butter, butter, butter bean, butterlicious bean. What you getting into tonight, put 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 I saw I thought I thought I thought I saw a putty cat. Just chilling. Is everybody watching the fight or is everybody just kicking it? I think he isn't. I think he is last weight. What is that? He's yeah, he has lost a lot. Of, yeah, he lost. Yeah, he did definitely lose some <laughs> weight, bro. They were talking about he was going to come back and fight. That dude is no more going to fight a fucking fly off of him. The UFC Josh, 300. Uh, that's what I'm saying, Josh. I'm not really... I don't, I don't know what fights to. UFC fights, bro. I'm going to put him on in a minute. I, I like watching the main events. I don't care like about the first few cards. Dude, this main event's not for hours, and it's like in California. I know that's why. That's why I'm not too worried about it at the moment. You know. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to watch people fight for like fucking six hours or something, eight hours. That'd be a headache, wouldn't it? You guys watch one championship. <laughs> Do you know what one is? Yeah, it's like it's like UFC. <coughs> it's like UFC, but it's like it's in a cage. It's just called one championship. What's the fighting league where they can smoke weed and shit? Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, it's literally Gil. If he was in the chat, would know. There's a fighting league. Yeah, Rocky was a man, dude. Rocky was a man. Good old Rocky. Good old Rocky. Yeah, dude. It's been... Dude. I don't think you understand what I'm going through right now. It's unreal. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just saying it. Wow. What you're going through? Yeah, dude. My dude is not very doing like he is. He's mentally and physically fine and just can't take a shit. And I'm trying everything in my damn power to like. He ate a ton of ice cream today. And before he wouldn't even eat ice cream or nothing. And he ate a bunch of ice cream. He ate food. I mean, he drinks some water. I mean, he's, like, fine. He just got a shit. And he's, like, miserably fucked up. And I can't, I don't even like talking about it because he's real smart, knows what I'm saying and shit. So, I don't, I'm not gonna really talk about it. 
Dude, I know what but, you mean. My dog knows what we're saying. It's weird. He started talking weird. Yeah. Start barking. Yeah, yeah. He knows. I was talking about him earlier. He was sleeping. And he got. Him. I was like, "Damn, this dude." Uh, uh, pumpkin. Yep. <laughs> Dairy. It does for him. I did. I. I get. I've been giving him. I first bought like. You know, pumpkin, and then I got a baby food, organic pumpkin, and and uh, and like this really good water. So I've been putting that like down his thing. I gave him some probiotics, but he Hello, really sir. loves. What's up, floppy? Welcome, man. What's up, Ethan? How you doing, brother? Welcome, Marcello. Welcome, brother. Is that did I say that right? I like that name, dude. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, the pumpkin, man, it, it helps, you know, so. I'm doing everything I can, man. I am. American is the password. Ethan likes saying America. I was just looking at fucking that whole side, so, dude. I didn't because when I was live, when I found out about the whole attack, I was like, dude, I actually got to look into it and it's legit. Well, at least that's what the news says. It actually happened. May need to go to the vet and get. Yeah, but see, here's the thing, and you're right. And that's why I was like, man, I hope that's not what the case is, you know, but like uh, when I talk to the vet, they're like, yeah, we'll have to like do like all these tests on them. Like they don't just like assume that that's what it is. And he's 18 years old, so it's just like a tougher situation. I love you, the boss of the online. Thank you, Ethan. I appreciate that shit, bro. You like how I, I try to be the boss, bro. How old is Marley now? Marley is 18 going on 19 years old. So I'm taking care of an elderly cat. It's not just like, because he's had this happen every year. He had to have eaten something fucked up. So yeah, I've had this happen so much. But it's just harder when he's older, you know, to take care of anybody or anything that's older is more fragile, can't handle a lot of the stuff. You know, if they get sick, they can't handle that. No, it's a it's older than that in cat years. I'm pretty sure. Is it 88? Yeah, your cat's six, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's why it's so hard for me, you guys. I've had them my whole life. So, anybody, if you had, like, anything your whole life and, like, all of a sudden, it's gone. You'd be like, damn, that sucks. Or it's like sick, you know? Hello, world. I love saying that. Hello, world. That's like like in Little Wayne's voice, if I could say it. I wish that you get a dodge. What does that say? I hope he feels better soon. Thanks, Flop. Man, I appreciate you. Hall, oh, what up, dog? How you doing, man? I appreciate it, Flop. I wish you all get a dodge bot. I don't know what that means, bro. What's a dodge bot? What does that mean? Anybody? How you doing, Haldo? You watching any fights tonight, man? Have you got any money on any fights? Dude, I wish Gil was in the house because I want to ask him, is that Perriera fight the one that he was the most certain of? Because I asked him before I made the bet. And I've seen him uh, fight before. He said he took, he said to take Perrier. Yeah, I but I wonder... It. I wonder if that's the fight he's the surest about. That's what I want to ask him. 
<laughs> Read that. Read what Hello World said. <laughs> It's classic, bro. You don't get it. You, you okay. It's been like a three day, like this whole time you're gone. But I was like, yo, your boy's still grounded. <laughs> it's been fucking hilarious, dude. Um, yeah, yeah Hall, there's. Yeah. I'll tell you what, man. On a music tip, whoever, whoever's listening, and like, who likes uh, Tom McDonald? Who the fuck is Tom McDonald? Yeah, most people don't know. Thank you, Ryan. That's because he just started going hard. I'm like, you know what, bro? This song. He finally did a comeback to Upchurch. Dude, it's fucking. Dumb hard, dude. I can't see this here because there's a lot of Paul Walker fast and furious. Dude, where's your Cavs stuff? That was last night. Uh, the Cavs clinched a, a home court advantage playoff spot last night. I had my Cavs sit on. Should I smoke this J or what? Yeah, I'm about to light one with you. All right, cool. Cheers it up, bro. Cause uh, oh. so I got papers. I just gotta accept the fact. Like boxing, because the only fights I watch are bear wrestling in bars. Oh wait, <laughs> that's funny, huh? No, just say no. Just say no. No. Dude, where? Oh, I read that. Marijuana. <laughs> Mary, marijuana, man. It's crazy, man. <laughs> Here in America, in my state at least, it's a, we're allowed to smoke now. <laughs> Legally, we can just chief out. We can buy weed. We can trade weed. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, brother. I appreciate you, Ryan, for stopping in. If the fights are over and I'm alive, pop back in if you want. I'll probably kick another one after the fight. Where's on a smoke break? That's cool, brother. I appreciate you hopping in, man. Have fun. <laughs> This isn't drugs, bro. I promise this isn't drugs. Uh, marijuana is not a drug unless you abuse it. But this is my medication. I actually go to the doctors for it. So, like, it's just a medication. But if you, like, go and you, like, don't need the shit, you're not dealing with, like, whatever, and you're eating, like, hundreds of milligrams of this and that, yeah, it can be abusive. It can be bad, for sure. Anything at an extent can be bad. Uh, women's mud wrestling. Yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure. I've actually watched that shit live. It's pretty fun to watch women's mud wrestling. Yeah, I was actually the first man to be a champion in women's mud wrestling. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, you should save the story for when uh, JD pops in. <laughs> He literally every time he pops in is like, it's like, yeah, I'm scarred, Tim. Tim, I'm scarred. Tim, I can't get the image out of my head. WWE for ladies. I like WWE. I I could watch the ladies on mute. I think the one chick, she's kind of hot with the long hair, right? But what's up with her hair? It's so disgusting. I bet you it stinks. 
It's a gross, stinky ass, fucking long braid. Gross. Bitch. Get that weave cut off, girl. You know? Okay. Get that hair hair. I'm disappointed in the WWE now. I don't think I'll be watching it for a while. I was really into the whole head of the table storyline. Now that it's there, over with in my book, uh, I'm out. It's kind of like, it, it was kind of like a rerun. Uh... Thanks, brother. It's kind of like a, a remix of Goldberg back in the day when he went undefeated for so long. You know what I'm saying? Women's sumo wrestling. Um, sure. Any type of sport that's not rigged is fun to watch. Like, I'd rather watch a good high school or college football or basketball or football, anything. Sumo wrestling is one of the most uh, fixed sports. Well, then I don't like it. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> it's like weird it's, like it's really fixed like in some ways there are some people who should never be beaten but they let people beat them that way they can get ranked and that way more money goes to more people but I read a, an article on it before and it said like it runs rampant in the sport people just like throwing matches and stuff damn and could you imagine that the UFC? For- like I'm gonna let this guy be champion for a while and I'll just pick up the second place check it's like that would be a shitty sport to watch Sports for man's only. Yeah, exactly. Man's sports is just, what is this? All that other shit is just a fucking. I can't think of anything good women's besides like ice skating. They're good at ice skating. Yeah, that was like the one point my daughter brought up about trans sports that was really interesting to me. She said, you know, because I said, well, they should have their own league. And she said, there's so little following for female sports as it is. And I said, well, that's true, I guess. Yeah, but the thing is, it's not a female sports. It's a dude. It's a dude dressed as a female. It's a, the whole gig would be what? A, listen, the whole fan base would be a bunch of fucking guys like us watching laughing. That would be like no training gives a shit about a fucking sports game. Like they're not just going to go running to your fucking run into the game and shit. The only people that are going to be watching are us like, look at this fucking dude dressed like a chick fucking dunking and shooting and fucking, what the fuck? It's like, what was that movie? Jamama or whatever? Jamama? Remember that? Uh, I did date a gymnast, dude. For like six, seven years. It's fun. I know, bro. I was engaged to one. <laughs> I don't like gymnasts. And I'll tell you why. Just like ballerinas, I feel like they've got... Uh, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not I'm not going to say it. Never mind. I don't want to shame anybody. I'm just not attracted to that body type. Right. Aunt Jemima. Oh, I would wish she was back. Her syrup. You know, for sure, for sure. <laughs> they look manly. <laughs> Joanna man, yeah, that's it. Joanna man, fucking. Man. Did y'all see that? Uh, what's her name? Uh, what's up, Debbie? Team Nikki or Team Megan? Oh, Nikki, all day, dude, all day. Not yeah, even a question. Like- yeah, bro. Nicki Minaj? Yeah, I hear you. I mean, if I had to pick one of the two. She's way better of a musician, and she's cooler, and she's fucking fucks with Wayne. Trump, baby. Let's go. I was just watching his, some of his rally before I came on. He said he's going to stop this shit. We'll see. You know. I like you too, Debbie. Thank you. 
What's that mean? Of judgment? Hey, can we all, is there a lot of people that are saying Trump or what? Is there any Biden people that are listening? Y'all could throw something up. I won't hate on you. Dude, you got to love Biden, Biden, man. He was in Congress for years. He's run a criminal enterprise secretly. <laughs> he might be the whole reason Ukraine broke off from Russia to begin with. So we could have a proxy state and have labs and funnel money through it. He's been in Congress long enough. <laughs> you know, he's he's really the dude if you think about it. And now he's sitting on top. He's too old to even remember these schemes he's involved in. People ask him about what he's doing. He, he can't even remember. He's a fucking... Make America great again. Yeah. Yeah. He said he wanted to make us tough again, not a little pussy country. And I, I'm with that, bro. I liked what he was saying. He knows Who's how to Biden? speak. What? No, Trump said that. What's up, Sean? Right before I came on, he just did a rally. I didn't get to hear what he was saying about the shit in uh, Israel, but I know he's a big proponent for Israel, so. He would definitely take out Iran. If you guys don't think he wouldn't, you are crazy. Yo, what's up, fellas? What up, B-Kizzy? We're just chopping it up about a bunch of different things. We were talking about how Trump today talked about how he's going to toughen America, make us look you know, respectable again. And I said that's cool, but I also believe that uh, he would be all up in that whole I hear you brother that's kind of how I feel hello world I have no like I'm not a trumper but I just don't really I don't like Biden and I don't dislike Trump I just I'm not about the best uh I wish there was somebody better anyone even bet on horse racing I have when I was a kid dude I used and they to do they do out here where I live. They have this thing called Jug Day every year, and they shut the whole town down. And it's on national, it's like worldwide, but it's like televised, and everybody all around bets on it. It's on this, like, like all the channels. My whole town shuts down for it. I've never gone to it. I actually, I went, but I watched from like the distance, and I was, went to go bet. And they said I had the card and I filled it all out and I walked up to hand it in. They're like, oh, you know, you take that card over there. And it was like, dude, the other side of this giant trail. It was hundreds of my, like yards away. I'm like, yeah, right, dude. I'm not walking all the way down there to fucking make a bet. Fuck that. I quit. Dude, I like uh, dog racing. I feel like horse Trump. racing, there's too much human involvement. Dog racing, I feel like I could call better, too. Um, When I was a kid, I used to go to the track with my dude. Because I had a friend that was 10 years older than me. So, like, when I was, like, 15, he used to take us to the track. And that shit was fun. And we would bet on uh, horses, and they would do dog races, too, like the Greyhounds. I won, like, 700 bucks one fun. time on a parlay. I've never bet on a NFL on a game still. I've never did none of that internet betting shit. I've gone to the track. Yeah, horse racing's fun, dude. Going to the track and betting on horse racing's fun. Do people not do that no more? Is that like an old school thing now or what? When was the last time you hit a glass piece? He said, Trump, what you said, damn it, you misunderstood. I hear you. We're all Trump. I'm Trump 100. I just have my, I just have my questions about certain things with them, man, you know? But it's all right. Something about being a billionaire in Moderna just doesn't sit right with me. <laughs> <laughs> The track out here was going to be the next best stadium, but it looks like they're going to stay in Chicago. That's cool. Cleveland's talking about moving out of Cleveland. Out. It's like 
Brook Park, like a suburb outside of Cleveland. Is that a better thing for you, Floppy? Would that like make it easier for you to see games if they moved? Yeah, what a bummer. They're not gonna get out there. I don't see it being that big of a bummer. I mean it would be, but it could be a good thing too. Because if he moves on his own to Brook Park, then the tax dollars don't come from the people. But if, if he stays in Cleveland, then, then people are going to get mad tax to keep the Browns. Hey, and probably won't get a dome either. Have you been to it? Yeah, I've been to one. Have you, Spark? Never. I've been to one. I saw Ric Flair versus Hulk Hogan when I was a kid. It was fun. But it was one of those like main events where like it was a disqualification because it wasn't like WrestleMania. You know? They come to Evansville all the time. Oh, yeah, I feel that. Okay, story time. Let's go. What what kind of story you want, brother? Like, when I went to the WWE, what I remember the most is walking across, like, this walkway, right? So you're, like, outside. And you could see the limos pulling in. So people were watching the wrestlers come in. And it was Bret Hart. And I can't remember who else it was. And, like, they were fighting in the parking lot. So we were watching the fight right below us. And they were, like, yelling up at us, like, hey. And they were actually swearing, like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. That was pretty cool. Watching that. That was probably the coolest part. Ric Flair stylish and profiling. Yeah, styling and profiling. Yeah, he's he's my probably one of my favorite rec- wrestlers. Kind of got me a little weirded out when he was on Kill Tony. But I'm willing to overlook it. Do they still do the peace games? What's the... I don't know. I wish I went during the Stone Cold era. Yeah, I I didn't really. I was like, I was like too wild during that era. You know, the during the the Stone Cold era, I was too much partying to give a fuck. I'm out. I was out trying to get some poon. I wasn't really trying to fucking go watch wrestling at that time in my life. And then the Attitude Era, I was too. I was. I just watched it on TV again. I like to get poon. Yeah, I wrestled. I reached into the peace games. What are the peace games? Wrestle. Ru- Ru- Did I say RuPaul? Uh oh, the edibles are kicking in. You guys, I thought my I I was just going blind, and what it is is when I eat, I just drank this coffee, and it had a bunch of fucking uh, THC honey in it, and I ate a gummy. All of a sudden, I can't read the fucking chat; it gets all blurry and shit. <laughs> I guess I, I need to not eat animals early in my streams because I can't read the fucking chat. Punani. 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 What's my name? 
RuPaul. I dude, I read RuPaul and it said Punani. That's how bad my dude. I'm high as. That's when you know you ate some good edibles. You took some good because, edibles. Oh yeah, dude. I ate some of that powder stuff. I ate oh, some honey. The THC and crystals. I ate a good. Yeah, and I ate uh gummy. I just needed to like relax. Let's see. He goes. Peace Games was like. A miniature Olympic summer games between Canada and the USA, Indianapolis versus Toronto. Yeah, the Olympics are interesting. That's cool. Do you know why the Mexicans don't participate in the Olympics? Nah, I didn't even know they did it. <laughs> yeah, it's because everyone who can run, jump, or swim is already in America. <laughs> oh, man. And now that goes for anybody, right? You can't even say Mexicans no more. Oh, yeah. You That's know? true. The borders are open. I don't even... Yeah, man. The Mexicans aren't even... I don't even worry about the Mexicans no more. They, they're not even a threat, like like people say. Now I'll be worried about these Venezuelans and the people... These fucking... Shangs and... Africanos that we don't know who the fuck they are coming up in this bitch. Can't be fucking... We got all these Venezuelans fucking stealing purses on mopeds like they're in fucking third world country and shit. With their little fucking monkeys and shit with fucking swords. Like, what the fuck, dude? Way to go, New York. You're a real fucking brute of a fucking town. City. I know. They were supposed fucking to be way. gangster and stuff. They're getting tore up by these gangs. Like, where's their... Yeah, where's these their Venezuelans kick. Yeah, they're dominating them, dude. They're literally making them put a little ball in their mouth, and they're just gagging them. Yeah, I have one of That's those. That's fucking great. You know, shit's wild, bro. It really is wild. And then the Yankees are going to go ahead and sweep us in three games in a row? That's fucked up. I hate New York more than everything. The fact that we just lost three games to the Yankees just makes my weekend even shittier. That's why I don't have Indian stuff on, boys. I can't I don't wait have Indian stuff on. to win this money, dude. It's like nothing is exciting to me. Like Even the Super Bowl wasn't exciting to me until I put money on it. And then it was exciting, you know? Hey, man. Oh, things are always more fun when you got money on that shit, right? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I just don't like to gamble and, like, no, I don't trust the internet. I used to have a bookie when I was a kid. I bet you used to be a bookie. <laughs> I used to be, I, did, I was a lot of things. I didn't do, I didn't do bookie. Uh, my dude, my dude, Mikey's dad was, though. Uh, you could do you can make bets whenever you want it, bro. It's cool. We used to always hit do the March Madness. It's like what I used to get in on was March Madness. That's why I found it weird that I didn't watch any this year. Did the national championship game already happen? I think so. I didn't even know, man. I didn't even watch the national championship game. When was it? I don't know. Well, that's gay. I feel kind. Of, I feel less manly right now. Oh, what type of bud you got, foo? I'm smoking on Gorilla Glue. He said UConn beat Purdue. I figured so. I figured UConn. I, once they lost to Illinois, I knew they were going to win it all. Or once they beat Illinois, it was a wrap. Type sheet, type sheet. <laughs> <sighs> it's Gorilla Glue. You know. I've been dabbing all types of different stuff. Tonight, man, for real, for real. I've I've been switching it up. I've been on the Cuban links, blackjack. I did some 
Durban Poison. Oh, what's up, Mr. Mike Leahy? Ran, 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 Randy's here. It's the alcohol's taking over. What are you looking for in a man, guys? Um, He's got to be tough and brute and have calluses on his hands. <sighs> Strong and tall and Christian. I want a guy that's straight that I got to, like, make gay. All right, one that you got to, like, totally turn. You fucking asked about it, Mr. Leahy. <coughs> Story time. This one time in band camp? Um, I'm trying to think of a story. One time, this, uh, it was back in like, oh, it was like, oh, three or something like that, right? Um, there was like a weed drought. It might have been like, oh, two. I can't remember. There was a real bad weed drought, right? And I, I, I obviously knew a bunch of people that grew and we had a bunch of hash and shit. So I always had weed, but it was like real scare, like scarce. So like, you know, you would call your ounces like when when the shit would be available. But like, oh, I need a zip, you know, two three zips, and like you were lucky, and like he would crop out or whatever, grab his shit, and it would be gone right away. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, it's one day. Uh, I was sitting there. Um, with the people with my homies and shit, and this chick that I used to fuck with was chilling with Lazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, and he was in Medina where I grew up. And she called me up like, "Hey, I I need some bud. Bring me some bud." And I'm like, "All right," she's like, "Cause it's for Lazy." And I was like, "They call him L because he's Alberta." Anyways, whatever. Uh, so I need some shit for L. I yeah I got you I got you, and I got I dude I'm on Tim time yo anybody that knows me I'm on the worst time I'm I'm bad on time I say give me ten minutes and it's like twenty five I feel like it's only been four minutes, anyways, uh I get a phone call like some hours later, and it was Lazy Bone. And this dude was cussing me the fuck out. He's like, damn white boy got me waiting up in this motherfucking white hood with all these white motherfuckers, and you ain't bring my shit yet? Where the fuck is you, bro? I got all shitty with him. I'm like, bro, like, who the fuck are you, bro? Like, I didn't even care if I, you know, I was like, man, that's mine anyways. Like, I'll just smoke it. Like, but the whole point is that was the attitude I had. Long story short is I ended up not linking up with him. Because I was like, fuck this dude. And I had a chance to hook up and probably smoke with Lazy Bone. What's your name again, brother? Spark. That's Spark. What's up, Dave? Thanks, bro. Appreciate you, dude. I forgot. Hopefully I hit it tonight. I was... I, I look when I started doing this with like I was like oh I can't wait to get to 250 subs right I was there? at two I was I'm at two I was at 249 when I started the stream so I'm one it's sub away so. I promise <laughs> well fucking you know I'm one sub away but yeah then it's then I'm halfway to my to my actual goal Dude, I was watching this guy's live today, and he's had 53,000 subs, okay? And I was watching his live, and throughout the chat, he mainly had, like, between 20 to 30 people, you know, in the chat. And I was like, he's not that far above me and Tim, you know, when, as far as views and stuff go. But, yeah, I can't imagine if you had that many views. You know, it's like you kind of specialize in lives. Like, people tune in 
because you're you know you usually go live, but <clears throat> you know I don't. Yeah, know. I noticed that. I noticed I specialize in live. I do specialize in lives, and lives are fun though. You know, I think people like lives. You know, um, if you just make content, that's cool too. Some people have a good personality to make like content and record it and post it. But to, if you can do lives, man, and, and you could do it, I people come on and be like, oh, it's so easy to do. And I can understand that. Sick, bro. I only got... I can't see what that is. 693 subs in a month, so you guys are doing better than me. You. No, I only got two. I don't have 250. Yeah, I got 249, but it was in a month. It was in like 137 in like less than a month. Uh, so, but really, I got most of them in the last couple of weeks. We're going to have a special guest here in a minute. So, someone just said spark. What's up? What's up? Wait, what's up? Wake up. <laughs> How you doing, I brother? Nineties. I definitely grew up in the nineties. I did. Ren and Stimpy, Rocco's Modern Life. What's good with you? What's good with you? It's me. Hello. What's good, dog? I grew up in the 90s. Hell yeah. Yeah, the 90s were the best, is the best time to grow up, period. Dude, if you grew up in the 90s, I'm going to read, I'm going to tell you something about your childhood. I guarantee you got your ass beat. <laughs> yeah. If you grew up in the 90s, you definitely got in fights. Your parents probably whipped your ass once or twice or something. Um, you played outside. I you played in a bunch of leaves a lot in snow if you have it. I guarantee yeah. you would ride your bike miles from home, like ten miles from home. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie, Absolutely. What did you do when you were a kid? Did you used to go through sewer pipes? Yes. <laughs> yeah, with your brother. In the ditches. The ditches, no, you you're right, fire? Kevin. Kevin, you're right. The last of a dying breed, because everybody after us is all cell phoned out and you know, digitaled out. We're the literally we were the last generation to like be able to go party without being recorded. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Like with the phones up in everyone's faces, look, dude. With this... cameras, period. Yeah, like I remember going to school without the damn cameras, and then them putting them in. Like I remember Columbine hit, and the cameras came in. You want to hear a funny story, dude? Yeah. Hey. Oh, Ellie should be out right here while we're smoking. Yeah. Emma and Mom? Um, yeah, but I don't know. Who's the warden? We, oh, Ryan's the warden. Oh, the warden's here. That's a good one. Wake up. <laughs> oh. Ring and run, ring and run. Yeah, man. You know, we used to have paper routes as kids. Who has paper routes as kids now? Is that even a thing? Corn, Limp Biscuit, Blink 182, Papa Roach. I pick up what you're putting down, Kevin. Ding dong ditch. That was so fun, Ryan. Dude, I got a great story about some ding dong ditch, and that shit was fucking great. Oh, what up, Reggie Reg? Troy boy. Smoking that Reg, man. Hey, man, as long as you're consistent with the Reg, bro, you goody. No more paper roots. That's. 
I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. That shit used to make make or break a person, you know, for kids. I would I would literally give kids character. Track kids. So <laughs> whacked the crackhead when I was a kid. <laughs> nice, dude. Jordan shoes. Man, remember when you used to be able to get them for like $100 and shit? I remember getting the new J's like as every pair when I was a kid. Yo, why is when a girl gets pregnant? Everybody rubs her belly and says congrats. But no one tickles the dad's balls and says, well done. <laughs> Who the fuck said that? What's the name of that person? I can't read it. Stitch something? That was probably by far the best comment of the day so far. Read that shit out loud for me again, will you? Danny, what's up, my dog? What's up, brother man? Okay, well. That was fucking hilarious, dude. I'll read it. Hold on. <laughs> says, LOL, why Why is it when a girl gets pregnant, everyone rubs her belly and says, congratulations, but no one rubs the dad's balls and says, well done. <laughs> that is a well fucking, that is a well thought out comment, man. That made my fucking night. I really appreciate that shit. <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Yeah, NWA Two Live Crew or Easy E, Easy E by himself, man. That was fucking good, bro. Uh, uh, the turtles. I can't read that. Full throttle. Week. Unquest channel. That's cool, man. David, what up, dog? How you been, bro? Welcome back. You having a good day, man? Stitch, man. <laughs> Dude, you're welcome, bro. I, thank you. I fucking, I really, I really invite funny shit. And I appreciate a good fucking joke. Man. I've been good, man. I'm doing the best I can, bro. You know. Let's hear them, Stitch. You got lots of them. Hey, man, let them let them fly as long as as long as they're reasonable. That was pretty fucking funny, dude. I'm not I'm not gonna deny you. <laughs> that was funny. I welcome funny jokes as long as they're not hateful. Do you know hateful? I don't like you know. I don't even care if people use like words they probably shouldn't use, as long as it's not being hateful. Oh, dude, I've been trying to tell this story for like five minutes, but I've been coughing and smoking. I can't talk and smoke <laughs> at the same time. <coughs> Hold on, one more. Hold on, I got a joke to read. Hold on, I can't even read that. You pay me. Hold on. Challenge all men to get a haircut and ask their girlfriend or wife to come home and ask them if they see anything new and wait for the hell to unfold. <laughs> Sparky, where's the stories? Tell They've been wanting your stories. I think they're asking for stories. And I've been like, oh, I got one. I got one. They want your stories. What did you got to say, Sparky? Oh, yeah. This is a funny one because Tim was talking about cameras. Look, one time I was like, I have schizophrenia, and I used to just be crazy and stuff. And one time I was walking down the street, and a, and a truck was driving by, and I just was like, fuck you, and like giving him the finger and shit. And this dude didn't take it. He like rolled down his window, and he was like, what, what the fuck, bro? And I was like, yeah, fuck you. And he pulled over and got out of his car. And had like a big police flashlight, like he was gonna beat me with it. But I had my phone, okay? Yeah. 
and I had just just was holding my phone, and he, he and he's coming up to me like, so and, I, uh, ass, and he goes, "Oh, I know what this is. You're filming me. This is one of those you're filming me things." And then he turned around and got back in his car and left. And I was like, "Holy shit! Did I just almost get the crap beat out of me?" Did I ever tell you? <laughs> no, dude. Well, to me, What's up, it's, Doc, it's, it's, man? You better be able to back it up, kid. He got mad, dude. I was like, fuck you. He was like, oh, I'm pulling over. Oh, yeah. I know I know a lot of people no, that get in, like, guy. road rage oh, stuff. I don't know. I'm just being weird. You were what did you have it. when you have two little... Hold on. What do you have when you have two little balls in your hand? A man's undivided attention. That's a good one, Doc. That's a good one. I lost my eye and half my face in an accident at work in a steel forge. A knife was making reached critical temp and it literally exploded. 14 hours of surgery later. <laughs> they took my nose, my eye, and my cheek. Oh, uh, it's cats. Should I wipe or just let it... Um, just let it go. Just let it go, man. Just let it go. See how that treats you. Well, that's crazy, dude. I know somebody who... had... who had a surgery option. Well... I just know that there's surgery options out there that are crazy, you know, and you got to do what's best for you. But if you let them do all that to you, it must have really been serious. Do what? This guy said, well, you know, they took my nose, eye, right cheek. Oh. I thought he was joking. No, he said in a surgery. 14 hours of surgery later. Don't let the dingleberry grow a fucking tree in your backyard. A <laughs> shit tree in the backyard. What's the difference between a porcupine and a Corvette? The porcupine has pricks on this the stuff. outside. <laughs> What's Biden saying about this is real stuff? Oh, man, that sucks, dude. Um, Yo, when your back's done, man, that really sucks. For real, for real. There's yeah, no, my, there's no good in back, back. Shit, man. Me? It's always. Okay. If you can avoid us, yeah, obviously, yeah, for sure. Wake up. Three inch knife shard went into my eye. Around three, four. Damn, dude. That's insane, dude. I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That is crazy. Yeah, bro. That's nuts. Well, Godspeed. Hope you're all good. Yeah, man. It's been a um, exhausted, you guys. I just took, I just slept. But did you read Doc's joke? What's the difference between a porcupine and a Corvette? Like the, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? Yeah, man, that's a ouchie ouchies. So, Doc, you watching any fights tonight, man? They're on the West Coast, I guess. They're on your time, huh? Everybody's pissed out here. Chug some water to me. Thank you, bro. It's a good idea. You're right. Thank you. Pretty. Okay. No, it's all good to be honest. I'm fine. Life alone. Nobody 
Uh, I thought so. That's why I wasn't really entertaining you so much. Oh, your daughters are there? That's cool, Doc. That's dope. She's a ninja fanatic. Oh, MMA. Bro, were my eyes that bad or what? I said I thought it said ninja. <laughs> kind of close. Oh, come on, guys. Chat, y'all gotta love me, man. I really can read. If you watch me, I can read. Right now, the gummies just have whatever. The honey has everything. All the words just blurring. Dude, I was watching you tour that honey earlier, and you said one of them had like 700 milligrams of THC in it? Uh-huh. I have I like, like, four of those. I have four of those. Yeah, four I different want one. flavors. Can you mail me one? Um, it's seven days. It's a week. Hot uh, to me is on. Oh, go phonics. How about you? <sighs> Iran versus Israel. You know, I really wish they'd both just blow each other up and leave us the fuck alone. How's that? Look, dude, it's a show. I, I'm telling you, we gave Iran a shit ton of money a long time ago. Yeah, group. Um, um, I'm putting the fights on here in a little bit. I'm a more of a main event. Like, I'll probably watch the last couple of fights. Um, I'll be putting them on here in a bit. Whenever uh, someone tells me that they're about to be on. I'll put them on, but I'm I'm not going to watch them until then. I don't care about watching some underscore broads fucking fight. I have no fucking interest right now. I don't give a fuck. Dude, I can hear I my kids in there fighting. I can hear my dog. Are you watching? Ugh, no doubt, good man. I'm Everybody's good for you, group. Everybody's fucking enjoying. I'm... I'm you know, we America's got to be the most betnest, betting, the most betnest. What's the word? We got to gamble more than any fucking other country, period. What country gambles more than America? Seriously. What country has more gambling, more drugs? I'm trying to think. Who? Than America. Maybe Spain. What do they bet on? Fucking me- soccer? That's all they really got? I mean, look, like, we got I'm football, baseball. Bet. I'm going to say America's fucking out leads. Yes. Three billion. Barry Santoro, a.k.a. Dude, you're not going to believe who's number one, and it pisses me off. Don't say Canada. Australia. Oh no! Uh oh! Don't break anything. It's okay, dude. Sparks ready to fucking. I thought he was about to rip out his cock and start fucking showing everybody what time it is. In some countries, it's not legal to gamble in some of their towns, but China is the biggest gambler. Huh? That's probably why the NBA shit is so big over there. Is Boston in here still? David, are you still in here? Let's do that blinker, bro. All right, let's do it. Hey. That took forever. That was the longest one I ever. <laughs> that was the biggest blink. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm really going to have a hard time fucking reading the chat. Maybe it'll help.
but the real statistic that over a hundred people in China commit self yeah. From gambling losses. Are you serious? Dude. There's so many people there that they're probably the, the rate there of them unliving themselves is insane. I would say. It went. Title your show. Smoking in the boys room. <laughs> well, it would be the man's room first off. Second. I didn't know Spark was coming on. I would have put him in the title. I just went I, I went live and threw him the link. I didn't know if he was going to come or not. Smoking in the man cave. I can change it here. I will change it when the shit's over with. <clears throat> or here in a minute. Whatever. I just get lazy. I don't care. Smoking in the man cave. Nice, Polly. What you smoking on today, brother? Something exotic? Okay, y'all smoke it, so I'm going to consent. Good luck, man. Stitches, you be good, brother. You are really funny, man. Welcome. What's a GA2 gravity sub. rig? Oh. I, oh, see, I, thank you for reading it. I thought you were saying, like, I'm going to go play some video game or something. <laughs> like, I'm going to go play some Grand Theft Auto. You guys were cool. Fuck you, since you're smoking weed. Oh, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to fucking hire somebody to, like, fucking just read my comments for me, dude. There you go. I'll give you five bucks just to read my comments and get you highest buck. Abbey Rhodes Indica Sugar, 86%. Nice, Polly. Nice, Polly. Y'all are smoking so much. That's cool, bro. Good luck with that one, man. I wish I could put some of my shit in that nice new bond. Probably tastes real nice. They're hanging themselves in casinos here. Where? Where you at? Wake up. Could you imagine? I, I that would make sense though. I never thought about what the what the uh, like the the off rate, the off yourself rate would be in a in a in a in a in a hotel or in a casino. Think about it. People lose like their fucking life savings and just walk up into their room and fucking end it. That's gotta happen a lot, dude. I didn't even think about that, dude. What man, would you do if you man, lost man. your life savings? I don't know. Not that, but that's still something to think about, though. Two chamber, 32 ounce gravity, but nice, dude. They were hanging themselves in sessions. There. What? Oh, he, I, I can see him. See him. You all heard the new Drocky? What's Drocky? What's up, LA? Oh, the new Drake. Yeah, I heard it. That shit was fire. I actually wanted to talk about that. I actually did want to talk about how dope hip hop's been in 2024. We've had a lot of good fucking like beat rap beefs and good ass fucking music, man. I like that shit. I, I'm liking it a lot. But yeah, man, that Drake came in hard, bro. I remember. He did. When, I remember when I first got out of the Navy and I was uh, struggling financially. I would sell my blood, <laughs> my plasma. Dude, and um, they tell you, like, don't drink it or something right after you do that. So I used to always go buy a 40 right after I sold my blood, and I would drink that, and it would get me drunk fast because I was, like, lightheaded, you know, from selling my blood. 
but it was like the highlight of my week <laughs> would be like selling my blood so I could buy beer for two days. Oh man. I used to know people that did that shit when I lived on campus. What up, Troy? Um, Drake did it. He tried to... He did some weird shit, I think. I can't confirm nor deny because I'm too high to remember like any specifics. United States. I think all them dudes are weirdo. Nice, brother. Temper fly. Do or die. Is he a, a Marine? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. You never know, right? <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. I got what was I talking about? I got thrown off. You were saying how Drake? Yeah, Drake, bro. He he did smash that shit. Smashed it. What? Uh, I like Little Wayne's new shit. Yeah, there's a whole lot of good shit out right now. Like Tom McDonald just dropped a new song yesterday. That's fucking off the hook. I'm not gonna lie. And I like that new fucking future album with with uh Igor Koska. Hendrick. Dude, this guy's got a Russian name, Igor Koska, and he said Marine Marine E five. Do you think he's a Marine? I don't think I believe him for some reason. I don't know why. Could be wrong. Donald Fine. A place called the. Dude, I, I, I was like homeless. I had nothing for a long time. And now I have everything. I've got a house, a car, I've got kids, a wife. My life has been normal for years, like over half a decade, just stable. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess life's never bad, but it can be shitty. Glizzy world. You want a glizzy? A glizzy yeah, sounds good right glizzy. now. A glizzy world was this. 50, 50 Tyson? That's it. Someone time him out That's... for 10 seconds. <laughs> Why? <laughs> He's making me hungry. You know what a glizzy is, right? Like a Glock? Glizzy is another term for penis. Oh, I thought Glizzy was a hot dog. Yeah, well. Yeah. What do I do for work? I'm actually uh, the only male employee at Hooters. I'm the only male waiter at Hooters in my town. <clears throat> and I work mostly for tips, but I make like the worst tips of everybody there. Cheryl said that maybe it's my personality, but Tracy thinks it's because I don't have a pussy or tits. So. <laughs> I always tell him this stuff, but he won't do it. And he won't shave his mustache. He doesn't get it. I try to tell him, bro, if you shave your mustache, you'll make way more money. But he don't listen to me whatsoever. Just because I got Russian name, I'm not a U.S. Marine. Oh, no, that's not it. Look, do you speak Russian? Uh, no, I wasn't saying <laughs> false valor. I was just confused if you were trying to say you were a Marine. They were getting faded for sure. I don't do false valor. I was valor. asking Tim, do you think he's saying he's a Marine? Because you said Marine, Marine, E5. I thought you, you that's maybe what he's you were saying. Just, yeah. I wasn't sure. Listen, bro, we talked to so many people that you don't know if people are telling the truth. He's an actual veteran, so I asked him because he would know. I would never call somebody not because I don't know. Yeah, one of my thoughts was maybe you recognized me and you were in here before. 
and you were saying, oh, you, you go Marine, Marine, because I served with the Marines. So maybe I thought I told a story and you were saying that, but I wasn't sure what you were saying. And then when you said Marine, Marine, E5, I was like, maybe he's Russian. Like fake Valor type shit, my dudes. Yeah, he's fake Valor, dude. See, some yes, of I speak Russian when I speak English. I'm a Marine, bro. I'm a Marine E5. That's cool. I believe you. Look, I don't know why somebody would pretend to be an E5. If you're going to pretend to be something, be like a colonel or a Navy SEAL or something. I don't know why you just say, I'm a Marine E5. That's just like regular. I don't, know, I don't even know what that means. So. He said, no, I'm a Marine. Okay. Hey, man. Thank you. I'm not going to deny you. I don't know you, and I'm going to take you for your words. Previet, Cogdala. Uh, take you for your word, brother. Uh, Do you ever think we get bots in here? Um, I'm sure there's bots everywhere, right? But are we smoking weed tonight? Oh, yeah. I am. Okay, Igor, look. If you really want to know, dude, I was with 2nd Marine Logistics at Camp Lejeune. So if you know your unit, 2nd Marine Logistics, I was stationed with them at Camp Lejeune. So I worked with the Marines. No, exactly, Stitches. That's why I'm, I don't know. That's why I'm staying up out of this combo. Because I don't know. What's up, Danny? I'm glad you're still sticking, my nickin'. Yeah. I'm smoking that Gorilla Glue, bro. Anyways, let's change the topic, dude. Uh, you, uh. I know exactly. Where you were and who you were. Either. What? Maybe who you were with, he's trying to say. I got you, brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, that's like supply battalion and ammo battalion. They do logistical stuff. They're not like an infantry unit, but they're a cool unit. That's just who I got attached to, so it's whatever. That's cool. Is he okay? Is who okay, man? All I know, it's around here. You're, it's still in Valor stuff right now. Gets better. Do you want to hear something okay. funny, dude? Igor, you'll think this is funny, dude. I had a Russian guy in my boot camp, and he was an idiot. Dude, I mean, like, real idiot. Like, his Russian was real broken, and he used to say really gay shit. Like, we'd be showering, and he'd be like, I want to shower next to him. Like, real weird shit. Right. And uh, we all thought he was an idiot. Like, just like a moron. And then at the end of boot camp, when we all graduated, the, who was it? I think it was the FBI or the Secret Service came out and, and talked to him. Because they thought he could have been a Russian spy. And we were all like, dude, if he was a Russian spy, he was a genius about it. Because we all thought he was a fucking idiot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, dude, that's cool. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Wake up. You're the man, dude. Uh, and thanks for trying to get the good old boy stuck in my head, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> ah. His name's I forget is what his, his name is. Mira. Holy coming out of right field with the fucking gasp. Holly uh, Commander what Luke. What's up, Commander Luke? Cute oh, couple. aren't we? Aren't Dude. we? What if there would have been three of us? What would you have come in and said? Cute, cute threesome? Like, come on. Dude. Yeah. Cute couple. Ivan. 
Dude, I was thinking that was his name. That's funny you'd say that. I was thinking that was his name. Teresa. <laughs> Cute couple. Uh, I guess you... Do the Dude, catch. come on. I guess you do the catch. Was... Okay, that was funny once, and I let you slide. Keep it, keep going, bro. And you're about to be the first one of this of the night to get the pow pow. I want to see if you can make me laugh. What if you would have said, uh, uh, "If he's funny, then you can stick around." Hey, mods. If he's not funny and he says something stupid, let's all judge. You guys know the drill. Let's all hey, judge. But we'll let the bro, chat. We'll let the chat. Funny. Yeah, we'll let the chat judge. Is this guy funny? Should we let him? Should we put him in timeout because he's not funny? Or should we let him just sit here and say stupid shit? What do you guys think? The throat lotion. <laughs> that was funny, man. <clears throat> that was funny like the fourth time I heard it. Time out. I see people say, get him the fuck out of here. Time him out. Time him out. Yeah, it was funny the first time. Exactly. Um, the douchebag that keeps saying the same joke. Um, he has a green um avatar. Just look for a green avatar. You will know. Yeah. I've been pretty chill tonight. Me and Time Out. Why not you, Igor? You're cool, brother. Commander Luke. That's it. Was it Commander Luke? Dandy is on it. Thank you. No, I think Commander... I, I don't know. He had a green avatar. And he said stupid shit. Just, you'll know. Literally, if it's stupid, just go ahead and fucking put him in timeout. I'll say, there it is. There he is. Pow. You're sick. Ah. <laughs> Sick. I don't know what he said, but whatever it was, it must have not have been cool because people didn't like you, bro. Why is he sick? I don't know what he said. Whatever it was, it didn't do well. I knew you were going to be... I was waiting for the next dumb shit to go. Noble, what's up, dude? Noble, man. Noble. What's up, dog? I was in your live earlier when that accident happened, bro. That was crazy. Well, you were right there when that accident happened, dude. Noble's just on his live, and he's like, hey. And he just, like, turns his camera around, and there's just parts of, like, a light pole and car scattered. He's like, there was just an accident here. <laughs> like, right mm -hmm. in front of him. Fuck. Yeah, accidents give me anxiety. Yeah. Because yeah, you can hear him go up to them like, are you guys okay? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of accidents, but I remember we were doing a reaction to, like, accidents, like, and I just couldn't. I was having, like, uh, PTSD watching that stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. But, yeah. Uh, it's funny, man. <clears throat> That's funny when um, I don't understand it when there's like one, like there's like 16, 17 people chilling, we're all having fun, and then there's that one person that comes in and has to say the dumb shit. It's kind of funny. It's funny that everybody's like, all right, get this cat out of here. Igor. War story spark. There was an insane what happened from just got the police talking to me. You pay Zara. Oh, you were a witness. See, I would have said I didn't see shit. If a cop ever asked me, but I just say no, I don't want to get involved. But nah, There's I don't know what you're talking there. about. Oh, Ugh. the dogs, dude. It's sad how they treat the dogs in Iraq. Why how do you know that? Yeah, they're really mean to them. Like, if the soldiers see the stray dogs, they'll just... And it's really sad, dude. 
Who does this? Uh, the Iraqi soldiers to the stray dogs. Hey, what do they do to them? Well, I've seen it just a few times. Like, if they come onto the base, they'll just shoot them. Yeah. What's better, rifle, AK-47, or M-16? Spark, an What's AK, better? or an M-16? M-16. An AK-47 sucks. You could tie it down to a table and shoot it, and if you shoot it again, the bullet probably won't even land in the same place. He said AK. Well, I'll tell you why people <laughs> think the AK. Because the AK is very, like, it can be rusted. It can get in sand. It can get wet. It can get, like, things that would jam another gun. An AK-47 will work. It's, like, a very barbaric design. You know, it's just, like, the coil, the fucking firing pin, and the magazine. It's, like, pretty straightforward, you know? Played a lot of Call of Duty, so I'm basically the same. As a Navy SEAL in terms of appearance, experience. <laughs> Call of Duty will get you there. That's funny. What's up, Gil? How you doing, bro? Watching the fights and shit? <sighs> Give us a breakdown of what's going on, man. We oh, need a Gil. breakdown. Gil, I made a bet. I, met, I bet on Perriera. I bet 20 bucks I can win 120. I like the M4 with the collapsible buttstock, and I would carry an M9 with me. That would be my go-to because I'd carry an M4 because, honestly, you're going to be in a vehicle. It doesn't make sense to have a long butt staff like an M16. And I'd carry a pistol because if you're going to be rounding corners, it just makes better sense then. But still, with a collapsible buttstock, you know what I'm saying? You could really do close quarter <laughs> combat a lot better. You know, a rifle's more for almost like a field or something. But, um, yeah, I would carry a pistol with me and an M4. That would be my go-to. <laughs> he said, great. I'm going to go get – thanks. I'm going to go buy an AK-47. Oh, great. No, it's cool. As long as you're – Allowed to have one when I mean, you do what you got to do. I don't but, know much about guns. Like, I'm just saying, like, just, know that, information I just know. know that there's probably other people that have them, too. I want to find a woman with a collapsible butt stuff. Butt stuff. What's that mean, Polly? <laughs> I need the M4 as a infantry rifle. Cool. Yeah, that's a good rifle. It's a it's a popular rifle in the military. <laughs> What's wrong with the collapsible buttstock? <laughs> Sounds way more funny when you say it out loud. Yeah, when dude. I read it to myself, it didn't make sense. But then I said it out loud, it made made way more sense. My rear admiral used to use a collapsible buttstock on the poop deck when he would inspect us. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's some funny stuff. But but just the Siemens. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I've you guys I've heard some funny stuff tonight so far. That one dude with the uh pregnant joke, that was a good one. That was a good joke. Appreciate it. You were in Syria? Interesting. What's up, Bella? How's it how you been tonight? How you be? Um, I can imagine uh, story. <laughs> Syria is AK. 
versus a standard issue a M16. Yeah. Um, nice. I'm going to take a Ice little dab in <laughs> What kind of ice cream did you get? Oh my god, your old lady, no mind. She's going off. <laughs> oh, stop it, wake up. Don't give them PTSD there. <laughs> I will her back later. Take it easy. Later, man. It was good seeing you, Noble. I saw your baseball game. I got cookie dough. Been oh yes, cookie dough is fire. And you're pregnant, right, Bella? So like, ice cream's got to be amazing for you. If you can. Fall asleep afterwards. Oh, alienated's in the house. What up, homie? What's up, brother May? Hey, someone already asked, but I'll bring it up again, bro. You see that? Listen to that. The new Drake song that just dropped. He did fucking go off on that bitch, bro. <laughs> yes, I've been crazy it like crazy. Oh, I'm glad. I know my sister, she ate mad ice cream when she was pregnant. Now my nephew oh, he loves ice cream. Kill my dad. Nah, bro. Took the hit like a G. Yeah, he's a G, bro. He over there dutching his pearls. <laughs> Clutching his pearls. <laughs> What's up, Lyric? What's up, Kill My Data? Hope you're having a good night, y'all. It's better than cashing your pearls before the swine. Uh, what's up with Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight? Who are your money on? Man. I'm going with the young white stunner. I'm going with Mike but, Tyson. Everybody's saying Tyson, but I think it's going to be like a draw, really. But, like, I don't know, man. Tyson, everybody wants him, and I get it. But I just think he's old, you guys. He's old. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, I don't know. Tyson hasn't had it in like 25 years, bro. And he didn't even 25 years ago, you know? Yeah, I did see what he said about the daughter. That's crazy. I mean, Tyson said some pretty messed up stuff himself. So, I mean, I don't feel bad for Mike because if anybody's followed Mike Tyson's boxing career, that man said fucked up shit a lot of times, dude. I got some ice cream. <laughs> Was fired. Okay. See. Word. Um, Danny Tyson looks tough. He looks tough. 
I don't know. I got mine on the underdog because there's too much money involved. I don't. I, I don't know. I'll I'll give you my final answer when it gets closer to the fight. But as of now, I'm thinking the, the fix is in for the white boy. I was just thinking for chocolate. I'm out. Sweet tooth. Nice hello world, man. Get yourself some fucking chocolate or something, man. Sounds good. I haven't had a urge to have like munchies or eat food and as long as my cat has it, honestly. I've been You've been down the same shit. I just haven't been feeling it. Like eating it. I'm over here in heaven eating this ice cream. Spark and Bell are smashing ice cream like champs. I should change the name of this stream to the ice cream champs. Let's call it the rooster. The ice cream, the ice cream steam. The rooster. Why can dinner. you hear? Can you hear my music? No. Oh, that's where he said that because Upchurch is singing uh, "Rooster" by Allison Chains. Oh. Cat scratch fever. Tyson probably ate some shrooms before the fight. That's what I'm saying, alienated. Everybody goes, oh, but he still got it. That dude's licking toads and eating mushrooms and smoking DMT and every single day looking. His, did you see his chest, dude? He's got saggy did titties. He beat the shit out of us. Yeah, us. Of course, he's a fucking prize fighter. He's a prized Mandingo fighter. You know? But in real life, dog, he get his ass whooped by who? Lennox Lewis? By Holyfield? By all the guys that he fought way back when he was still young. What makes him think that he's like going to be better 20 fucking years later? The money. Exactly. What? Yeah, you, it, it's just crazy, bro. To me. <laughs> For Steven Seagal. <laughs> It's fixed one hundred percent. I never. Yeah, that shit was fixed, bro. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. That shit was fixed as fuck. And when he fought uh, Roy Jones recently, uh, when he fought Roy Jones recently, Mike Tyson, it wasn't a good fight. When it's debate time, I got you, Bella. Are you eating sweet and soy pink? I guess on time with tell, bro. Either way, it's going to be an impressive. Yeah, we'll we'll see. You know, it should be fun to watch. I love the. I like that the hype. You know, I think that they're they're going out of their way these days to, to, to do promos that are to sell fights like Ryan Garcia and people like that. I think they go extra hard to sell these fights these days. Like Tyson's always done that. So if you don't think Tyson didn't okay him saying that, I, I, I just I don't believe that he didn't know that that was being said. Just my opinion. Bella, he finished that ice cream quick. I'm still enjoying mine. For sure, Bella. He's a fucking man. 
You enjoy that shit. He was saying, go, baby, go, baby. Can you hear him say, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, money, bro. Exactly, hello world. Money, man. Money, 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 money. Nate Diaz versus Ryan Garcia. That would be fun. I agree with you and your opinion. Thanks, Igor. All right, what are we going to smoke? Fixed, 100%. Yeah, I would say fixed. I'll get, when it gets closer to the fight, we'll know more which way it's swinging and go the other way. That's how I look at it. But it's pretty cool. Like, I don't think people understand that Tyson's originally from Cleveland. Like, they say he's from New York, but he grew up in New York, but he's from Cleveland. And so is uh, Paul. Like, so it's kind of cool. Uh, what's up? Does that say Godsmith? Hello, sir. What's up, my man? Wanted you to know I hate you, but respect you more the less. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Who are you talking to? The, <laughs> talking to the dude that said he hates me, but respects you more the less. Whoever he's talking to, I mean, he's really talking about himself. It's okay. What if he came are in you here like and he's like, I never really liked you, but now we can bury the hatchet. <laughs> Yeah, he could have came in and said, bro, I came in and hate you. But then he turned out to be pretty cool. I could just appreciate that. But whatever you just said, I don't care. That's you projecting on it, on us what you're truly feeling. It's okay. Yeah, that's what I feel like when people come in here and they're like, you're gay. I'm like, you're probably sitting yeah. on the grass. Super projecting. You're doing pills. No, really, you're doing pills and you just think everybody's doing pills. You're projecting. It's okay. That's delusional shit. Smoking kills your sex drive. Says who? Yeah, I'm putting it out. Oh, cigarettes? Yeah, I, I, I thought you were smoking weed. Okay, here's who weed. Who kind of kills your sex drive? This is weed. I will light it up. I'm literally just joking, bro. Okay. Cool. I want to be cool with you. That's why I gave you the benefit of the doubt, homie. People come in and say shit like that. Someone said I hate hate you the other day and some weird shit. I forget what he said, but everybody was like, wow, dude. That was pretty fucked up. Yeah, hate is a strong word, dude. Why do you hate anything? Even want to come in joking? Shit, dude. Thank you, hello world. Thanks for standing up, bro. Why you want to come in hate? I never said I hate nobody before. I hate even if I hate him. Ganja man, <coughs> gotta smoke the ganja man. Smoke it up, brother. Smoke it up. Sparky's smoking like a champ, sir. You never gave me the benefit. You said I'm... Yeah, because you came in saying, I hate you, dude. What the fuck? What am I supposed to say? Give you the benefit after you just said I hate you? Bro, you got shit fucked up. I, I don't know, man. That's the word. Again... This is a different type of world here. This is a fucking spark. Yeah. Kind of world is it? It's a dictatorship. It's a dictatorship. You know it's a cruel right. world. It's a fucking this is fucked a dictatorship, up world. Bro. This ain't the end of the rainbow. And even if it is, Wait. wish in one hand, shit in the other hand. See which one fills up first. 
I hate you, but I respect you. Hey, I'll take that, though. You know, I'd rather be respected and hated than loved and not respected. So I'll take that, brother. I saluted you. Okay, thank you. I misread what you said. The word hate is just strong. I respect that. Thank you. Cool. Then we're on the same page and everything is good, dude. I want to knock you up. I want you to be my seahorse daddy. No, not the seahorse daddy. Yeah, you're going to be my seahorse daddy. He's smoking that higher than usual. No, he's probably got that, uh, what's this, the spice shit? He's, he's got the fucking Bobby Brown spice. He's got the, like, you know, he's got the cookie spice. He doesn't have that Me? Tom Brady. Oh, spice. I believe we live in a funnelistic throw caparchy. Everyone wears a funnel on top of their head. And everyone throws it. <laughs> Paulie, way to break up the fucking break up the fucking monot. <laughs> Do you dab for me? Wait. Do a dab for me since I can't do one right now. Alright, I'll do one for you, Bella. I'm sick of this shitty ass joint too. I I, I want to. I'm gonna go get some like really good papers. I need like a box of papers. I smoke way too much, you guys. Can I just do a dab off my pen? Yeah, I got a pen. I'm just doing the dab off my pen. Play heat the shit up. I'm good, bro. He said, I'm good, bro. Uh, I took a few gummies, too, today, so it's all hitting me, and I'm just feeling like I'm good. All right. Uh, you fucking... You were fucked. You mean, like, you're feeling good, or what? Yeah. You out of here, <laughs> uh, Igor... Have a good one, man. It was good talking to you, bro. Stay safe out there, my friend. I know y'all high as fuck. Yes, sir. For sure, getting high tonight, my friend. It's smoke 30, baby. Saturday night. I'm highly medicated. I'm doing what the doctor told me, baby. Fuck yeah. Dude, there's this guy who, uh, like I said, I watched earlier. He's, uh, his, uh, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know, you know, but he's got schizophrenia and he's a big influencer for schizophrenia. And basically, Hi, I asked a question during his live and I said, "Is does weed and schizophrenia mix? And he didn't answer me. He, like, just ignored me. Uh, Eddie Spaghetti said, Poppy. Uh-oh. Who is Eddie Spaghetti? Here. Eddie Spaghetti's here. He said, what's up, Poppy? That's actually <laughs> pronounced Pappy. Like an old grandpa. Hey, Pappy. Where are you, where are you going next weekend? I don't know. Oh, for 420. I'll be here. I'll be live for 420. No matter where the fuck I'm at. For I sure. I think we start at midnight. Yeah, at 420 in the morning, I'll be blazing out for sure. Because yeah. it's a Saturday. Yeah, dude. We got the full fucking Saturday. Don't so you can start it. Friday night at 4.20 and go till Saturday at 4 Don't eat any spaghetti. How you doing, Naomi? Oh, welcome to the uh, to the show. We're not really doing the show, but we are uh, hanging out to the chill session. 
It's not really a show. We're not really doing a show tonight. We do shows. Just, uh... Lately shows we've just are been hard. Yeah. It takes a lot of work, and there's too much shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Shows to be able hard. to do a show. Every shows don't day. last as long as hangout streams. Like usually when we do a show, we'll do the show, and then if we want to hang out, then we'll cut the stream, and then we'll do a hangout separately. Hangouts are more like we just talk, hang out, whatever topic comes up. Like somebody put a topic in earlier and we talked about it for like a half hour. So I mean just it's yeah. whatever, you know, but Yeah, that's not like with the open discussion. Like, bro, we've talked about everything so far tonight, you know. Do a show four twenty when you smoke, dude. Oh yeah, for sure, bro. I I got you. I'll definitely do something. Show y'all what I'm about to puff on. I probably won't be here. But I'll be. I'll probably be out with the cats for 420. Yeah, it just dude, depends. I'll be, here. I'll be celebrating with my wife. I don't know where I'll be. I'll either be with my brother or I'll just be here by myself. You should go to the dispensary for some deals. I'll definitely hit it up for some shit. I don't know. If last year, I don't remember there being good 420 deals. I don't remember. Now I do remember there being good 420 deals uh in Michigan. Oh really? How do you feel about the weed industry being locked out the southeast of the United States? It's kind of fucked up, bro. I feel like it's really weird that the weed industry as not as like some people, like like Spark State, for example, is so strict, and then like my state is like totally legal, and we're like right next to each other. So like, you know, like Breezy, he lives in Texas, his state is so illegal, and like Oklahoma City, Oklahoma's got some of the best weed dispensaries, period, and they're right next to each other. Doesn't make sense. Can you grow your own weed? We can have four plants. Yeah, we can have six plants here. My plug gave me a deal on Easter. Nice, bro. Yeah, you can go to the dispensary and buy, like in Michigan, you can go there and buy like clones and shit now if you don't know anybody that grows. Uh, they sell them at certain head uh, dispensaries. My... That ice cream weighed me down, dude, but that joint evened me out. Yeah. I'm going to finish this cigarette. Our next president will probably be a pothead with an app. <laughs> uh... Bro, I hate this app shit, you guys. I Dude, I'm gonna it. be our next president. Dude, our next president's gonna have a cock and tits. Like Caitlyn Jenner or something. Or Oprah. It's, it's better. No, it is better to grow your own, man. It just takes time. You know. And I, I should grow my own, and I will, but it's so much easier just to, like, go to the fucking dispensary and just buy it. Like, it's just easier. But, yeah, if you're allowed to have them, you should have six plants. Just boom. Dude, you, you, know you, can, you can have six nice plants. What's Noble that? always puts poles in his thing. You should put poles in your thing. I was, no, I was telling you earlier, you don't know how to do it. Poles. Oh yeah. yeah, I don't know how to do it. We could put like really invasive poles that make people uncomfortable. Like, have you ever had an abortion? Yes or no? <laughs> no, dude. I don't like poles. I think poles are kind of gay. I I don't know. I think poles are kind of gay. Yeah. Now, if we were having an argument, I would bust one up. But I don't want to put a pole up just to get people to come in and chat. Well, just talk about it. Like, 
I hear you. I think polls are kind of gay. Like, I, I never an- I never answer polls when I go in. I put I'll like push it out the way. I never do polls. I'm a dick. Unless I like you. But I never do polls ever. I'm a dick. <laughs> Lifetime of an outdoor cat, three to five. Isn't that sad? Oh, that's sad. Marley is like four times older than that. Max outdoor cat. Yeah, he just came out and he's bitching at me right now because he can't go. Oh, let me know who wins the Perrier fight. Oh, cool. Thank you, Gil. I'll put it on so I can let you guys know. Hopefully, I can put it on. They'll let me. And you don't have to buy it. What is it? Jared Anderson? No. Oh. Piero versus Hill? Uh, the only poll I ever used was when I was stripping. <laughs> That's not let me do it. It's being a fucking fed. No, he lost. Dude, that means I lost my bet. It's... I'm a Oh, Oliver, I was thinking. Never mind. My pull I ever used was when I was stripping. <laughs> What do you think? Hey, Gil, do you put pulls up in your chat? Don't you think that shit's kind of gay? Like, do you ever do polls? Like, when you see other streamers having polls, don't you think that shit's pretty gay? Or is it just me? Oh, yeah. Stories. Hello, world. Let's go, brother. Some stories. <laughs> you're on fire. Dude, you're still famous from that night, dude. That was you. Some stories. Bella. Okay. Um, Hell no. One time it. when I was a kid in Pennsylvania, we used to party, and I was at a house one time. And um, the cops came to the house, and they made all the kids, like, sit in a circle in the living room, and we were upstairs, and we all crawled into the attic to run from these police. And um, (laughs) this sounds like a fake story, but I'm telling you, we were hiding up there, (laughs) and some kid was, like, hiding behind some blinds, and the cop, like, looked up in the attic, but then went down. And then this kid farted. (laughs) What? (laughs) Yes, dude. And the cop came up, dude, and grabbed him. Like, he was hiding behind some uh, blinds or something like that. And and he grabbed him. But it, I was trying my hardest not to laugh. And then I jumped out the window. Me and my buddy, we jumped out the window and we went down. But we, like, saw everyone through the back window. And they were all sitting in a circle. And the cops were there. Did you get caught? I didn't. But the dude who farted did? Yes. <laughs> he was so scared he fucking farted, dude. He couldn't hold it. Hey, talk to the chat for me, dude. I got to take care of my cat. Or come up with the conversation. I'm here. I just got to take care of Marley. Gotcha. He ate all this food. He wants more Ramp. food. Yes, I got you, homie. I could also use a cup of joe while I'm in here. <laughs> I just sounded like Beavis for a minute there. That's funny as shit. Oh, shit, I left the oven on. Let's see. Oh, 
Oh man, I don't know. I can't think of many stories. I think I busted my story load the other night. <laughs> he said he said he 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 lost his load on the stories last. Day. What what what? So, um, what do you think about uh, Steve Irwin? Oh my God! Shut <laughs> up. I won't make you do it. I'm just playing with you, dude. That was so funny, bro. Legit, that was funny. And I think you might have even did it twice, and it was funny both times. And usually shit's only funny once, and it was funny both times. <laughs> what was the other country? What was the other line that you started off with? Like, yeah, I'm not trying to be racist, but... <laughs> I'm not trying uh, to be racist, but <laughs> like, I was like, you know what starts off I good really hate? It. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what it is. Nothing ever starts good with that. Dude. <laughs> that's funny, dude. It's a funny one. The story that they're all dude. Where's JD? I want him to give you shit. I thought that was hilarious. I know, Marmar. I know, buddy. Dude, I, 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 I don't. Uh, I actually thought about getting a like a kitty laxative, dude. I actually thought about it. One but here's time. my problem. Oh, here's sorry, my man. problem. Though. And anybody tell me if I'm wrong. Like, if you can't go to the bathroom, right? What if there's something blocking it? And, like, that's not working. And you just keep feeding him. And it's, like, making him sick. Or, but he's not throwing up. So maybe, like the vet said, he just needs to be able to hold down food to work up enough food to shit. You know? Yeah. So, sorry. I don't know why. It's, oh, I'm feeding him. That's why. He's sitting there crying right now. It sucks. One, one time, uh, I've got a lot of homeless stories. Like, uh, But I'll tell you a few homeless fight stories of mine. Okay. Uh, one time, I was like walking up to a smoke shop, and it was late at night, and the smoke shop was closed. Okay. So I was like, motherfucker. I, was, I said something like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker or something because he like made me walk to the wrong smoke shop or something. But there was a homeless dude sleeping next to the smoke shop entrance, and he must have thought I was talking to him. And he jumped up, and he was like, who are you going to kill, motherfucker? And just like punched me in the face like two times, like a left and a right. And I like was shocked, you know? And I was like ready to fight him. But when I looked at him, he was huge. Like a big black dude. And I was like, this is a mix-up, you know, first off. And I was like, I don't know if he's going to chase me or what. But I just stumbled back and he was like, move on, motherfucker. And I was like, okay. And I just like left. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the streets are crazy, dude. Uh, one time I was uh, in Houston. And uh, some dude just, I, I had like 20 bucks to my name. That was it. But I told some dude I had some money, and I was like, can you take me to buy some weed? He took me to buy some spice, like some K2, that fake weed stuff. And I smoked it, and immediately I, like, blacked out because that shit's crazy, you know? And when I came to, they were holding me, and the dude had a knife to me, and he was like, give me your money. I thought he was about to stab me in the stomach or something. So I, like, started freaking out. But they just took my wallet and left. <laughs> but that's another crazy time some shit like that happened to me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like. I don't mind it, man. It's been not too bad lately. There, um, yo. The one night it was shitty, but the other, it's not, it hasn't been bad because it's just the same people coming back now. 
I weeded out all the fuck boys pretty good. What is the funny Helen Keller mix? What is that, Timmy? Helen Keller. Nah, you missed, that's Upchurch right now. How dare you talk about Upchurch like that? Come on now. I'm just reminding you hoes. Time out who? No, nah, I'm not going to put you in time out, bro. You're good. So people can read her lips, right? Nah, I'm not going to put you in. What's up, Ryan? It's been a minute there. How you doing there, Mystica? What's up, Ryan? Ryan and I bet in this. How you doing? How was your uh, vacation? Are you still on vacation? Are you back now? I know you were like torn the damn world like a rock star, Ryan. Did you make it back safe? Um, I'm about to hop on my flight. Sweet. Are you so excited to go home? I bet. It's been forever, dude. You're still in Italy? It's 5.30 a.m.? Oh, man. Have a good flight. I bet you still... I, yeah, I hope you have a really, really safe flight. I'm really glad that you're going home. And you're safe. Missed ya. Nice. Hope you have a special flight. Yeah, definitely. How long is the flight? It oh, was great. It was Went great. To Pisa and Florence. Oh, your doggies. Oh, yes. I get it, man. <laughs> It's going to be so, it's going to, you're, you're, you're going to be like that two hours before you get home. You're going to be like all emotional. Like you just can't wait to get home. 15 hours. Nice. That used to happen to me. I'd get all ecstasy out and on like day three, I'd be like in the middle of like New York or like some weird state. Like I got to go see Marley. I haven't seen him in like 10 days. <laughs> Ooh. Hey. Here with ya. Um, yeah, we just been popping off, dude. We just been chilling, man, you know. Breezy was on last night. We were just doing our we just been doing our thing. It's been it's been fun. It's been fun, for sure, right? No yawning, man. No yawning. Damn, bro. People are making... You can't get away with shit on the internet, bro. I'm telling you, man. Nothing. One time right, I moved in the chair, and it made, like, this little squeak noise. So I was like, did I hear a fart? And I really was like, oh, man, someone's going to think I farted. They really did hear it. I was like, dude, you can't get shit away on the internet. That's pretty funny. Uh, let me tell you about uh, wake up. No yawning, man. No, y I, I thought of another funny story. Do you want to hear this one, Tim? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so um, <laughs> this girl um that I met wanted to be a boy. Okay. So she was taking testosterone to make her more manly, okay, when we met. But I was homeless, okay, so beggars can't be choosers. You know what I'm saying? So a few times we were together. But 
this girl, the first time we met, she was, like I said, she wanted to be a man. She was kind of weird, dude. Um, we started kissing. <laughs> okay. Oh, hell no. Hold on. Not to interrupt your comment or your story. But my homie is in the fucking chat, Hungry Dog, dude. Oh, what's up? What up, dude? This Hungry Dog, he's a Browns fan. I He was my dude forever. We would talk every single day in the chat for fucking hours every day. He was one of the only cool cats in the whole fucking Browns thing. What up, Hungry Man? Good to fucking see you up in here, brother. That's fucking dope. That's super dope, bro. Hope you're doing well, man. Sorry to interrupt. No, it's all good. People are saying, like, kind of weird, dude. <laughs> Why did she want to be with a man? <laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, it's all good. So she didn't want to be with a man. She wanted to be with a girl. Like, I'd always catch her on her phone, like, flirting with lesbians and shit on her phone on Instagram. But I had a car and money, so she just was, like, with me, you know. But um, the first time, like I said, that we hooked up, uh, she was kissing me. Started going down, right? I thought she was going to completely skipped over my Johnson and started licking my butthole. <laughs> okay. Dude, I freaked out, and I was like, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. And she was like, "Um, why? Some guys wait their whole life for that. And I was like, well, not me. I don't like that. Okay, so she stopped. Well, some time goes by, and she, like, starts, like, trying to kiss me again. And I'm always taking like sloppy shits and stuff, dude. So I was like really trying to avoid it. But um, my, the only thing I just kept thinking is how many assholes has this chick licked before? Do you know what I'm saying? You're so, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Bro. Homegirl just woke up. She's like, man, I. Can't wait to get back to fucking America. <laughs> oh, man. Later, bro. Hey, man, it was good talking to you, Hungry. I'm glad you popped in, man. Come back in again, dude. You know, for sure. I'm sorry you had you came in at, at the at the weird story time. Yeah, sorry, dude. I was just telling you that story for somebody. You happened to catch a weird, a, a I, weird I had story. a request for a story, and they like the weird stories. Yeah, he got a request, dude. And I let him. I don't. I mean, I'm not going to stop. If, if the crowd wants it, that's what they want. I mean, got to give the people what they want. But we talk more than just that. But that was really funny, dude. Everybody's laughing. That's all we need. Dude, you really want my attention, man. Thank you. Man. I was like, Ryan, dude, you're the shit, bro. Oh, good. It made me laugh. Cool, cool, cool. I was just making... I, I was just like, bro, my homie, dude, Pop said he's like, first story, my dude's talking oh. about getting his ass licked. <laughs> like, welcome to my show, dog. <laughs> I don't like weird ones. Just your twisted pumpkin. That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, go Browns. Go Browns, Hungry. Go Browns, brother. Go fucking Browns, man. It just is what it is, dude. I, I mean, people... I, weird, weird shit happens to everybody, you know? I'm not shy about it. One time um, in the military, we my friend was retiring from the military, so we thought it would be funny to buy him a gift. So we bought him a rubber fist, you know, like from a sex store, and we all signed it. But I got tasked with buying it. So as I was checking out, the lady was like looking at me and looking at this rubber fist, and she was like, do, do you need some lube with that? And I was like, oh, no, I'm good. Trust me. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, see? <laughs> When you got me speeches, you know you're coming with that heat because I'm speechless. Yeah, dude. <laughs> and he was like, huh, Marcy, what are you going to do with that? No, she? Oh, no. <laughs> huh. 
Uh, I wish Marley would drink coffee. I could get him to shit in a heartbeat. Lady well, was horrified. <laughs> Dude, you know you you know when Leahy comes out of right field, like bro, I'm horrified. <laughs> oh, lady was horrified. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thought you said Jim Leahy. I was like, that dude got horrified. Oh man. Whenever a woman asked me of after dabbing her hand into a jar of Vaseline. If I want lube, I say... What does that say, dude? What is your cat constipated? Who needs to shit? When a woman asks yeah, me... My cat, dabbing her oh, Ryan, yeah, my cat can't go poop. He's been sick for a few days. He's all fucked up. They can't do nothing for him. Like, he's old, so I've been trying to, like, um, get it to go past. He's, he's, he was really sick, but he's, now he's just struggling. He can't go to the bathroom. Who is needed to shit? My cat, dude. My cat. Yeah, it's so sad, dude. I'm, like, I'm hoping he makes it through the weekend. I had him for nine, uh, 19 years. I think he will, though, because he's a savage. But... <coughs> what? Oh, hope well, it goes soon. Oh, yeah, it goes poop. How oh. long has it been? <coughs> um, uh, since, like, Tuesday, like the eclipse, since uh, I noticed like Tuesday when I woke up, he wasn't feeling well. Thanks, wake up. Positive vibes, positive vibes. I'm trying to keep him. I had the same type of scare last year. I, I guarantee you Polly remembers. So... But yeah, it's it's never fun to see your uh people fucked up, you know, because you would do anything you could to help them. Uh, all I heard was like, "Well, probably what?" <laughs> yeah, because I was like, I didn't understand what he like. I thought you're. I was like, "Whoa, hold on." If you don't read the name first, and you don't like, sometimes like rethink it. Text can really get you off. I've probably gone off on a lot. I have gone off on a lot of people that didn't deserve it. I think I did like three times today, actually, earlier. And I had to apologize because I don't read texts, like their comments all the way through. And I just start commenting like four words in like, oh, yeah, well, fuck that. And then at the end, like, oh, I totally agree with you. Like, oh, my bad. I just went in on this dude. <laughs> Whoops, Dirty. I'm sorry. At least I can admit I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it happens, though, you know? Exactly, Ryan. That's how I feel, man. Nothing else really matters, bro. I've, had, I've taken such good care. I'll do anything for this little dude. So what is there to do in Ohio for fun? Well, it depends on what part of Ohio you're in. Because Ohio's got, like, many different cities. You know. Like, Ohio, there's, like, Columbus. So you got, like, more of a, a college town. Like, uh, Ohio State. And you got, like, the campus. You go down to the short north. There's and then there's like uh like Gerbil Village. It's German, but we call it Gerbil because that's where all the the the, the rainbow people live. But anyways, um and then you know there's lots of concerts and then you go to Cleveland, man. There's lots of shit to do in Cleveland. Oh yeah, you also got Hocking Hills. You know you got OU that way, but 
I'm saying just where I'm at, and then and then you go to up to Cleveland. I mean, dude, you got Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You've got the Browns, Cavs, the Indians. There's bars, concerts. Uh, uh, be safe, Ryan. Take care. You have a good uh, good flight. Can't wait for you to get back. Safe safe flights to you, my. F- See you guys later. Jeez. Oh, sorry. I just had to go to the bathroom. You're good. Dude, that reminded me I one are... time. Uh, I know people love story time. When I was a teenager, I used to like to jog. <laughs> Dude, some things I think about are just like funny as shit, but it's just like, I'm like, I wonder if people will believe this shit. Okay, Cedar so I was, running, I was running one time and I had to take a shit. So I ran into a McDonald's. It was like a mile away from my house. And I went into their bathroom to take a shit. <laughs> and you know how McDonald's bathrooms are? It's like one stall usually. And they, there's like it, it like there's like the wall. So there's only that like one area where you could like see their feet. Well, um, I was going to the bathroom and somebody came and knocked on the door. And I was like, just a minute. I'm taking a shit, right? And then all of a sudden, this dude like gets down on the ground and like slides his head underneath the door and looks up at me, and <laughs> he makes this weird sound. It went, he was like <laughs> or something like that, some kind of weird sound like that. And then he slid back out, and I was scared, dude, because it was like an older guy, and I was thinking maybe he's gonna assault me or try to rape me or something. So I like toughened up, and I was like, "Hey, motherfucker." If you're still out there when I get done wiping my ass, I'm going to fucking kick yours. And uh, he slid his head back under and he was like, Doo-doo-doo-doo. and I was like, that's it, dude. And, and I fucking jumped up with like shit in my ass and I pulled my pants up and he, he slid out and he like ran, dude. And I, and I started chasing him and I chased him into the lobby and, um, some people like jumped over the counter and separated us. And I was like, I'm going to kill that motherfucker. I'm like, he was watching me while I was taking a shit. And you know what the employees said? <laughs> what? dude? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> then the employee was like, Oh, we're going to call the police. This is the second time it's happened today. Oh man, there's a like serial the fucking booper. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I remember I you. called my mom. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, can you come pick me up? Something weird just happened to me. Oh dude, you should have stepped on his head when it came under like like that game. Ow. Just bounced it, curb stomped it. That's a good one, dude. Does yeah, Cleveland dude. have high murder rate? Um, I believe so. I believe it did when I lived there. I, I, I would, you would have to ask Ryan, but I think so. It's a Democrat run, liberal fucking run down shithole in my fucking not a shithole city, but the uh, the city's nice. But as soon as you get outside of it, it's definitely high murder. There's tons of talent in Ohio. What you mean? <laughs> How's the talent in Ohio? What kind of talent you mean, brother? <laughs> Elliot's <laughs> like this is crazy. <laughs> he said oh, Spark. Uh, he walked in and was like Spark. <laughs> famous bro. That stream made you famous too. <laughs> that stream made you famous, bro. I'm telling you, day people be coming in like, where's Spark? <laughs> oh, that shit's funny. Yeah, LeBron, you know, even Steph Curry's from Ohio. There's so much good talent from Ohio. That's the one thing that Ohio's the best the best for is the talent. Isn't Ken Griffey Jr. even from Ohio? He went to Ohio High School. He went to Cincinnati Moeller. You know, Bone Thugs and Harmony is pretty talented. 
Uh, I think like the mob started in Ohio. That's pretty talented. Women. Oh, the women. Well, again, depends on where you're at. Columbus has got some bad bitches because there's a Ohio State campus right here. A hundred thousand kids going to school there back in, you know. Um, so yeah, there's fine bitches down around. There's colleges like shit. I live on a college, there's college campuses everywhere. So if you want eye candy or talent, then yeah, that's that's Columbus is where to go. Cleveland, I wouldn't really there's hot chicks up in Cleveland though. I don't know. I would say the others. I don't know the rest of the state really. Honestly, I'm sure there's talent everywhere. You know, I think there's talent like literally anywhere and everywhere. Somewhere there's some talent. <laughs> JD, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. Any hot Australian chicks? What's up, JD? There's JD, dude, I've been waiting for you to come in. You want... <laughs> Let's see how this goes. JD, did you want him to retell you that one story again, dude? Is that what you want? Which story, dude? No, you, you, no, no, no. JD, do you want do you want to hear it? <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I've been waiting for you, dude. <laughs> Finally got him back. Got you two together. Wanted me to relay a message. Whack off story. A good whack off story. Oh, good. Oh, uh, well. That's weird. We don't do whack off stories. Oh, yeah, the whack-off story where the dude jerked you off onto the wife. <laughs> yeah, dude, my wife went back and looked through that stream, but she didn't say anything to me about that story. I was like, she must have missed that part. <laughs> oh, shit. No, the one he told the other day. Yeah, that one. Overflow's like, what? <laughs> what did I just come up into? Yeah, it's a it's a classic story. You had to have been there. Yeah, I'm not going to make him tell it again because it's like it would take away the funness of it. Tell him to go back and watch told the yeah, I don't remember which stream it was, but it was, it was the, it was actually, it was the fucking long one, and it was like more towards the morning when Spark was just litty, he was littied up, mm -hmm. so he was, he stole the show, Every, everybody in the fucking chat just, he was on a roll, dude. I just sat there and blazed out and watched and laughed my ass up. Yeah, Spark was on a roll, JD, for sure, though. It was three days ago. See, everybody knows better than me, dude. It was yeah, three days dude. Ago. I'm honored, dude. That that was so cool. I do have some uh, some good stories. I don't know if I can think of any, but I mean, there was, I went through many That's phases right. of my You're life, right. like my teenage years and then there's my military years and there's my homeless years. I went through rehab for five months. I've got some good rehab stories. You know, it's like, I've got, I've got lots of good stories, but it just depends. Yeah, like sometimes you're... people will say something and it'll like click in my mind. Like just now when I was taking a shit, I thought, Oh, that I remember that time that weird guy watched me take a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, it just comes and goes. It comes and goes. Most of my stories, I'm the antagonist, and trust me, I'm the bad guy. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Read the chat, dude. They're fucking on point, bro. Tim couldn't sit in his chair fucking. <laughs> Spark was on a fucking roll. Ah. Uh... 
Let's have uh something still. Beware of gay limbo dancers. Yeah, that would be uh, sparks start to show off with you know what I can't stand watch. Yeah, that's what you said. You know what race I can't stand? That's what you said. I knew it. It was, you know what race I can't stand? You, you made it sound so good. I'm like, oh, that didn't sound so bad. No, let, me just, let me start off with the story. Is you know what race? <laughs> oh, yeah, watch, because it's, it's going to get good. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He starts going in on Australia <laughs> and fucking Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh shit. That was that was oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, he was just straight on a roll and then at like six forty he's like, Hey man, I gotta go to bed. My wife can kid get up. And then seven. And he's sitting there ripping a dab. And it was like. <laughs> it was like you saw a ghost, dude. The whole chat lit up. Like, oh, he's grounded. Yeah, he's I was. Grounded. Yeah. He's grounded. <laughs> I figured it. I was like, Spurk got grounded. Oh man. Then we found out the crocodile hunter did something fucking. Don't get me started. Don't. Oh, they remember more about it than I do. You guys are fucking hilarious, dude. I'm laughing my fucking ass off right now. Woo. Wife. Booked in. <laughs> yeah, man. It was like he saw a deer in headlights. I got scared. I'm not gonna lie. I got scared for a minute. I got I got nervous. Like my mom came in the room too. And I was like, oh shit. I was looking over my shoulder and shit. Like, damn. I felt bad. <laughs> Wait, take him. Yeah, she booked him. <laughs> That's the thing about wife having a wife. You get you get booked every so often. But you know there's many beautiful things of having a wife. <clears throat> oh that's me? just not one. No, me. Uh, they're talking about you, but I'm saying I don't like to be told what to do too much, so wouldn't be fun for me to have a wife like that sometimes. I think about, like, but this chick, like, it looked like he got caught. By, that's what I was saying. Like, he was in like he was in high school rolling a duber, you know, and his mom walked in on him rolling a duber right in the act. And he looked like, oh, or he got caught jerking. Right, 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 right. Like, he got caught jerking one, and his mom walked in, and he was, like, mid-jerk. That's exactly what it looked like, for sure. Got me four different kinds of kratom. Do you you did go in? You did get the China. Oh wait, hold on. Kratom and had a three hour Chinese massage. Damn, JD. JD had himself a good day. Nice, 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 JD. Nice. Fucking ain't right, dude. Fucking A right. A full body massage. Did you get a happy ending is the question. Yes, of course he did. I mean, oh yeah, he said it was a good day. He must have. I mean. You gotta you gotta I got the hot towel. My dog was digging today and got real dirty. My wife was like, you dirty digger. And I was like, whoa, what would you say? 
She was like, "Nice." Twenty dollars make you holler. <laughs> hey, man, that's a good day, dude. Got a hot towel and some dome. Sent home. All feeling good. Yeah, that's good shit. It's good shit, JD. I'm jealous. I'm proud of you. Got a, uh, got a, you know, tw- $20 make you holla. You know, I feel like if you can get it for $20 these days, it's probably not very good. Like, anything for $20. Like, I don't think you can even buy, like, an eighth of weed for, a good eighth of weed for $20. Uh, Like, chicks are selling themselves really short. I don't think they understand how powerful their, their lips, both of them are. They're definitely selling themselves short. What's up, Big Joey? Big Joey, dude. We were asking about you yesterday. We are like, where's Big Joey been? We thought you ate your ass straight out of the damn chat, man. How you doing, man? I'm glad to see you back, Big Joey. Alienated. Me sucky sucky. Only 50 extra. Sucky sucky long time. Oh, me so horny. I eat trees for $20. You eat anything, dog. That's what we love. I made a drink with 14 grams of the green. That was, dude, you ate, oh, I thought that said 14. It said four. I'm like, oh, shit, you ate 14 grams? My dude ate like an ounce or so of that shit. Well, I'm going to stay on here uh, for a while. I can't stay on all night, but I'm going to wait at least till the fight's over, and that's not even starting for 45 minutes. So I'm going to stay on for a while, but after that, I'm going to get off. Because I drink a five. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not planning on. I that after the fight sounds cool for me. I I don't know. I I might probably just kick another one or not do one. But I I don't know what Saturday night's like. I guess so. I might do like an act because I can't. Once the fight's over, I have to end the stream because it's an after fight. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it wouldn't be the fight no more. I don't really want to do. So we still got like what half hour, forty five minutes. Okay, hour really, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, three and a half hours is plenty. I want to cut my Test streams five. down to more like three and a half, and then do even if it's back to back three and a halfs. I'd rather do that. That way, you know, people that want to go back and watch it can catch all the good stuff. Because like, like for example, like Spark shit was at the end of, like, an eight-hour stream. Like, no way is anybody that just catches it from the beginning is going to get to catch the gold. So if you caught it live, you got the gold. Any suggestions on how much of the power to get the good feels? Text wise. How much of the power to get the good Um... Usually, like, like you can get an ounce. Usually, like four to seven grams. My dude said a half ounce, but he was he was a heavy uh, weirdo. So big, Joe Ryan. Yeah, man, I would just keep working your way up. If Gil was in the house, he would tell you. Gil knows about that shit. He's a he's an expert on that shit. He'll pop back in. Ask Gil when he pops back in. He knows more than I will. But I do know that, like, for me, like, I could eat, like, uh, if it was an ounce, it's probably like an eighth or a quarter. But I didn't like it. It made my belly hurt, bro. I think I ate it one time on an empty belly on like a hundred degree day. So it wasn't a good day. It wasn't like a good experience for me. 
And I had like all these ounces of it that I bought, and I was like, ugh, I'm never eating this shit. I do that quite often. Look, Sparks looking pretty cool. Um, Marley is oh, he's back. Marley is not so grand, but he, he's sleeping in my bed right now. Um, he ate a little bit, but yeah, he's still hasn't gone to the bathroom and he's miserable as fuck. So I'm going to have to like look into this. It just sucks that it's the weekend. And like, I'm telling you guys and anybody y'all can look it up for yourself. Trust me. If I could have taken him to the vet and the vet could have helped him, you know, I would have done that days ago. Like I don't want to dude. I would literally give up. Anything I have in this house for him to fucking feel better. So, like, that's not an issue for me. It's that that they want to do all these tests on him just to find out what it is. And then put him through their, like, surgeries and all this weird stuff. So, like, I want to take care of him myself first. You know? But thanks for asking, dude. Yeah, he's talking about Kratom. This coffee I made was really strong. It tastes almost... I'll tell you what. Remember when I drank that concentrate coffee? It tastes like that almost, and it's Starbucks. That's how strong I made it. So, I think caffeine, that's just what it tastes like. Oh, you know what I'm tasting, you guys? I'm like, it tastes like that. I, I put a lot of that fucking coffee, honey, bean, THC honey in the last shit. And it's in here. I forgot I'm sipping on THC honey. <laughs> I put like 100 milligrams in this coffee when I started the show. I forgot. I'm like, dude, this shit tastes like alcohol or something. What the fuck am I sipping on? I gave him some. Um, I've given him hot warm milk. I've given him ice cream, which he loves. I've given him uh, probiotic. It was blueberry, but I shot it down his belly. Went up whole. And uh, yeah, I've I've given him. I bought him baby food. I've been shooting pumpkin down. You know, giving him pumpkin, organic pumpkin. Nice. It's always nice drinking coffee, yeah. You know? I love it. People are like coming in like you feel head as I'm sitting here sipping on a coffee, smoking a joint. Like how much more chill can you be? You know, like I'm about as laid back. I'm have like, you know, I don't understand. Like just cause somebody's chilling, you gotta say maybe he's just joking to let himself be known at this point. But I just find that amusing that people say that. Ah, this is so good. Do you smoke trees there, wake up? Because there's nothing better than some coffee and a fucking duber in the morning, bro. Nothing. <coughs> Bella, if you're still watching, this is for you, girl. And by the way, the name Bella was our family dog. For a long time, it's a beautiful name. No, like, hitting on you. No, nothing like that. I'm saying it's just a pretty name. Bella? How you doing, Bella? <clears throat> Blue, Halgo. What you been up to, bro? Oh, what you, go, what you been doing? Ugh. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I was talking to uh, this chick that was in the chat. No use to wife does. Was like, what the fuck? No use to wife does. What? You grow? That's cool. I remember you saying that. Hey man, if I'm ever in Oregon, bro, I can't wait to uh 
come buy some of your shit. For real, for real. Do you make bubble hash? I grocery smokes. Oh, I hear you. That's how it goes, though. I bet you she trims for you, though, like a champ. I'm just laying in bed with my wife while eating ramen and watching the stream. Oh, that's cool. Tell your wife I said hello. Did you gotta give I Big Joe just... credit to you? What did he do? He just sticks with this theme. Did he eat the oh you ate the World Trade Center? Right. The World Trade Center was passing through my small intestine on September 11th. <laughs> Did you shit that fucking World Trade Center out there, Big Joey? <laughs> That's hilarious, Big, Big Joey. Hey, you get some energy, dude. I drank a five-hour energy a while ago, but it's getting late. Uh-oh. As soon as he starts punching the bag, here comes, here comes the fight. Last time he started hitting the bag and come back. All right, here's something good. <laughs> Is he gonna come? He can't. We can't let him go on a roll, guys. We cannot let him tonight because we we don't want him to get grunt. We need him to we, listen. It's like you guys you can hear a sad story. No, it's so sad, bro. We don't want sad. We want to be happy. Okay. It could be if it's sad. All right, it's sad. Tell me a sad story because I'm sure it's funny. So tell me a sad story. Um, or was it really sad? It really was sad. My stepdad. Yeah, no, my, oh, my stepdad's sick right now, you know, but he it reminds me of something else. And it's kind of sad, but just what they said was interesting. I had a friend who got cancer, okay? And. Anyways, I was talking to them, and they were like, tell me about it. Both of them got cancer, him and his wife. And he was like, yeah, we uh, started eating gluten-free and vegan, and we started juicing, and then we both got cancer. I was like, oh, fuck. That yeah. sucks. It's all that fucking pink slime and shit. I guess there was a big uh, big knockout in the fight. Let oh, what check happened? my... Let me check what my sources just sent. Um, I made a $50 parlay. Looks like it'll hit, assuming. Uh, Ryan, what just ended? I can't get down to it. Uh, Max just killed that guy. Holy fuck. Holloway? Yeah. Yep, we have a winner, Max Holloway. Let's Who's go. Next? What's the next way? I thought it was Dick Vitale versus uh, fucking uh, who's the guy? Who's that guy? Come on, guys. Who's the guy? The Foundation, the Jimmy V. Oh, is that is that too soon? The Jimmy V. <laughs> Monsanto, yeah, fuck Monsanto. Giving everybody cancer and shit. Knockout with one second left. Oh, that's classic. Badass. Uh oh. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hey, Tim, have you ever. Yeah, I've had dogs for sure. Yeah, I had dogs my whole life. My parents have dogs. <clears throat> Love them. I just like cats. I'm, I like cats for me because they're so independent. Like, literally, now that Marley's older, obviously he's not as independent as he was. But dogs, you got to really fucking, you know, take them out to piss. You got to fuck. Marley, man, as long as you feed him and give him love, bro, even at that, he's straight. Holloway is your 
baddest motherfucker in champion. There you go, Gil. Yep. Set my Santa chemicals still going in the Yeah, man. And then they're going around and taking every all the seeds. That's like the real fucking issue with Monsanto, besides the chemicals and pesticides, is that they're taking all of our seeds and they're ruining them so that everything is fucking GMO. You know? Yeah. Monsanto's Monsanto's a fucking devil. Oh, they I own a German well, Shepherd too. Say my hot pegs. I don't die on my leg. My German Shepherd. This is the first I have. It's something different about owning one. See, I, I've had family dogs, but to own my own next to me and say, this is my dog, like, no, that's Marley. But he's kind of like a dog. I've had it my whole adult life. I, I never had a chance to own a dog because I've always owned a cat. Yeah. They're like, fuck it. Let's just bang this shit out. And he knocked him out, huh? That's pretty badass. That's 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 pretty dope. So, but yeah, yeah, there's something different about like, yeah, when you have your own dog and you have that bond between you and your dog, y'all can look at each other in the eyes and you already know what the fuck you're saying. Anybody that says the dogs and cats don't communicate with you and don't tell you how they're feeling, that they love you, that they're mad. And they don't know what you're saying and you're having conversations. They don't know you're insane. They do know. They truly know. Especially the ones that you raised and you didn't had them next to you their whole lives, bro. Y'all y'all got that ESP. They know. That's the beautiful thing about animals, man. God created animals and they're such a beautiful thing because they don't have no sin, no nothing. They're just God's creatures. They're beautiful creatures. So... That's my opinion on that whole deal. You know. Well, that's a good opinion to have, dude. And I'm glad that you love animals so much. <clears throat> yeah, well. Well, I mean, they're innocent. For the most part, like, you, you make the animal, right? So, like. People are like, oh, dogs are a piece of shit, or this cat was a piece of shit. No, really, your cat wasn't a piece of shit. Your dog wasn't a piece of shit. You were probably a piece of shit, because your dog and your cat usually take mold of the owner, right? So if you're a good, cool owner, and you got good energy, good vibes, and you've got good... Your dog's going to be like more cool, good energy, loving, good... Or cat. Etc. But if you're a dickhead and you treat you know and act and you treat your dog like a piece of shit, your dog's gonna be a piece of shit. You literally <sighs> it takes form of their owner, man. I mean it just is what it is. <coughs> yeah, man. It's true. I mean it is and it sucks. And people want to say, oh, it's the pet. No, no, no. It's you. It's you. You do you it's you. It's okay, but they feed off of you, man. You didn't teach them. You didn't do the right thing. Whatever it is, that's you. It's not the dog. I love animals. And that mainly has to do with my childhood. You know, I just, I've always been a firm, one of them dudes that like any, I like animals. And I'm not gay or weird. I like, I love children. And I love elderly. And they love me. Animals love me. Children love me. And elderly people love me. Dude. Like my energy, not on some weird shit. It's just like, I, it's, I don't know why. It's just that their energy is innocent. 
they're innocently good people, and I vibe with that. They give off good vibes and good things, you know. So that's how I feel with all that. Even so, even like handicapped people, to be honest, too. But handicapped, and I hate you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you would now. Big Joey, on the other hand, he'd just eat him. <laughs> he'd just eat him. He don't care. He just gets hungry and eats him. <laughs> He's like, oh, get in my belly. Me want baby. Give me my baby back, baby back. Yeah, that. that. Oh. Yeah, man, this lady was telling me, I was talking to the landlord. I was telling you shit yesterday about the landlord and how they're being fucking, but they were saying how, like, how many animals that they have to recover, bro? People leave their dogs. Can you imagine this? Like, I heard a story of a 15-year-old dog getting left in an apartment recently. I heard a story of, like, a 12-year-old dog, uh, a couple of cats. Like, bro, people move out and just leave their animals. They had them their whole fucking life and then just leave their animals. So it's like, how can you do that? It's so, like... They were, like, literally left in the apartment. Like, they just didn't give a fuck enough to, like, bring, take, ah, oh, it's just disgusting, dude. 15-minute cities come in dues. Yeah, bro. 15-minute cities have already here. Leveling cities, towns for 15-minute ones. Yeah, that's been going on. That's why they just went and did that tornado hit. And that's absolutely why those tornadoes just hit through with all the farms around me. Wake up. The 15-minute cities? Facts. Anyways, Tim, do you own or have you personally owned any animals besides Marley? Um, I had cats before Marley that were mine. But this one, Marley was my first cat. Like, when I got him when I moved out for the first time, like, to Columbus. And he's been with me ever since. Through the thick, thin, the good, bad, and the ugly. Only motherfucker to not judge me and still love me no matter what fucked up things or good things I've done. He's made it through three relationships or two, like, six-year relationships, you know? My pop is 12. Oh, your pup's 12? Yeah, man, that's a good relationship. A 12-year relationship's a good relationship, man. How about you? You asked me that. How about you, man? Was that... was Your dog was your first own animal you owned? I would say Marley's the first one that I really loved and owned and took full responsibility for for my whole life. I had a snake. But I don't consider that hey. an animal, and I didn't like it. Huh? So I'm in here with my wife, and she's telling me, uh, when I was telling that Aslican story, she was listening, and she said she posted a comment, and she said, and the, it must have been retracted, but she said, why don't you come in here and smoke and lick my ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it got, it got retracted, dude. I didn't. I would have let it go. The YouTube likes to just fucking erase the good fucking ones, dude. People say good shit and it just gets erased. I'm like, hey, I didn't, like, nobody did that, you know? I got a snake, man. I got a snake, man. One time I fed him some beer, man. It was slivering this way and that. It was all fucked up. Remembers that shit. Come on, what was that from? Chat, what was that from? Anybody, 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 anybody. That's funny. Your wife was listening and heard that. And she, <laughs> she's like, now, now Spark looks like he's got fucking ass duty tonight. Alienated, was good. They're all gonna make yes, yes. They're all going to laugh at you. They're all going to laugh at you. I like the cock and balls one where he's like, you're going to play with your cock and balls, man. 
Like, what? You're cocking balls? I can like the cock and balls? That one was so fucking funny. That snake ain't gonna be moving all oh, when I get... Yeah, good. Eat that fucking snake. I know Hall has a bunch of snakes, too. Yes, Hall's got like 200 snakes, dude. When Danny said, I got a snake, he was doing the, uh, the Adam Sandler skit. I got a snake, man. <laughs> uh... One time I fed him some beer, man. <laughs> he was slavering this way and that. It was all fucked up. <laughs> uh, dude, Adam Sandler's funny as fuck. Adam Sandler managed to skate through all of this whole career without any bullshit. I respect Adam Sandler. But you had to tell Booth Woodley, you fucking cocksucker. You come to this fucking booth again, you motherfucking cocksucker. You got a good one. What about Gay Robot? Do you remember his uh, CD he had, his comedy CD with Gay Robot? No. Yeah, dude, it was Which hilarious. Yeah, like that one? I put... Gay bro dancer comment when you were talking, but dude, keep yeah, nothing my ass. I had a few rows. Yeah, man, you two be wiping it. You gotta be like, if they do it, you gotta be slick. I like lamp. I like lamp. Adam Sandler, what the hell happened to me with my fave? Yeah, I like the one with... Actually, the first one was they're all going to laugh at you, and then what the hell happened to me? That's the one with the cock and balls and the piece of shit car. That, that was such a good one. And the fucking goat. Fucking shit. <laughs> you fucking... That fucking prick hit me in the head with the fucking football. Happy Gilmore, classic, classic shit, dude. Yeah, classic shit. I love it. I that's you know, hey, I got a good story for that. So the first time I heard the Adam Sandler album, they're all gonna laugh at you. I was with this dude named John Hinkle, <laughs> and we were like twelve or something, right? We were fucking kids, and. Uh, we're all fucking, we're sitting there and he had an older brother who was like a deadhead and he, they were smoking so much weed that you couldn't really see in the room. So we were like stupid baked and we we're just sitting in there like getting contact buzz. And all of a sudden, like he puts on this Adam Sandler album and I'll never forget the way it changed my life. I laughed so fucking hard. It was like, wow, I can't believe I just heard this. No, they can't have a happy Gilmore too. That would be so shitty if that happens alienated. So shitty. <sighs> I, I we, we can't be having like you know. You can't do that. Aren't like half the people dead? Like Stubbs is dead, the black dude. There's like a bunch of guys from there dead. Netflix will remake anything, it sounds like, huh? Keep getting kicked out. Second time anchor ring. Chubbs. Chubbs. That's it, Chubbs. Yeah, Chubbs. Yeah, he just died recently. I actually enjoyed that movie that he played. The sister also. Who played the sister? I don't know. Uh, what movie, guys? Help, help, help me out. I don't like the Netflix Adam Sandler movie. I do. I like the one where he like, what was it? 
There's a couple. I, what about the one with Andy Dick playing playing the football coach? Tell me that one wasn't funny as fuck, dude. Who saw that movie? Andy Dick was the football coach. Jack and Jill, that's pretty funny. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I don't know if I've seen that. I I didn't see that one. Yeah, I didn't I didn't watch Jack and Jill. It looked pretty gay to me. Yeah, me too. Uh, I like the ones that he did where he was serious, where he played basketball in the basketball movie he did. And like the one where he was gambling and shit in it. That was a good fucking movie. And then that Halloween one he did, that was pretty good. Or is that the Jack and Joe one, the Halloween one? No, that's not Jack and Joe. Yeah, I'm old school Sandler, but I re- I like him acting though. He, I like his I like him being serious. He's a good serious actor. Halloween. That's a good movie for sure. Halloween was a good one. I still... What's up, Esra? How you doing? You doing well? Happy uh, Saturday night. Hope you're having a uh, blessed night. Grown Ups was good. That was a really good movie. A really good movie. Okay. Since we are on the topic of movies, Tim, what's your favorite movie? Oh, good one. My favorite movie. Probably. Oh, man. It's a toss between like Goodfellas. I'm really a big fan of the movie Blow for some reason. I love Fear and Loathing from Las Vegas. And the movie Kids. I used to love the movie Kids growing up. Herbie, the car. I used to love him. My mom used to tell me about Herbie, dude. Like, my mom used to always, I used to love Herbie. Yeah, the little fucking bug. Yeah, hurt you. <laughs> What's your favorite movie, Spark? Debbie Does Dallas. Hell yeah. What's that about? It's about a girl who moves to a town and she's got to make her way through, like, you know, just the struggles of life. And she just uh, works her way to the top. How does she work her way to the top? Does she does she go through some? Does she have to struggle? Does she like? Does she like she get a job at McDonald's? Problems. Does she, she get a job problems. at McDonald's? Did she? Did she? Uh, you know? Did she just have her way with the whole state of Dallas? Did she just? Find, <laughs> I'm just fucking <laughs> with you. So um, I guess. I like uh, Gladiator, Tombstone, The Rock, uh, Beautiful Mind. I like, um, there's a few different movies out there. I like, you know, there's different genres of movies. Like, if you're going with the comedies, maybe like Dumb and Dumber, Shallow Hal. Uh, Fugitive's a badass movie. If I had to just watch one movie for the rest of my life, just one. It, it might even be a Marvel movie. Maybe like Marvel Endgame or something. Really? Yeah, just because it would be like action-packed, a lot going on, you know. Uh, the Last of the Mohican is a really good movie, but just like, you know, the scenery gets boring and stuff, you know. At least in like a newer Marvel movie, there'd be a lot of act. Like, you know, watch Guardians of the Galaxy. You can watch that a few times and pick something new up every time, you know. Yeah, if I I agree with Ryan, if you ask me every day, I'd probably give you a different answer. 
But the one steady one is Goodfellas. You know, I would take that over Casino. Casinos, you know what movie's really good too is The Bronx Tale. That's a really fucking good movie. And as far as Halloween goes, I know Breezy doesn't agree. I know he's the horror film expert, but I think the best Halloween is the Rob Zombie Halloween, personally. Uh, just for me. What about Ernest Scared Stupid? I used to love Ernest. Ernest Goes to Camp was my favorite. I like Ernest Scared Stupid. Oh, he... He'd be like, I eat. Yeah. <laughs> I eat. I love Ernest. Come on, who doesn't love a good old Ernest? Good old Ernest. You love horror movies, huh? Yeah, then maybe one night when Breezy's on, dude, bring it up to him, dude. He might ruin the fucking stream, but he'll go all night about horror movies. Love Ernest. Yeah, dude. Ernest scared Stoopsy. Everybody's got theirs. Who said I never liked Ernest? Danny. Fight me, he says. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked Ernest. Fight me. <laughs> That's great, Danny. That, that was a good one, bro. You know what? Yeah, some people didn't like him. I, 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 got, I never watched Star Wars. I watched Ernest. And like space balls. That's what I was introduced to. Herbie, even. You know what I'm saying? We never talked about this, but like Flight of the Navigator and Little Monsters and shit like that. Little Monsters? Yeah. Those are movies I remember watching as a kid a lot. Aladdin? As far as like Disney movies go, I used to love the movie Aladdin. <laughs> the music, the musical fucking shit on that on that movie is fucking dope. I probably still can sing the songs I watched so much as a kid. Brainwashing was good. Tomorrow, golf course, two p.m. Danny, we're fighting. Uh oh, be careful. Be careful. Commander Luke is in the house, so be careful. Be careful. Even seen Drop Dead Fred. Oh, yeah. Dude, that movie was so great. He's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. and he looks under that chick's dress. Ah, ah. That was like one of the best, bro. How long you guys been together? This is the long enough to have seahorse kids? Or, dude, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, just put him in timeout. I don't want. I, I, I got, I got bad eyes. I can't do it. I cannot fucking see the guy. Whoever's got it, I don't like this commander guy for some reason. He's come in a couple of times, and I like you, dude. But you got gay jokes. Cause you all right, all right. Don't put him in timeout. He's 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 redeemed himself with the question, and I'm gonna give you a chance, Commander Luke, before you get wrenched. Up oh, too late. Got wrenched, my friend. I don't like you because you say gay shit all the time when there's no gay shit being said. And if you were funny about the game shit, then you fucking I I, I would be cool with that shit, Luke. Look, come back, say something funny, redeem yourself. Or else, you know, you fucking go back to timeout with the rest of the little kitty kitties. They call me timeout Tim, huh, JD? I don't play with that shit. Team Tim likes that timeout. And I got, like, people that like to put them in timeout. Don't it's ever fun. come back to our channel. We don't like people like you. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that. You can come back, just, just be, just... Maybe grow, just be nicer. What if I made fun of gay people and like said, so are you guys straight? How long you had a girlfriend, gay guy? Like, that's just weird. You know, why do people do that to straight people? Are you gay? Is that your boyfriend? So what if it was? Hey, are you gay? Says the dude that wants to suck your cock. Like, so were you hitting on me, bro? Are you hitting on me and Spark? You want, are you trying to have a sandwich, you bro? 
You trying to fucking have Spark? Are you trying to give Spark a handy and bust on your wife or your husband? I mean, is that what you're telling me? We understand, Commander Luke. That sounds kind of gay. Like they call me Commander Luke, and I like to do. Um, I like to command gay thing. But it's all good. We love you, Luke. You know, welcome to the show. Hope you enjoy the corner. Next time, come with some funnier shit. Um. Oh my God, guy likes. Oh my God, like what? Like oh my God, like like exactly, dude. It's like, oh my gosh. Some about the internet being so fucking gay, man. I used to like. I like fucking funny gay talk, but bro, the internet just goes extra gay. No wonder everybody's fucking gay. They're sitting at home just thinking about gay shit all day long. Like, damn, how gay can I get today? Wake up, look in the mirror, wash the little poop off your lip from eating, you know, from the dick and the ass that you're fucking. How gay can I get today? How much gayer can I get? Oh, I'm going to go on YouTube. And I'm going to hop in this dude's chat and I'm going to say gay things. And I'm going to have everybody be like, how gay? And then I want to be like, I want to suck your cock because I'm just so gay. Hi, Holly. Sorry you had to walk in, dude. But there's the gay talk again. And Holly understands, actually. She's been around for the gay talk. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. This dude's biceps are real big. You know what? Because he's just like, bring them all in. Bring all of them in. (laughs) Yeah, he's like, give me everyone. I like his suit. Dude, what the f- Come on now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. They like to say the gay stuff. I don't understand. Like, bro. I mean, I can understand if you're talking and you're like, hey, man, that's pretty gay, right? And you're like, oh. Hey, bro, but, like, when you come in, like, hey, is that your husband? And you do it, like, five times. Yeah, I think creepy. that's, like, that's, like, an obsessionally creepy thing. Like, everybody in the chat now knows your fucking handle, and everybody knows that Commander Luke likes to play with more than just fucking uh, his little fucking, what, little s- fucking, what are those things on Star Wars? The little sticks? The Schwartz or something. He likes to smack Schwartz together with Yoga or with Yoda. I want to bring back segregation, uh, but with a few tweaks. I'm with you. I agree. Like I think there should be separate water fountains, but the nice water fountains should really be nice, like crystallized, fine, like water, like you know, put through like a fine filter of like sea salt and jasmine or something and then the other shitty one should just be like i don't know like floor fluoride and lightsaber yeah a lightsaber that's it and as far as um your segregation comment why not segregate by what you believe and what you like no. and what you vote on and what you do so if you're fucking a red state, and you want it to be this way, then you go this way. If you want to be a snowflake and burn down your city, then you go over there. You want to suck cock and be gay, then go live over here. <laughs> then everybody's cool, and then if you want to link up, you can, you know, like we do. But, you know, like, like-minded like people should live by each other. It would cause less violence. You know, I'm 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 serious. That, that, I'm not talking about by color. I'm talking about by just like who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think there should be wine fountains. Now that would be cool, Holly. A wine fountain. I don't even drink, but that sounds pretty cool. How much wood can a wood commander chuck if a wood commander could chuck wood? I don't know, man. Luke probably chuck a lot of wood. Seems to be dropping a right. What's up, Cheeks Inc.? Dropping a night truffle? What's that mean? Is that like another term for a poop? 
That was creative. A night truffle? I've never heard of that. That's a good one. i would give you that. What's your name? Cheeks. Good job, Cheeks. It was weird, but it was original. You know? No time out for you. <laughs> a deuce. Okay. It's dropping a deuce, but a, a, a night truffle? Huh. That's creative. You need to go copyright that before uh, I start dropping it in my fucking thing. Like, don't make me drop a night truffle on you. Very different. Yeah, it was creative and different. I'll take it. It wasn't like, hey, are you dude's boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> like, boyfriends? I am currently in the shit, but I wanted to say what's good, man. And when I'm done making these kids cry, I will be back. Cool, Prodigy. Enjoy that. <laughs> Taking a, a white truffle. Too late. I'm going to get my paperwork now. <laughs> Y'all like Black Sabbath. You wouldn't find it on my playlist. I don't dislike them. Spark? You like Black Sabbath? Nah. That's, that's too white for us. If you don't notice, I mean, he looks a little more African than me, but we're both African whites. So, he just looks a little darker. Oh, uh, what did they say? Do you like Black Sabbath? That's the last question. Uh, I said no. Dude, I cannot wait for this fight. This main card event. Are you like getting a boner thinking about it? Yeah. Is that okay? <laughs> No, how dare, how dare you get a banner? Dude, how can you control a banner? Like, a man, imagine, remember being in school, sorry, Holly, Holly, Holly. I'm sorry for the story I'm going to tell. It might make you look at guys differently. You might already know this. But remember, guys, going, being in school, getting on the bus, Fucking having morning wood like a motherfucker, or be in the middle of like second period, first period, and having to stand up, and fucking sitting there in morning wood. I wonder if it, or if it was just me, or was it like, was it most guys? We all like kind. Of, that thing had a mind of its own when you were a kid. You know, you're just sitting there, and all of a sudden you're learning about George Washington, and he says something fucking fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like Sabbath. Sigh all too well. Yeah, man. I mean, it, it's the truth. It's the truth. Guys, we had to go through it. Women think guys had it easy. No. No. We had to hide fucking wood half the fucking day as kids. It wasn't easy. I had to walk around in the morning with one in the pocket. <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> to tame the beast. Exactly, alienated. Exactly. You had to walk around with one in the fucking chamber. You know, it's like, fuck. You were always walking around with a loaded pistol. Always. Have Why, you guys, wait, would you want to come on? We do. Not on this one. We have, but not on this one. Tim likes to have I guests don't... on. I'm actually Tim's guest. Like it, I know, like I'm here a lot, but it's Tim's show, and I'm his guest. You know, I'm like his uh, uh, what's that Mexican dude for Jimmy Fallon? 
Or Jimmy yeah, Kimmel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're like the little Mexican guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, you're not. You're better than him. But nah, that's a good role, though, because he's, dude, Jimmy ain't shit without that little Mexican guy. For real, for real. What was his name? Yeah, but this is your channel. You why go, you meet I can't do a show Jimmy without Jimmy. you, you know. Why? You could if you really wanted to. And I hide the wood. Yeah, bro. So hard. But it hurt. No, it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, Holly. I didn't mean to, like, ruin it for you. Whatever. I mean, I'm sure it's funny. But it's just true. I mean, you know. Just know, like, yeah. I'm not going to get too graphic. But, yeah. Yeah, dude. It was something we all had. It's something that we could all relate to as men, you know. That's why I don't get. What about the the little nine year old chicks, boys that are now girls? Do they and they still got morning wood? What do they? What do they? What? What? May, yeah, everyone. It just bums me out. Why you need balloons to carry around to hide the wood? Who needs balloons? <laughs> Who needs balloons? Ew. Uh, no, yeah, dude. Love the random topics, dude. I had a random yeah. topic earlier. Tim was like, "Shut it down." He's like, <laughs> "Yeah, I'm trying to keep it like as like." chill and like it's funny but like you know like i want it to be presentable because we just don't like my age bracket has changed to like i just want to not be super like i don't know if it's three four in the morning i don't fucking care if you're up that late listening you're gonna hear what you hear but like at a certain times i feel like i don't want to be like too trashy bro Especially now that there's way more people watching, I want I, I kind of want to turn that down because like, not like turn it down, be myself, but you also want to you know respect the women in the chat and if there's younger cats that just don't know what you're talking about, and shit. Yeah, I hear. And you. it's something you got to think about that I never really thought about, you know. Nah, I love the. <laughs> Was just curious, but a lot of people ask a lot of the questions, so it's not you know. Yeah, a lot of people ask me about my uh, Magneto weed dab pen, and it's made by Yo Can. And if you ever want to get one, just use my code. It's Spark sixty nine at checkout for ten percent off. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a moderator for a few lives, and I immediately say, if you're under 18, past 11, you got to get out. That's how I am, Holly. Trust me, Ryan and my my guys. We don't we don't fuck around. If you say some dumb little kid shit and you say you're a kid, you gotta go. Yeah, Tim is a, is a joke. I don't I don't need that shit. And I will even say, man, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, you know, and. I know you're going to stick around and, you know, but it's not meant for kids. And YouTube needs to do a better job at that shit because they sure as hell can strike my ass down for saying specific words. They need to be able to strike kids down for getting into grown men's chats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, my fight starts. In yeah, time. definitely need to leave the kids the fuck alone, bro. It's so annoying, bro. Fucking with our kids, man. Like, leave them the fuck alone, dude. Sportsmanship, nice surprise. Yeah, that's big. <laughs> exactly. Wake up. Wake up, gets it. Wake up, gets it, man. That'd be cool. Do you you should get sponsored by your local dispensary and they could give you like every strand of bud they get new and you could try it. 
it's gonna it'll happen here when it goes right. I already talked to the dude that like, we talked about it already. Because legally they're not allowed to sponsor me right now because it's just medicinal. But uh, when it goes wreck, they'll be able, I'll be able to do that shit. So I'm gonna be working at with them all here shortly. So that'll be fun. I have some really good stories for you guys here shortly. I've got a lot of shit that I'm holding it in. I got a lot of good stories. I haven't opened up too much yet. Y'all have a. There'll be nights where I'll have some good stories. I'm still sort of finding my way up in here where I'm like, man, I don't know what you can and can't say to this bitch. You know? Yeah. So, Sparky working on that. Yeah, man. He's got some guns, though. Oh, uh, thanks, dude. I used hey, to have Bubba, you thirsty? Come here. Come here. Come drink some water. He didn't eat his food. I thought he ate. I was all feeling good. I thought he ate. Let's see. What can I put in here to make it more eatable? Sorry, chat. I'm like waiting arm and leg on this cat like a savage. Good. What's up, Iris? Iris, what's up? I was wondering. I was wondering about you and your dude. Like, where'd y'all been? How you doing? <sighs> like three days ago at four a.m. was fucking classic. Who said that? Said that. Wake up. Wake up. Why don't you put on a little makeup? Wake up. A little Susie. Wake up. Wake up. A little Susie. Wake up. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living should I blast myself? <laughs> I feel so bad for the look. This little fucking guy. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to the fucking pet store and talking to the people. The Dude, I store. was just... Oh, yeah, you should. I was just going through Instagram or YouTube Reels, some, some kind of shorts, and I, I got to this Chinese video, and there's this Chinese lady just cooking dogs, bro, and just chopping them up, and I was like, this is traumatizing. I was like, watching this. I was like, how the fuck are they just showing this, dude? They are just cooking. I mean, they weren't like alive howling or anything, but they were like cooked, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot of people have come back from the last few streams. Because there's like the last week has had some classic stream. And I think uh, a lot of people started to come back after the case. Uh, that's why I feel like don't you guys think it's a lot better to watch people just be like trying to chill being themselves laughing and telling stories than bitching and crying on their fucking YouTube channel and fucking all that weird shit that they do I think now yeah I understand hearing someone ran at the fucking About chat Australians. sometimes isn't fun but um, overall, I, I have more fun watching people be funny and have fun. Sorry not to stay as long, but I'm super... Good night, Miss Huckabay. Good night, Holly. You have a good one, man. Chica, you have a great night yourself. You have a great one yourself. Yeah, the chicks, that, I will say this. The chicks that come in here and stick around and they leave laughing, they're like the coolest chicks. <sighs> they stumble up on this chat and they leave laughing. They're cool. Yeah, they, they stick around like that. Yeah, they pass the test for sure. Like Ryan, that Ryan chick. and 
I feel for your friend who tuned in. I feel for your friend who tuned in when I was like, then she's tongue punching my fart box, and he's like, oh, Oh, Tim. Oh yeah, hungry, but hungry. The cool thing about hungry is. He was the dude that I gravitated to in the chat. You know, when you guys all have a little buddy in the chat, you know? Yeah. But we we watched the Browns chat every day. We would – it was a four-hour show. We would – and it was during the uh, Trump-Clinton debates and all that. So, like – and then during the pin, you know? So, like, it was so divided, there'd be wars. And it would be like, fuck Trump, fuck Clinton. And there would not be no Browns talk because we were like 0 and 16 and shit, 1 and 15. There was no Browns talk. It was just straight politics every day. No, everybody. So, like, Hungry was one of the cool ones. You know, he got it. So I stayed in touch with him. Dude, it's damn. That's been like eight years, bro. You know, he probably subbed to my channel back in my early CBD videos from years ago. That's cool, bro. So, yeah, I pop in. I see him every so often. I've probably talked to him in the last month. Yeah, Tim, But it was really do... cool to Huh? Uh, I was just saying, you do have good stuff to say. Like, you have good stories and stuff. And I've dragged some good stories out of you, but I feel like a lot of your stories are, like, R-rated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, my stories really... aren't really... Yeah, yeah. Like, I have some stories kind of like that. Like, I remember when I first got out of the Navy, I met this black dude named Tank. And Tank should let you know how big he was. Like, he was a big dude. He just got out of prison, and he would worked out the whole time. And I had money, so we became friends, and, like, we got into some trouble together. But when I wanted out of the 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 partnership, he got pissed and beat me up. With, with mm. two of his buddies, dude. And that showed me that the streets is for real, you know? Yeah, the streets is for real, bro. That's what, what I'm saying. You? I got a lot of good street stories. I got some good stories, dude. Yeah. One day I'll open up. I got a story about these crackheads kidnapping my friend. What? In Akron. I got a story. Yeah, and I ended up going with them. And shit. Uh, yeah, I got, uh, I, I won't say who it is, but yeah, man, I've had, I've got a lot of crazy stories, dude. Crazy stories. Thank you, Ryan. <sighs> right? Ryan knows what I'm talking about. You like how I kept that on the wraps? But you know what I'm talking about, dude. That's fucking hilarious. You, know? you you gotta tell me that later offline because you can't just I, say I, could, I got a story about I a could, friend kidnapped by crack. I can probably say it. I just won't say the friend. So I, right, I'm actually at Ryan's house. Right, I'm at Ryan's house in Akron, and I'm sitting on his porch. I had I, I was going to class. I was going to college at Akron University. I had class. I had a speech to do that day. Like, I had an actual presentation I had to do, you know, and I'm sitting on his porch. I'm organizing all my papers. I'm sitting there outside, and all of a sudden, my boy rolls up, like, with these two black dudes, like, crackhead black dudes, no teeth, all jacked up, like, your boy owes me money. And my dude's like, I don't owe him shit. And they're like, we want our fucking money. I literally was like, I don't even remember how it ended up happening. What year is this? This is 2001. That was a long time ago. Back when gangsters were gangsters and you really had to worry about shit. Um, and it was funny because... Right before it happened, right before they he pulled up with the black dude, my other boy, Mickey, I can say his name, but he's passed away. Rest in peace. He rolls up. What year was it? He rolls up and he goes, yeah, 2001. He rolls up and goes, hey, bro, don't talk to them black dudes at the stop sign. Well, this person just so happens. Yeah, R.I.P. Mickey. What up, Bubba? Uh, 
And he's like, don't talk to them black dudes at the stop sign. Well, this dude stopped and talked to the black dudes. They got in his car and basically were like trying to like extort him for money. And I ended up having to roll with him to protect him. It was a long story. I was like the movie Training Day, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Yes. It was like the movie Training Day. Legit, dude. We're rolling around with these crackheads and shit. And, like, I just didn't understand. And I ended up, like, drinking with them and shit. <laughs> I was, like, drinking it. And finally, I got all drunk. I'm like, Danny, we're, um, uh, I was, like, talking to my dude on the phone like yo i'm leaving this bitch bro and i just laughed like no one's gonna do nothing bro we it was funny whoever's hitting those laughings i know who it was was it dre's y'all no, brothers dre was you not look there. alike nah dre was not there we are we're both italian so yeah uh according to our uh, brotherhood, yes. Yeah, I guess we do kind of look alike, dude. I'm like darker than you, but we both got that Italian nose, bro. You, look, <laughs> yeah, you look more like my brother. My brother's dark, like you are. Nope, was it Marty? Basta, basta. I said the name on accident, but no one caught it. So. Oh yeah, I heard you say it, Skyler. <laughs> Skyler. No, but oh yeah, I forgot to tell the rest of the story. So we're in the house and these crackheads are trying to get this money and we're all fighting in the house. Yeah, I was super gangster back then, bro. I was that dude, right? And like, I'm trying to defend my dude. Uh-oh. I feel like we have... Uh, What's up, Henry? I don't know. But yeah, so like, they're like, we're all fighting in the house. And there was people upstairs just listening and didn't come down and help. Ain't that some bullshit, bro? What's that mean? They talk 15 are you married? Oh my gosh. Do we have to really get into this talk? Rewind. LOL. Right. Exactly. Well, to those that want to rewind, the clues there. Gaze. Okay. That was the last funny gay joke you got. Next time you do it, you're fucking putting time out like a little fucking fag. Thank you. <laughs> My uh, tricks, takes spark, get the balls out. Going to be getting wild. Get the bells out. Oh, yeah. It's got the bells out. It's getting wild. Now look at them fucking dig it. Uh oh. Now the chat's going to go ham. Oh, my God. Your arms are so big. Dude. I wish, man. <laughs> Prodigy. That dude is super weird, bro. I don't fucking get it. There's some weird fucking people in this world. What's up, Don? What's up, dude? dude? Spark, yeah, it's looking you're good. You're going to ride the buzz for so long. That's the dude that got you to shave your hair. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good thing you didn't come in here. What's stay. up, bro? I, I remember because of the logo, man. Can you shout out the channel? I can't pronounce it. Mike Uber talking sneaking tanks. Uchenhauser tanks. Uchi Uchi Walla tank tank. I don't know, brother. I can't read that. I'm too blind. Uchi Walla tank tank. Everybody go to Uchi Walla tank tank's channel. They got great quality stuff on pajama cats. No, don't send them there for me, because what if they're a bunch of fucking tranny fucking... <laughs> uh, what if they're a bunch of tranny fucking like furries or something, and they're like, everybody's in the comments like, Tim's channel sent me here. Hi! 
Hi, then all of a sudden my chat's just full of furries, dude. Oh gosh, you guys. Uh, what would we do? All of a sudden I got a bunch of homosexual furries that are really trying to marry me. Not just joking, being weird, but they really are coming in like real hot. I, I, I oh well good. I couldn't read it anyway, so we all win. No trannies are coming up in here yelling at me, and uh, you didn't have to make me say no stupid chant. I was attempt to make you say something funny, but you're too stoned. Oh, I thought that was pretty funny, actually. I got some ha-has in here and some hee-hees. I'm really not too stoned, actually. I'm on my game right now. My cat wasn't sitting next to me fucking sick and he was yelling at me to eat. Bro, I'd be killing it. It's kitty hour, bro. You know? It's all good. I love it. Bring it on like a fucking Cheech and Chom, baby. Bring it on. Oh, that was that was fun. That was a fun like uh, time sober compared to the other. Yeah, I'm absolutely sober, y'all. I'm about as good as it gets. I'm taking care of my cat. I'm drinking coffee, smoking a shitty pre roll from Detroit or from Michigan. Fucking not even that high, like. Come on. I just had to call a guy into the office and deny a time of request. Oh, really? Oh, you pay on my TV too funny. <laughs> no way, Prodigy. Dude, you should know better, man. You should know better not to play my shit up out loud. Oh, shit. That's funny, Prodigy. That's funny shit, dude. You guys need a mushroom show. I know you keep saying that, but I'm telling you, if I eat mushrooms, I wouldn't want to come on here and be like, I would probably be like, I'd be paranoid as shit. Yeah, I wouldn't like, want to do it. I'd, I'd be, be like, like, this sucks. I hate, I hate electronics when I'm tripping. Yeah, dude, I'd be paranoid. I'd be like, reading the reading the chat. I'm a huge fan. Shout me out. Oh, dude, I know you work for the FBI or something. You know, that's how I What's mean. up, Haywood, man? How you doing, brother? Hope you're doing well. Sorry, I didn't catch you sooner. What's up? Uh, Rikes. He had to just stand there and take it. <laughs> Take it like a savage, like a real fucking man. Take it like a fucking man. Time off request? I'd be like, you know where you're going? Nowhere. You're going nowhere. <laughs> Just do three grams dried. You said you did. Yeah, I did. Um, That was in the same year I'm talking about this story. That was like 2001, dude. 2002. I mean, I've been to festivals and eaten. Uh, I've eaten 30 or 40 hits of acid at once without a question. And that's me not telling you the real amount. And that was like not too, you know. But uh, I don't do it like that no more, though, man. I, I stopped doing all that stuff because I just like to smoke and eat edibles and shit now. I don't really do none of that shit. Because all the Fetty and all the bad drugs that go around, they're not real drugs no more. I don't even take the chance. Those are back in the day when drugs were good. Yeah, we have what's called a Black R Month. So you can request time off during the time. I had to deny it while you guys are in the background. <laughs> That's great, Prodigy. Classic shit, dude. Hmm. 
30 hits of acid seems excessive. Well, look, dude, this is real talk. I'm not lying to you. See, this is what I'm saying. My stories, I got good stories, but they're like more like stories I shouldn't really tell. So I'm going to try to give them to you the best I can. Um, It was no thing to have, you know, like we would take sheets between the, you know, and rip them up between the three of us and split it. Like we had stacks of sheets, you know. We used to eat the shit out of. We used to. We used to. I used to go to festivals from one to one to one to one to one to one. So I used to have a lot of fun. You know, like I used to know like people that were in the Rainbow Family, and you know, uh, that were, you know, getting that real. You know, so yeah, I don't know. I can't really say much. I'm not really trying to incriminate myself. The breakthrough is fun. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. Ryan's dude. We've all, dude. Once you listen, there's a thing: is you can take as much as you want. You just gotta be good with yourself. How you doing there, Nathan? He's probably like, "What the fuck did I just walk into?" Here, buddy. You want some water? Here, Bubba. Oops. This poor dude. He oh my him. god. I'm getting tired, bro. This oh, damn fight's not man. starting for 15 minutes. Okay, dude. Jeez, dude. Hey, I was in the Navy. Come on. <laughs> doing good, bro. I'm doing good. I'm really upset for my cat right now. I just checked him and I'm just really upset. Fuck. <sighs> I got stopped by the cops when I was on acid. So, dude, all right, here's another good story. About getting stopped by cops. So the first time I ever did Molly, right? All right, check it. My plugs were all real deadheads. They were all like 10, 15 years older than me at least. Okay? Because I used, to, I met them at the ledges, you know, and like they took me under their wing. And they were like true deadheads. Ryan will back me up with the shit I'm saying, dude. So I go out to Illyria one day to meet this plug. And he had like a brick of Molly. Oh. Like, I'm talking, like, a big thing of it. And, like, he, uh, you know, was shaving it off. And, like, he had some K. And we did some K. And, like, I'm in a hole on the way home. And, like, I guess I ate some of the molly. And we got pulled over. And I was so fucked up, though. Before we got pulled over, I was, like, playing with one of the grams. And I spilled it all over my lap. So I had like this giant pile of molly all over me and we got pulled over with the pile of molly on my lap. And like, I'm rolling my balls off, balls off. And we got away somehow. Huh. It was crazy, dude. Yeah. Some special K. These, again, this story is an old story back when special K was special K. I don't suggest any Buddy that's young to go try to find you any of the shit I'm talking about because it probably doesn't really exist unless you know somebody. Somebody. JD said so I should go get a Celsius, but I just drank a five-hour energy like a when we started this stream. So how long have we been going? Uh, we've been going for I don't know. Because it reset on 233 divided by 60. I found this on the web. It's two and a half hours. 133 divided by 60. It's approximately 3.88. Okay, so almost four hours. Really? Yeah, almost Dude, four. if that's the case, we've pretty much, other than like one little drop, have maintained like a 
14, 15, 13 count, if not more. Like, we've made a nice, we made a nice steady uh, amount of people watching the whole time, man. Appreciate okay. everybody that stuck around. I really do. Everybody, hope you guys are enjoying. We're waiting for this final fight here. Trying to kick y'all some funny stories or some stories. I got, I got them. I got them, man. I got a good story about Ryan's brother one day and festivals. It's the festival life. Once you do this festival life, you'll understand what I'm saying. Things just start to become different. But yeah, it was excessive looking back on it now, you know. Dude, what what I read? What I take it back? No, do it for real, for real, for bicycle day, Tim. Do what for bicycle day? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that stuff, bro. I'm not doing that. I know, damn. I'm telling you, look, bro. If I ever ingest anything like that ever, ever again. I'm going to be in some sort of nature with music and fire nature and a bunch of weed and dabs. I, I, I would not do that shit to sit here on a fucking TV screen. That would be horribly fucking... That, to me, I think that would be... It would be harsh. 100% only way. Yeah, man. That's it. That's it. Go out in the I'd go out in the woods. Good music, fire. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, you could chirp out. Look at all the leaves and the trees and the fire and fucking smoke out. Have your fucking, you know, have your fucking food. Make some hot dogs. Trip and looking, tripping balls. Looking at your hot dog cooking in the fire. <laughs> Looking at the trees, like, whoa, they're fucking fighting each other, bro. What the fuck? Am I watching these trees eat each other? That's the funnest the part, fuck? watching trees eat each other. Oh, oh, D1. I've had some good conversations that way in the past. Well, if you microdose, yeah. I guess if we all sat down and just ate like a square... Like a mushroom chocolate and just ate like a like a half a gram or something, a gram and, and did it, maybe. But if I do it, I like to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm gonna do it, I'll probably eat half the bar at once and fucking I won't care about anything. <laughs> but you do have great conversations, like more on the come down, you know. Dr. Happy Tim. <laughs> Exactly, exactly O and exactly W. See, get the fuck out of the road peacefully. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. Dr. Feel Good. Dr. Feel Good. Three <laughs> games is a nice amount for that. Ugh. Dude, you're hitting the wall, man. It's because you're going too hard. You think? See, here's the thing about here's the thing about people. This here's the thing. Like, oh, Tim. Well, I'll smoke you under the table. <laughs> See, here's the thing. At the end of the night, I'll have doubled what they smoked, but they did it all in this real quick period. So it looks like they just went so hard in the paint. But by the night, I'm like three, four joints in. I'm like 12 dabs in, like Breezy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like 12 dabs in. I'm like fucking 100 milligrams in, you know, and I'm still kicking it like this. I hung with you one night, but just one night. No, I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm joking with you. I'm just saying, that's They're the difference. You, dude, you stay up, man. I, every night I get off, I'll look at your, I look at your lives the next day and I'm like, he went late, dude. Yeah. And I, so yeah. I know you're telling I the got, truth. 
And I work hard, bro. But I got a cool little, you know, I like the West Coast cats too. I go yeah, hard. Not, it, it, it's way. a different yeah. crowd. They come and they go. You know what I'm saying? Ryan stays here the whole night. That's always nice. You get like yeah, a steady I like. Here. Yeah, Ryan's around. And then like JD will pop in. Um, pretty much Polly, Ryan, and Floppy pretty much be running shit. I, I don't think anybody else, like, JD has never had to use the, the wrench. Um, but he might. He's there. He's got it. So don't listen. If you're watching, don't think because I said he ain't use it that he won't. Because, dude, he's ready. I'm just saying. Ryan's quick on them. He's quick draw McGraw. He fucking smack. I just say he knows I'm about to yell at you and you're already do- done. Appreciate it. I'm Norm. Oh, what up, Norm? What's good? What you do? You all right? You doing all right? I just like to look cool. Yeah, you just know your part is like, all right, JD's in the house. He's an OG. Comes the OGs. Not, not that you guys are. Not that you guys aren't. Because there's some people in here that are starting to make like alienated. Like you're one guy that you're somebody that I'll probably end up modding here in a minute. Because you've stuck around enough that I know you're not a troll and you're a cool dude. You know. Wake up. You too. You know, it just depends on who. But if people, co- it's funny. People will come in like, hey, man, make me a mod. Like, what? I don't even know you. That's cool, brother. I'm glad you're doing well, man. Hope you're having a good, uh, what's it called, night. And watching the fights and all that shit. Hello, world. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. For sure. I know you're kicking it in the background, and you always got, like, I know for a fact, like, you know, you real knows real because you talk to people. And when people respond to certain things a certain way, and you know how they talk, you know real from real, even in a fucking text. Uh oh, our buddy's back. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of a funny, that's kind of a funny comment. He's not fat, though. I thought That's he was talking thing. to you, motherfucker. <laughs> you're here going, oh. so you do look like you're stressing. Oh, he yeah. has a point. He okay. does have a point. I, I, I'm not being mean. I'm sitting here with a really cheesy, stony smile on my face. You're like this. Are you worried about the bet? Are you like wondering if you're going to win, or are you just tired of being online? Because if you're tired of being online, dude, you... I'll tell you what's wrong, dude. Your cat is sick. My dog's back. Legs stop working. My stepdad has cancer. I mean, there are some things stressing me out. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I was saying, me. Listen, me too. I'm trying to forget about all that shit. That's why I'm live because I can't do nothing about it besides do anything he needs me to do from now until at least till tomorrow. Dude, I hope this fight's over yeah. fast and I win my money. Like, I hope this fight's over fast. Like. So Crash. <laughs> oh yeah. I can't I don't see you crashing. You're just tired of being on camera because it's hard to think of shit to say, right? Oh uh, but... I don't really worry about that because everyone's so chill. Like when you ha- like no one's ever you know, like I don't know what I'm saying, like uh Yeah, no people got a lot of to say, so they kinda No like, one's ever made everybody... me feel like a clown. Like entertain me, clown. Jump through that hoop, you know. Let me see. Trolls make a screw tube interesting. Yeah, no, 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 no. Without the trolls, we need the trolls. The trolls give me something to laugh at. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just them weirdos. There's just them one weirdos. Where's the advice you gave me? Did it retract your shit or something? Making coffee? Should I make some coffee? I would. I think you need to give up on those energy things. They make you crash, dude. 
Yeah, dude. That's just... probably that's probably why I'm so like stable because I just drink. I don't even put sugar. I don't put none of that. I just drink dark coffee, and I don't have no weird. But when I drink like sugary drinks and shit, dog, I have a hard come down. I'm feel retarded. It's not my bag. Yeah, I, I be up late, man. I'm on that West Coast vampire time, bro. Water. Yeah. Water's always good, too, man. Water gives your brain a good fucking, you know. Uh, but water, but coffee is my go-to. Definitely. I wonder if I played, I'm not going to do it, but I wonder if I played a Tom McDonald video, if that would, if he would, because I know I got copyrighted before playing videos, but if he's so independent as he says you are, that he says he is, then why the fuck would you get copyrighted is my question. Oh, you're making coffee. Oh, yeah, see? Meow, see, it's coffee time. Meow. I used to bang a chick who's got the name, co her, her, her name had coffee in it. And I used to say, I'm about to have my morning coffee. <laughs> I'm about to have me some coffee, bro. I don't know how to really. I've, I, I. You hear me just slurp over or like stumble over my words? I was going to say I don't know how to make coffee, but I actually do. I just suck at it. That he's independent. Maybe you could play. You would think that's like, that's why I always have Upchurch playing in the background because I know I don't get flagged for it because he's independent and he wants you to play his shit. <laughs> Dude, have you heard? Did you listen to that? Uh, um, Alien, did you listen to the... Ryan, have you heard the new uh, Tom McDonald song? Or anybody that listens to him in the chat? Do y'all hear the new Tom McDonald song? I totally suggest y'all bump that shit. That shit goes hard. And I fucking was really, 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 really cynical of him after the upchurch beef. Yeah, God, God, uh, God mode. It's eight and a half fucking minutes long, and he goes in on that bitch. Oh, yeah, listen to it, bro. He, he has, he, he, I, I will say this, bro. I didn't think he could come at Upchurch with no shit, for real, for real. And he came at Upchurch with some shit. He 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 managed to surprise me. Yeah, when you go home, put your headphones on and listen. To it. You you can't listen to it unless you got your headphones right, on and I'll you're in that mode. I'll come back in a few minutes for this coffee. Damn you guys. I wish Danny was in the house right now. Because I want Danny... I want him to get me, like, a handful of things <clears throat> from the dispensary. Everywhere where he's at, he gets all the good shit. I can't stand it. <laughs> but it, and he says the same thing about me, though. He's like, you get all the good shit where you're at. He wants what I got, and I got. I want what he's got. Kind of funny. Isn't that life, though? I'm eating more gummies, guys, so it might start to get blurry again. The spark fucking decided... 
he was going to freeze. Oh, drink some coffee. Now he unfroze. I was just checking to see the fight, dude. What's going on? They're fighting right now, but I don't know who's winning. What do you need to me? I got your brother on mail. It is specially delivered. Special delivery for Timmy. Special delivery for Timmy. <laughs> I want Tim to make for that honey. Is Renjman Toby J. Life is wrench, man. Hold my chat and I'm out. Say that again? We never... Listen, bro. Nobody fucking uh, took your shit away, dog. It, YouTube takes the shit away. I promise you. Nobody... None of my... No, none of my mods and none of it. It would say a name by it. It says message retracted, which means YouTube or you took it down. Oh, nobody's taking your shit down, homie. I promise. Try that again. Voices, text, I feel offended. We don't even see it once it's been retracted from YouTube. It doesn't even show it on our screen. That's you, been I can't I can't stop YouTube from taking it. My phone. wife was in here earlier and think, left a comment. Do you yes. think I have more power than YouTube on their shit? Like, okay. You know how I call this a dictatorship? Well, YouTube is the dictatorship, too. You know? So, you know, I learned from YouTube. That's why, you know, I take their classes, and they mold me into a dictator. So, you see how I roll? That's how they roll. I have no no qualms over what the fuck goes in now. You know when I block somebody because I go, pow, you're out, bitch. Or I'll go, Ryan, get him. Or, or it's already done. Like, you know, we have no problem letting people know that you're uh, fucking out of the circle. So I like you, oh. You ain't got no reason to feel that way. Hector is going to be running three Honda Civics with spoon engines. Who's Hector, dog? Frankie, what? what, what uh, that was cute. What if I <laughs> got retracted? All right. You had to have done that on your per on purpose, dude. I like everyone. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Nobody's trying to fucking block you, bro. You two be on that bullshit, bro. I promise you, bro. I have no reason to lie. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you had to have taken your own shit. You two be on that bullshit with that stuff sometimes, you know? It is what it is. Look, dude, they took one of my best videos down. Never, and it, like, they just took it down. It was back when I did more truth videos. They did not like what I was talking about. They were fucking with me so hard. Like, like, bro, I couldn't get 12 or 17 people at a time to come watch my truth videos because YouTube wouldn't let that happen. If I sit here and talk to y'all about the most basic shit like we are right now, y'all get fed to my channel. And I, but, bro, the second you spit some of that real shit, they want to take you right up off of that shit. And it's just a fact. And it's a shame. Because I got some really dope videos. We talk a lot of truth. We got a lot of good shit to say. And we're really, you get you get put in this fucking YouTube fucking basement. And it's like, okay, is it worth it? So I figured as someone who has been through it all, who's a, a thinker, a truther, and I like to get around things. And I go, how can I? Talk my talk, mix in my humor, and not get motherfucking stricken for talking about it. And how is that? By just doing this. Don't advertise it. Tim, what did you do different that you now? I can't scroll other vids and have the show playing still. I didn't do anything different.
I didn't do anything different, man. Somehow YouTube cannot handle the truth. Yeah, dude. Oh, YouTube can't handle the fucking truth. So they took down my video, right? They took down my video, and they told me we'll 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 take we'll, we'll, we'll take your warning away from you, but you got to take this fucking class. And it's like a re. It's like to, to teach you to not talk about certain things. And we were talking about some real truth. And I, I didn't. Yeah, I'll show you guys. You know what? I'll show everybody. You guys want to see how YouTube treats motherfuckers? I didn't take the class. I said fuck the class. I'll show you guys. Hold on. It's fucked up, bro. YouTube be on that bullshit. Like here, you want to fucking. You want to, um, uh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. It's not a copyright strike. We just took it down. Why? Oh, because of this reason. It was like medical thing. And then it goes, well, how can you fix it? I'll show you how you fix it. Hold on. This is how you fix it. Watch. Sorry, guys. This is my studio. Sorry. Hold on. Dashboard. It's just whack, you guys. At the end of the day, it's whack. It tells you... We'll take this fucking class and uh, we'll wipe off your fucking... Well, it's almost been 90 days now, cocksuckers. So suck my balls. Look up the UFC fight. I did. I couldn't That's find what? it. They're, they're, they got a fucking... Uh... Look up the UFC fight and see if Alex Pereira is winning. Okay. Cindy. You see the studio? No, that's what it's called. It's YouTube Studio. That's what it's called. That's the name of the app that holds all your like analytics and data and shit. It's called Dude, YouTube the Studio. Damn, you got me jealous. Not like my music <laughs> studio, JD. Silly, silly, silly. Yeah, and monitoring us. Exactly, exactly. Monitoring us. Listen to what we say. But they somehow... Uh, no, 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 no. I think you got it wrong, what I'm saying. YouTube Studio is what holds all your information and how YouTube contacts you and lets you know if you got a strike or any of that shit. They contact you through your channel, through like the studio. You guys, you know, uh, I guess you would have to just do it to understand. I like I Spark know. Studio. It's like my space here. Tim says got, to give you character. Yeah, I, he's like, I want to do it in the bedroom. I'm like, bro, but it gives you character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. I like when people troll me for being out here. Like, you look like you're homeless or there's trash behind you. I'm like, there is trash out here. <laughs> I feel like I'm smoking a cigarette smoking this pre-roll dude it's weird I know I was just laughing when you pan your living room and caught oh 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 yeah 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 no I was talking about the YouTube studio on my fucking laptop and had all my info on it so I didn't want to like show my info on and shit, dude, you got 19 me. likes. I've never seen that many. I never even asked nobody for one the whole time. I'm white. Not one. Not I'm one time. The trailer. You're what? Oh, what's up, Rooster? How you doing, bro? Damn, up to 20. You want to do it in the bedroom, but hair will grow on your hand net. What? <laughs> What did he say? What did he say? Now you have 20 likes. No homo. Thanks, Rooster. 
What's good with you, brother? Oh, I got 21 likes. That might be the most I've ever had. For real, for real. I have a feeling at the end of this stream might be like the most everything, honestly. It's probably because it's 420. No, I ended that one. Oh, yeah, I remember. This is the second one. This one's gonna, you know, this one's been consistently fun the whole night. I appreciate everybody that stuck around. It's been fun. Glad that we were able to entertain. I'm glad Spark joined me and was allowed to get off a of, uh, grounding because uh, I can go by myself and I can entertain you guys. But something about having a, a sidekick with you, you know that. It's it's a good thing to have. And, like, you know, sometimes I like to go by myself. And that way I don't feel like I'm shutting him out and he can't talk. So I like to get interactive with the chat. But, you know, if I if, if you guys just heard all of my stories, heard all of me, I was going to be bored. So I love I just love having it. And it takes a little stress off, you know. And he makes it spark makes me laugh my ass off. And that's the whole part of it all, right? Mrs. Spark. We've tried to... She was on earlier today. Let's go meet her. We've been trying to get her on. How you doing, Vacuum? We've been trying to get her to say some stuff, but she said she don't like to at night. Spark, don't put her under fucking pressure at night without telling her. Like, literally, please mute it and talk to her before you don't get us in trouble. Good, man. Good. <laughs> Sparks trying to get us all grounded before fucking do the fight. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm glad you're doing well, Vacuum. Those are the worst, Edward. This isn't going to go as well as he thinks. He's high. Now. The reason I know that is because I specifically had talked to her and she told me so. <laughs> she, he's lucky he's even on the show right now. <laughs> he's getting grounded again now. Turkey butter, my boy. Turkey butter. <laughs> it's good. It's good. I know, man. I got a little nervous too, bro. I'm, I'm a little. Look, it went all dark and shit. Spark just went Navy SEAL on us, dude. He's going dark cover on us. He's like, <laughs> he's going super SEAL on us all right now. <laughs> I thought you said those are the worst word I had to look at the chat and check screen names. <laughs> I don't know what I said, brother. Did I say the name wrong? Oh, Edward. Yeah, Edward saying that weird shit. Yeah, he's very close to getting hooked. I don't think he understands. Edward, Edward's still around because he just said that. It wasn't, you know... Now, if he comes with more shit, weirdo stuff, then yeah, you already know what time it is. You see my baby. No hate. I mean, Edward. Yeah, no hate, Edward. You got to be good because you'll get smacked down real fast, brother. I want you to stick around and enjoy the fucking show. But if you want to be a little one, and be the little guy. And the big boys will sit around and hang around the fire while little Edward moves on. Can I flex on the C word? I don't care. You can flex on whatever you want. If YouTube takes it down, it's not from us. You want to slap me with my cock, maybe? But that's after the show. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. It's making the show bad. Yeah, thank you. No fart jokes, little. Yeah, man. Little fart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Oh shit! Thank you, hello world. I'm at two likes. Here you go. I'm at twenty two now. Whoa! Damn, dude. If I get to twenty four, that's my lucky number. I never thought I'd get to twenty four without asking nobody. I've I promise you, I've not asked one soul this whole time. When are we going to see a Mrs. Tim? Um, when there's a female that can make me a good enough sandwich and handle my fucking schedule. I'm pretty um right now set on doing what I need to do right now. I got I got played, not played. I the last girl I was talking to, I was talking to, she lives right next to me and I just couldn't make time for her. I'm like, ah, I got shit I gotta do. And I'd be over there with my laptop doing research and all that type of stuff. And um one day she hit me up on Facebook with this gnarly ass. Well, if you don't want to make time for me, somebody else I will. Won. And it was a picture of a fucking flowers from some other guy. And I'm like, that's cool, because I never really gave a shit. You're kind of a whore anyways, in my mind. So, like, what? If I, if I, if I really, really liked you, then I would have found the time. You know what I'm saying? So, I think the joke's on you, bitch. Honestly, I didn't say it. I didn't respond back because I'm a good guy, but the joke's on her. Like, cares if a dude bought you flowers. I didn't buy you flowers, and I did what he's probably wanting to do. So what? <laughs> Let's put that on profile and we can monitor it on the show. I'm telling you. Let's go, Tim. We could find Mrs. Tim. I met my wife on a dating site. <laughs> he said, that's cold. How you doing, Avion? I hope you're doing well. She was playing the I have better man trick. Yeah, it was something like that. It was more like, it was more like, oh, yeah, bro. You don't want to give me attention? Well, no, nah, it wasn't a better man. Nah, bro. No, 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 no. It was trying to make me jealous. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got time for you. Fuck my show tonight. I'll come down and fucking smoke weed with you. No. No. I'm doing my show, bitch. I got fucking... I got I got things I gotta do. So now, if I you want... want and, I said, and I said this, too. If you want to make me a... I promise you on my grave. You guys, if I'm lying, the show is gonna end. I, I, one night, I said... She's like, let's get together. da 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 da, da. I said, I'm live, but if you want to bring me a sandwich and some papers, that'd be cool. Not lying. On my grave. I was just joking, but I don't think she took it all that great, maybe. But I was joking. Hey, Tim. Hey, Spark. Watched the UFC with Gil at my crib. That's cool. Did you guys have fun? You need to lose some weight, Tim. Then you can be more... Lose weight? What you mean? I'm not that fat. Hey, Chinchy. I just won not... money on the UFC, Chinchy. I bet on Perry Air fight. Lose weight? I'm not fat, bro. I mean, I'm a little chubby right now because it's winter and shit, but I'm not a fat person, dude. And I got, and I got, you know, a bitch would be lucky to have me around. Who won the fight? I'm sorry. What what's going on? But no, it's um, all about the time. You did? Yeah, dude, I won. Nice. I won there over hundred bucks off a twenty dollar bet. I won hundred and thirty three. So I guess I won like hundred and ten bucks, hundred and thirteen. But yeah, off a twenty dollar bet's not bad, huh? That's like a six percent <laughs> or six times six percent. Or times six. That's a good, good job, dude. I'm jealous. I'm sure a lot of people just won money, free money, as I sat here and talked. I just got a hundred bucks, but I'm happy. I got to thank Gil because Gil gave me that advice, dude. What happened? I didn't get to finish reading the fucking thing, bro. No, I didn't take that down, bro. 
What'd you say? Damn, I don't like the oh the feet. You, you know I don't like feet. <laughs> Remember my feet bit? <laughs> oh, all right, well, I told my wife I would just stay until the fight was over, so I gotta get off, guys. All right, brother, you have a good one, man. I love you, bro. You have a good night. Um, you tomorrow, guys, everything willing, I'll try to do a 420 stream again tomorrow. All right, dude. Have a good night, everybody. So, y'all be good. Peace out, brother. Well, that was the Sparkster. He's a good dude. He's a good guy to have. You know, he's a good guy. I'm glad that he was able to join us tonight. I didn't really think that he was going to, honestly. That was a surprise. I shot him the link in case he wanted to pop in, and he did. It was cool. Should I take a screenshot? <laughs> He's super down to earth. Yeah, Spark's a good guy. Yeah, man. Spark's a good dude. There's a reason why I keep... You know, you, you guys can see the type of people I bring around on the show. I like down-to-earth people. People that can relate to everybody. Understand, we've all had crazy lives. Breezy's had a crazy life story. Breezy's got a crazy life story. Fucking Sparks got a crazy life story. I've got a crazy life story. I mean, it's, you know, I'm sure once Josh... You know, Gills, I'm sure, got a lot. You know, so we all got, we've all had our, you know. So our adversity makes us who we are. And that's why we all can come down and kick it with y'all because. Yeah, Sparks married. I relate to everyone. I'm pro white when it comes down to it. <laughs> Uh, I hear you. I mean, everybody should be pro whatever they are. I'm pro Italian and, and American, really. But yeah, when it boils down to it, if you're walking into a prison cell, you're going to go ahead and look at the whites around you like you got my back. That's just how it goes, dude. Uh, it's not about racist things. Did they take it down for saying that? Bro, that's bull. Oh, okay. I was going to say, no, nah, that's nothing wrong with saying that because it's the same with the Mexicans, with the blacks, everybody. Um, but we're able to get together. Now, me personally, I was cool. With, it was by city. I was cool with all the um, the black dudes a lot. Tim down with the clan. No, 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 no. All right. Let me, let me paint a better picture. Imagine walking into a room, okay? There's 30, 40, 50 black dudes and six white guys. You're going to probably look at those white guys like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. What's up? How you doing, Nana? I really like you. How you doing? I've, I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome. But, you know, and it's the same with, like, black dudes. If black dudes walk into a room, you know what I'm saying? No, I know you are. I'm just I'm, I'm making a point off what you're saying. But if black dudes walk in a room or something, it's the same thing. Mexicans walk in the room. They all mob up together. It is what it is. That's our nature. It's our nature. There's nothing wrong with that. I know, bro. I'm one away from 24. That's crazy. And I don't want to ask. I'm not going to ask nobody. I'm going to see how it could go without asking. It's a, I feel like my motto of not asking is actually the better way of doing it. You've been looking. What you been looking for? Yeah. I don't hate anybody, but I dislike everybody the same. There's stupid people of every race and sex. You know, I, I think a human's a human, so you are what you are. I mean, I don't give a fuck. 
I mean, my bestest friends are black. And my other bestest friends are white. I can relate with black people. I can relate with white people. My best, I have best friends that are Asian. You know, I grew up with Asian people. I can relate to the Asian people. My other dudes were Puerto Rican. I can relate. I'm Italian. I can re relate with Italians. Yet, somehow, they want to claim that, you know, what, we're not diverse? How much more diverse am I supposed to be? But I don't think like y'all, so I'm like, you know, it's weird, dude. I'm super diverse, but I still uh, stand what I think. Yeah, man, it's it's like, like it's just a fact, man. It's not about a racial thing. I mean, it just is. Like, like ask a black dude. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's a good a good example. If he's in a white town or something, right, and he walks into a room and there's like 20, 30 white people and there's one other black dude, you don't think they're not going to somehow have some sort of attract, like, all right, come on, man. It's only na natural. And for me, there could be 30 dudes in the room, right, and there could be one black dude that I lock eyes with and we vibe out with. And we're on the same page. It don't really have to be by color too sometimes. It's also by your personality. But overall, in the in the grand scheme of things, that's just how shit goes. The Chinese lady will like, really like me today. Oh, yeah, JD. That's one more, bro. One minute. You got three so far. So. Dude, thanks, hello world. Damn right, son. I didn't go to the club with him. By the way, I told him I'll get my ass beat. He said he isn't even like that. Once they saw me with him, I was safe. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, dude, you know, a lot of my dudes are black. Like, when I lived in Columbus, I related with a lot of the black dudes. Being from Cleveland, it was just I related with a lot of the black dudes and like, and that's cool. But I would have some of my white friends and they would come with me and we would go up to the clubs up in the hood and kicking it. And like, we would be the only white people in there and we were super straight. They weren't racist towards us. You know what I'm saying? Like we were with the biggest motherfuckers in the whole place. Don't get me wrong. Every dude I was with was six, four, six, five. And, or bigger, six seven and fucking three hundred pounds, dude. Every dude. I'm with this little Jewish dude. He was scared as fuck. I went. The whole point is, is you know, I don't know. Did Ryan leave? He might. He might have for a minute. Oh shit! You guys, look at we hit twenty four. You know what else? I should check. I wanted to wait till after, but I'll do it with you guys right now. I was one sub away from hitting 250 before I came in. And when I started with 50 or when I started with like 50 something, I said, I can't wait to get to, uh, to 100. And then I can't wait to get to 250 and then 500. That's like was my goals. And I should, if I look now, I might have hit 250. Which is way bigger of a goal than 100. So that that's pretty cool. Let's just see for the shits and giggles. I'm not trying to flex on nobody or like I'm bragging. It's it's not like I really did anything that special. I'm just saying that it was a goal I set, and it's cool to to meet your goals. That's all. Let's see here. Dashboard tells me, ooh, I'm at 253. I done beat. I'm over 250, guys. Over 250. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Prodigy, what's up, man? Just had a guy accidentally rip his stitches out of his mouth, so I had to go clean a bunch of blood up. Oh, man. 
25 now. That's, dude, I know. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Remember us, little fuck, when you make it, Tim. JD, absolutely, dude. Rooster, I got you. I got y'all. Trust me. You guys know I have a good memory. I have a shitty memory, but I remember everyone. Everybody I'm talking to right now, I remember every one of you guys. That's a fact. That's a fact. And if I ever make it, it's all because y'all anyway. So why wouldn't I? I appreciate you guys, you know. And I, I, I'm still so far away. <laughs> Want some more nice wood for me. Two more. Two. <laughs> Two more. 27. I don't know if I can take it. Any more likes and I might just be fucking scared. I'm joking. You don't have to stop them. Get to the 27 club. Get to the 27 Club. Viva la Raza Blanca. Dude, it's pretty cool that Bam Majera is like out and about again. I always rooted for that. Oh, thank you, whoever. Uh, was that you, Hello World? Nice, Doc. Just got it back. What did I miss? Everybody was asking where you were. And uh, we were just talking about how I broke the 250 mark. And I got 25 likes, which is the most that I've ever gotten. I actually broke the 1,000 mark views. The other night, I got a thousand views in one night. So I'm breaking all these milestones this week, guys. It's been a cool week for it being such a shitty week. I'm the magic man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Bam's dope, dude. I, I, I listen, not dope. Let me say how I feel. I just like to see somebody be beat the odds i like to see people win dude like bam i want them to win dude everybody's on them and against them i want them to win i always root for the guy that underdog the guy that everybody's counting out that just you know i want them to win a lot of people want to see people like at their worst and i don't like that I I really don't. That's not my bag of tea. I'll even be honest with Joe Biden, dude. As much as um, what does top chat mean? Um, you know, watching him fall around and talk all retarded. I actually feel bad for him. I feel like they're abusing that guy. What's top chat? I don't know what that means. Thank you, Nana. I appreciate it. How are you and the hubby doing? You got are you two doing well? Yeah. Definitely, Nana, for sure. They would not let Bam be in the new jackass because he wasn't sober, but now he finally got... That's what I'm saying. And, you know, I was sort of like, fuck Steve-O and all them people. But, you know, let the man have peace. I don't care. Explain what, Ryan. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rooster, I'm still wondering what Top Chat is. The weather trying to take me out. Yeah, Nana. Where you, where'd you say you were at again? Tim, go to options in the chat and click all chat, bro. Is this better? Is that better? I think I did it. Is that better, guys? Did I fuck up something? What did I do? <laughs> Hope I didn't fuck it up. I tend to fuck it up sometimes. You'll see my comments now. <laughs> South of Johnson, we have trees down. Up. Is that why I wasn't seeing all the comments? And people were getting mad at me and shit? Oh, man. Sorry, you guys. Where's Sparky at? Sparky. Say hi. Yeah, I still don't know what's top. <laughs> I just hit the old chat, though. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if I had somebody run my media for me and I was able to like, tell them what I needed done. This channel would be flying. I'm doing this shit. I've got dope laptops and shit, and I'm running it off my phone. <laughs> it's just easier. Spark in the chat? Spark had to go. He was tired. What's up, Bar Marley? Are you okay, buddy? Hold on. I'm going to mute this for a hot sec. Poor fucking guy, dude. I hate this shit, you guys. I'm so technically illiterate. <laughs> I'm kind of illiterate when it comes to this. Yeah, I act like I'm older than I am. I didn't really start messing around with this stuff until really just like a little bit ago. <sighs> I'm over here. Hat hated computers when I first went out. Isn't that funny? I fucking hate computers and I and I'm learning from people in the chat. <laughs> like Tim, fucking do this, dog. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, 
I hope everybody won money tonight on their fights. How did everybody do? Who bet? Did anybody win any money? I'm going soon as well. What 200k likes and 400k subs? You have to go to LA, knock three times on Diddy's door, wake up. <laughs> No, you're right, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why this shit's all organic, my dude. Yeah, I'm over the hated computers. But I, yeah, man, they're going to be our downfall. It's ironic because as much as I hate them, I'm blessed that I got to meet all you guys and talk to you guys every night and get a laugh. And get a uh, you know a good one with you guys because if it wasn't for the computer, this would never happen. A lot of enlightenment, a lot of truth, a lot of funny, good stories, you know. So there's good shit because of the net, but there's so much bad shit with computers, AI, five G, you know, the other shit that comes along with it, you know. Oh, another thing about the 90s, if you want to talk about electronics, that's another reason why the rappers back in the 90s were so much cooler. Now all the rappers are on Instagram flexing for the gram, looking all stupid. Back then, they were just like doing their thing. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking, I, sk I literally dropped out of typing class and took study hall. I was like, fuck this. I don't even care. You going to bed, brother? Dude, hey, man, it was good talking to you, brother. Wake up. You, you've been real, brother. You've been fucking... Oh, I appreciate you, dude. I didn't even see them last seven, bro. I appreciate you, dude. You jacked me up. That's my dog, man. Hey, you're a good cat. Much love to you, bro, and your family. You know, sweet dreams, my brother. I like Oregon Trail <laughs> and on the Macintosh. <laughs> Cheers, friend. Cheers, brother. For real, for real. I went to Spanish class, learned table, mesa, house, casa. I don't know what that means. What's your question? No, I know. Are my balls sweaty? I don't know. Let me see. Eh. Eh. They're not sweaty. They're, they're actually not bad. You're welcome. Now give me a like. Get to 27. Hope you like the question about my boss. The cat's all fucked up. He's got me stressed out. I can't do nothing about it. Yeah, now hit the like button for me, please, brother. That's you're the first person I asked, but that's because I told you some really personal information. And I would just appreciate that. It'd be 27. Yeah, man, the cat's not doing well, bro. Um, he's like, he's like eating, drinking, and he he's just can't shit. So tomorrow, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do, dude. I'm gonna do something. Let me bro part of the seven. Wake up sent me bro part of the seven. T 
Tim, can you do 25? No, I wouldn't do. T- I could do 25 push ups. Do I want to? Fuck no. I could definitely do 25 push ups, bro, all day. <laughs> yeah, man. Why wouldn't I be able to do 25 push ups? Maybe what? Using Thai. What's that mean? The Deadly Pizza Guy. That's a pretty cool name. Have you ever eaten mozzarella with Wibble Wobble? Yeah, man. Bro. The cat may be using the bathroom somewhere else. No, he's not. I'm watching him lay in the litter box cry. Watching him strain. I'm trying. I told him he can go somewhere else. Like, do you? Does anybody have cats that would suggest should I move his litter box to somewhere else? That maybe that would help him. Like, do you think if I put it in a different area that it might like switch up? But I told him he could go anywhere he wants to go, and he knows that. At this point, bro, I'll fucking let him shit on my fucking foot if that would make him feel better. You know? I'll fucking catch that shit for him. I don't care. Like a quarterback. Hey, shoot that shit at me, bro. That was a little... But that's my dog, though. You know what I'm saying? I'd do anything for that motherfucker. Yeah, I agree, but I don't think the vets... I, I, I talk to the vets, and there's like... They, they, uh, he's 18 going on 19, so they're gonna want to do a lot of bullshit. So, I'm trying to avoid it the best I can because I don't know if I don't trust vets. He's only been to the vet three times his whole life or four, and he, and uh, so does he have, yeah, I went and got him baby food, so I bought him like. Uh, chicken, carrots, and peas, baby food, all organic. It was three fifty for a little pouch, and then I got him salmon, beets, and something else. And I got um organic, uh, pumpkin, baby food. Do you like? One, come on, bro. I'm sitting here talking about something. And you're gonna ask me that. You don't have to block them. It's all cool. But yeah, he might. That's what I'm thinking. I think. Listen, uh, I was streaming. I was making him chicken live. The night. So it would be like Tuesday morning. Went to bed, woke up. I fed him. He puked. And then just started puking a whole lot. And he's been sick ever since. One, you've been in here plenty of times. You fucking know. Why wouldn't you want to spend $5,000 on your best friend at the vet? We just, just so he dies anyways. No hate. Yeah. Unfortunately, Rooster, it's the, that's the truth of it all. It sucks. They get you because you're vulnerable, and then they don't even do what they do, you know? I wouldn't do that to him, though, bro. I'm one of them people that are, like, I, I would I would question, you know, I, I won't speak on it. But, yeah, I wouldn't do that to him. His mouth is infected. Does he still? Um, it's not infected. 
He does. He did sal- salivate a while back. Now I did think, what if he lost a tooth, and that is what's in his belly, because he lost his canine. Fingers, get a glove. Finger, bro. Fuck. My mom said that. And I, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, something like that. I, I tried, but I didn't put my finger in there. I'm going to be honest. He, I'm, This will make you guys laugh. <laughs> so my mom said, yeah, you got to like, it's what you do for babies, I guess. I have no idea. To help them go to the bathroom or something. So she told me, like, you got to help stimulate it or some shit, right? Um, well, I'm thinking he can't poop because he ate something that he shouldn't have. And it's got him stuck. And him not eating like he should be is not allowing him to produce poop to poop out what he's trying to poop because he puked it all up that day. Um, He's eating just enough to stay alive. He's drinking water and eating. It's really hard. It's really no... No, he does not eat. He hasn't eaten no hard food in 10 years. Easy. I make him his own food. That's what I said. Yeah. I I could be string. It could be string. He likes to fuck around with string. I mean, he. It could be anything. I don't know. My what my hope is is that I keep giving him these like probiotics and things for his belly and the pumpkin, the natural laxative type stuff, and that he'll be able to naturally pass it. It just needs to go through, and it might just take longer because he's older for him to get it to go through. And that's what I'm praying on before I have to put him through any bullshit. Them charge me bans for something that I could do right here, dude. But, oh, the finger. <laughs> so, yeah, I was trying to do that. I he, he looked at me like, fuck you, dude. Like, did you just do that to me? Like, I, he looked at me like I just, like I was, P diddle, you know, like felt like um and then like the other today I walked up and he was going and I was trying to rub his belly and help like massage it for him, like his belly in you know back area and he wasn't really he wasn't mad at me but he definitely wasn't happy. I would never stick my finger in there, bro. Definitely not like nothing like that. Fuck no. It was the outside. Like, that's what my mom said. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. At this point, what's the hairball remedy? You put it on the paws, they eat it, and it helps things slide on through. That's basically what I've been doing right now. He's, I've had, like I said, I've had him this long and he's gone through this before, but I don't remember it being this bad. Now, every time could be this bad, and I might act like this every time. Yeah, it's been a while now, Tim. I'd take him and, yeah, I'm going to be, well, they're not open or I would have, I would, would have taken him today. It couldn't get me in yesterday, so Monday morning would be the earliest I can get him in there. What's up, uh, Isaiah? How you doing, man? Unless I took him like some emergency vet or something. 
Yeah, he's 18, dude. He's 18. Come here, Papa. What do you want? He's a poor dude. I'm like, what do you want? I know what he fucking wants. He's looked at me like, you know what I fucking want. He's starting to lose his balance. Trust me, guys. I'm taking him somewhere tomorrow. I'm not waiting to know Monday. I'm doing something. At least I'm going to go to the pet store and talk to some old lady that works there and try to get him something. What you up to, Isaiah? You doing all right, man? Would he let you put him in a bucket with Epsom salt? No, he wouldn't. That's something my mom would suggest. He would kill me. But what if I took Epsom salt? Would Epsom salt work? Because I have like lavender or Epsom salt, right? What if I put it on a hot rag? And put it like on his belly or on his butt. Is that? I'm I'm being dead serious because my mom suggests Epsom salt for everything because it gets the blood flowing, right? Oh yeah, he'd fuck me up if I stuck him in a bucket right now on top of everything. Oh yeah. He would think I'm trying to. He would think I'm like, bro, you done, you done molested me. You done put me in a bucket. You done shot shit down my throat. What do I look like? Some fucking Asian fucking hooker. What the fuck? <laughs> you know, poor motherfucking dude. So, yeah, what my goal has been, what the vet told me, I'd hold off on doing that stuff. Just water and food. He's been sick a while. Animals fast and don't eat when sick, and it's good for it. And it's good if it's not too long. He, he, okay, thank you, JD. Yeah, he eats just enough, dude, you know? That I've been like, okay, well... He hasn't eaten in days. Well, he's eaten most of what I've given him at certain times. You got to trick him. Oh. Yeah. I can see that, but I can also see the stress. Like him fighting and fighting to get in there. I think that would probably make it worse for him. Yeah, he don't play the he don't play the sink bucket shower game, bro. That it He does drink out of the sink though. And that's how you know he ain't right, because he hasn't drank out of the sink all week and he hasn't yelled. Have you guys heard him one time? Everybody that's known me in every stream I've done forever, he you can hear him in the background. I just can't hear him. That's the hardest part of the whole deal. Wrap him in a towel. That's a good idea. So wrap him in a towel with Epsom salt. Like so, soak soak the towel and wrap it around his belly, so that it would like. <laughs> you don't do the bucket thing. The towel thing he might let me do. No, it's cool. It's funny. No, he don't do the bucket thing, bro. I used to when he. That's why he's so cool. When he was a kid, he would do shit wrong. I got him with the water. Yeah, Nana, that's a good try. I will do that tonight. I have it all. I will do that. It's worth a try. It won't hurt him. It might piss him off a little, but it won't hurt him. 
you know. For real, for real. Um, Ryan, did you have fun with the um at your dad's? Did you are you at home now? Next kitten train water buckets are okay. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I don't it'll be tough to have another one, man. It'll be tough. I don't think I I don't think it'll be kind of a minute, I think, because uh It, it wouldn't be fair to the next cat. That. Probably. Probably, but it, it, it'll it'll be tough, dude. I'm still mad at my broad for getting them fixed while I, I was sick. Got them fixed before I can get them to knock someone up so I could have had a brother or sister. Nah, he wouldn't be cool with that either, bro. He would look at me like, what the fuck is this little bastard doing in the crib, bro? Ryan, I will say this. If I do get a cat, it's got to be from Cleveland, bro. It's got to be like, like Marley's from Medina. I've lived, he's, he's lived in Columbus his whole life, but he was born over in Medina off of Sturbridge by like Ken Cleveland Park. Dude, I'll tell you what, if there is any, if, if he takes a shit, then we're all good to go. There ain't no fresh cat shit to give him. His box is as clean as it, it can be. So that one, you know. I feel like I'm smoking a damn cigarette, smoking this joint. <sighs> but a dog would be cool too, though. Dogs are cool. <laughs> Does it look like I'm smoking a cigarette? Your next stream better be titled Talking My Cat, Taking My Cat to the Vet. Yeah. Or like, hey, uh, he took a shit. My cat just took a shit stream. And that's what I really want. I want him to drop his deuce. I don't give a fuck right here. Just drop it, bro. You got to eat. You got to eat. I I also was thinking about getting him some kitty CBD and trying to like, and I got this appetite stimulant and giving him that if, if it comes down to it. Is his belly hard? Um, I can't, I didn't tell. I, sh I could check. Does the joint taste like a cigarette because it's not good weed or what? It's Gorilla Glue. Yeah, I would say so. Listen, man. I smoke top shelf, right? I wrote my own shit. I like the tasty ass bud. When you buy pre-rolls or get pre-rolls from the dispensary, they're just like asshole part of the fucking weed. It's not the best. So it's not... A joint that I rolled. 
my shit be tasting like every hit. Then you know you're smoking weed. It tastes like the weed's almost too dry. Yeah, exactly, Rooster. Pre rolls suck ass, dude. And that's what I was smoking on. I've been smoking on pre rolls the last couple of days because I've been nursing my boys, so I had to dip into my pre roll stash. I've gone through like four. This one, whoa. This one's got three in it. I've gone through two of these, so that's six. I've gone through eight of them, and I hated every one of them. Sometimes they're having joint problems. Um, his back hips right now are fucking are like going like this when he walks. I would assume that would be because he's trying to push the shit so bad. That's my theory. You're looking for seeds right now. Where are you at again, Nana? Are you in Michigan? Didn't you say Michigan? I mean, pre rolls are okay once in a while, but I don't you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you shouldn't have a hard time getting seeds. Um, go. I don't know what part of Michigan you're in, but I know House of Dank has some pretty rad, rad um clones that you can get in Michigan. And I know Doctor Green Thumbs is opening up, and they'll be selling clones here. Yeah, fuck a blunt. Blunts are nasty. Might be his hips are messed up, but and he can't shit. Check out and see if you can't help him. What do I do about his hips? Um, it's in Monroe, Michigan. It's in Monroe, Michigan. Man, and they got really good RSO and really good distillate, too. What up, GS? You doing well? What's the name again? His name is Marley. Just made sure they move free. Okay. So do you think like, yeah, I'm going to try the Epsom salt thing because that's where you said that because that's something my mom would tell me. So I feel like that's something I should try. Smoke Reggie every day. What's up, Troy Boy? Remember when I put you on time out because you said you smoked Reggie? <laughs> I said, fucking come back when you smoke better weed. I was just joking. You know that, right? I felt bad after I did it. I like Troy Boy. Um, it's called House of Dank in Monroe, Michigan, and I'm sure they have them throughout Michigan. If you, if you look up House of Dank, D-A-N-K, not House of Buds, House of Dank, they, you will get those mixed up very easy. Clones. R.S. Yeah. 
Clones are us. They got good ones, man. My buddy has some pink looking stuff that's beautiful. And he's got he's got a he got he's got some great genetics. My uh, husband will be at a swap meet tomorrow. That's cool. What do y'all do with the swap meet? I was trying to explain swap meets kind of to like these people from another country. Like, man, we go to them places and get guns. <laughs> we go get guns. We don't have to register. Like, they don't understand that, how easy it is for us to get guns. <clears throat> Rooster, is that what he does? Uh, guns are scary and dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what's that's what's good about him. That's cool. That's cool. That's what's up, Nana. My dad's sick right now. He went on a business trip and has been sick. That's why I haven't been able to talk to my mom. So, why well, brace myself? What's up, brother? Tell that to Jenna or Stalin and Hitler who took them all away. <laughs> yeah. We have. That was funny. Hello, world. That's cool. Break yourself, boo. Marley, please stop straining yourself, dude. I, I please stop straining yourself. Will Farrell. What is the topic for tonight? The topic is what do you want to talk about? Right now we're talking about the Second Amendment. And yeah, you ain't taking away the Second Amendment. Um, hey man, I got a question for you. It really that bad to date your second cousin? Bro, someone else has come in and said that dumb shit before. Um, do I put him in timeout? Nah, I'm not gonna put you in timeout, Will. But if you say one more dumb thing, bro, you're going in timeout, homie. Say something funny now. Because that wasn't funny, buddy. I've literally heard that same comment before. Okay, that's what I was... When I was trying to do it earlier, JD, thank you. See, dude, you guys are, dude, you guys are awesome. Because that's what I was trying to figure out when I was reading on it. I didn't understand. And, like, I did try to do that, but I was doing it this way and, like, pushing his belly. Watch TV. How many boys said no today? What? What, dude? Chat, do I put him in timeout or do I fucking go in on him? What do I do? Which one? What do you want? I'm going with whatever the chat wants. Because right now, I have zero fucks to give right now. Like, zero fucks to give. 
Okay. That's simple. Thank you. Can you get him to lay on his back, pull, and push his leg? Take a minute. Go now. We will wait. All right. I will, guys. Chop it up. Ryan, take care of it. I will do it. Come here, Bubba. Well, I did it. Um, so he's very skinny. So I gra grabbed him by his side hips and did this and massaged him. He was purring and yelling at the same time at me. Um, he's now walking around eyeing me down like I just diddled him again, kind of. But I'm hoping that's sending him to the bathroom. I get what you're saying. It's almost like loosening it up or like. <laughs> the cat's going to shit all over. Can you guys hear me? The cat's gonna shit on me. Bro, if the cat shit on me, I would be happy with that. At this point in my life, I don't care. I love you guys enough. If the cat shit on me right now, I would be happy again. Cool. I will do it in 10 minutes. Thank you. It has been, man. That's why I've been doing this. Like, you guys think I'm just like a psycho. No, really. As I know that when when he's sick, if I have, like, I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. Like, I broke down. Like, I get sad and shit. And if I get sad, then he gets sad. And, like, that could make him work you know get worse so i like trying to do this to to negate the stress that i have onto him i don't i'm trying not to do that so by talking to y'all and doing this i'm hoping that it's like me not focusing and then also he doesn't feel like i'm watching him every moment and he can go to the bathroom that might move that might move it or move the joints or 
who knows? Just gentle stuff like that won't hurt him and might help. I so appreciate that, JD, for real. We have a mess to clean up. Trust down all over here. We had a huge one fall across the road. Someone moved for us. Oh, man. Did your electric go out? Um, I would have to pass, but maybe smash. It just depends on the day. We do that to babies. That's what my mom was trying to say. That's why I always said, Mom, come over. Or my sister, come over. You guys know how to do that. Nana knows her stuff. I really like Nana a lot. She knows her stuff a lot. <clears throat> but that is kind of funny that you would ask that. that is, it's a good way to lighten up the mood. If I scroll live streams, a models in bathing suits pops up. Huh. No wonder who the hell would want to watch my stream if there's some broad in a fucking bathing suit, right? What type of name is Laquifa? <laughs> Fucked up name, man. We still have power. Normally high wind, we lose power. This time we do. We had high winds. Um, my buddy Gil, he didn't have electric yesterday because of the high winds. The high winds knocked and pulled trees up from out the ground where I live. You guys want to see them? More, more. Hey. Buddy. That's not my mom. My mom is. And like, I literally have like, like you guys see, I have like paper here and stuff. That's literally because I've been putting his food all over the place. Like I've been moving his food everywhere to get him to eat and like switching up his food place and all that. <laughs> They're walking a runway. Does he like a heating pad when he doesn't feel good? I've never tried that. JD, I do have one. He might let, dude, he totally at this point. I mean, I'm his daddy. Like, I know that sounds weird, but I'm his dad. He would let me do that. The only thing he wouldn't go for would be water type deal. Like, sticking him in a bucket or a sink or something. Yeah, he wouldn't be happy with that. Or shoving something in his butthole. I'm not I'm not trying to do nothing like that. Like, I, I was trying to stimulate him, but I'm not going nowhere. In the, the thing is, you guys, the joke of it all, it's not really funny, but I didn't know if I was actually doing the right part because I've never stuck my hand nowhere anywhere close like that. Plus, it's a cat, so you're fighting them. You need help. That's not something someone does by themselves. This time of night, live streams are tarot cards and third world countries and crazy angry people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do the heating pad. I think that's the best. What? There's a live shooter? 
live active shooter in Monterey Del Rey with an AR. Viewer discretion is advised. What's going on here? We've got ourselves an uh, active live shooter, huh? Looks like it's going down in Cali or something. Chinchi, good night, brother man. Love you, dog. I appreciate you. Have a good night, man. For real, for real. What did Alienated say? Yeah, no, you're right. It is a lot of crazy people. I invite that a lot, but I'm not going to go, hello, I'm new, homie. What's up, Jacob? How you doing, dude? Hope you're doing well. I'm not... I'm not definitely staying up all night tonight. I don't think, unless, like, something crazy happened. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, actually. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ditch this joint. I'm smoking and do a dab. My stress levels are super high, and I really, 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 really um, appreciate you guys for talking to me and helping me uh, – because I've been trying to have these conversations and I've been online and you can look through every search engine and you can do everything you want. But like when you're, when you're having stress, sometimes it's hard to do that. So nine plus 10, nine, nine. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Go to sleep. Night, brother. Who's going to bed? 19. Hey, I know. I'm coming back to this guy's next stream. Dope. Fucking sub. Come back, man. Me. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking I'm I'm thinking it'd be like some fucking uh Durban poison or something. Cool, brother. I appreciate you. Have a ha, have a good night if you're dipping out. If you're not dipping out, I'm about to do a fat dab and uh, smoke my pain. Nana. I swear to you, talking to you, Nana, do I have a schedule? Um, Like a YouTube schedule or like my sleep schedule? What do you mean by schedule? I know, right? 27. Need that 27. Jacob, hit that shit. Make it 27. I think you're the first or second person I asked. Like when you are on. Thank you. Yeah, I'm on. Um, Man, what do you, what would you say? What times would you think, Ryan, that I'm on? Like, um, I'm on, uh, I'm on at like four. Between four and then I do like around nine or ten during the week. Like tomorrow I'll probably be on at four PM and then I'll do like eleven at night. And then normally I'll do like nine between nine and eleven every night during the week. And maybe during the day. Yeah, till the morning though. I go hard. Twenty four seven. No. Seems like it though, right? 
I like bros headphones. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I I like them. Only reason I wear them for real, for real one is I hate rocking my mic as much. And even if I use my mic, I I I don't like hearing my own voice. So it blocks my own voice out. So when I'm talking, I don't hear myself talk. I don't know. If, like if you've ever been in a booth and tried to rap or try to sing or something, it's like that. Like you don't want to hear yourself fucking sing. <laughs> nah, dude. Could you guys imagine if I did some of that shit? Oh man. I would be a wreck. My I I wouldn't be able to handle it. Audience has to get jacked up. <laughs> My doctor tried to give me Adderall. I'm like, nah. Could you imagine if I had a big ass script of Adderall? First off, I probably would be streaming forever. And second, I'd probably be, I'd put all of YouTube in fucking time out. Like, think about it, all of you. I'm putting you all on the Oregon fucking trail. Fuck you all. Yeah. I just need, what was that from like, uh, from like Saved by the Bell and shit, when they're like, she, when Jesse did all the caffeine pills, she's like, I just wanna, I just wanna, uh, that'd be me and shit. I have a total mental breakdown while I'm live and shit, all twacked out. Like, like Hitler. I start all of a sudden getting all my fucking wrench people to fucking join in, and we're just like taking over YouTube. Yeah. Give me them Addies. Give me the Addies. YouTube could use a good shaking up. <laughs> God, no, please. Right? Said, God, no, please. I'm so, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so. I can't remember what she said, but yeah, she said something funny. That'd be me. I'd be like coming on like, I'm so excited. And I'm having this great stream. And then like three quarters of the way through, I'm like, I fucking rare. Yeah, not the best thing to do. I told the doctor I'm good. Brainwash somebody else, please. I didn't even want him to like have him to put him on deck. Just to save in case an apocalypse. I thought about just getting them and filling them and just saving them for the apocalypse. But uh, I would be too tempted at like 3 in the morning. TBI. Fave streamer. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. If you have ADD, I don't do that. I take that. I was prescribed Ritalin when I was a kid. I will. It doesn't do me like it does everybody else. I don't like it. It makes me bad. It makes me like like quiet. Be nice, Nim, Jacob, Joe's Jacob. Be nice, buddy. Be nice. Be nice. Be nice. Don't be saying these things, okay? Please be nice. We don't need this drama. We don't need this mean stuff going on in the chat. We just want to be nice here. Nothing but love, all love, no hate, all love. Shuts my ass up. Yeah, me too, Ryan. It wouldn't have me on here like, oh, da, 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 da. nah, bro. I'd be all quiet looking all around the room like, fuck this shit. 
when they gave it to me when I was a kid, dude, it would make me all quiet. I was like the class clown. And then all of a sudden I was like quiet. It's like, man, they took my superpowers away. Oh, no shit. Um, shut your what up. Let's be nice. It's uh, not me. Helps me talk. <laughs> That's cool. No, teach your own. Teach your own. Some people who can't smoke weed like I do, right? Some people can't do dabs and shit. And get on live and talk to people. I can. A lot of people are like, I don't know how the fuck you do that. I can't do go live without doing a dab. I would feel weird. What's up, Tim? I have not seen you need feed once in a No, I haven't been eating lately, dude. I just haven't been eating, man. Like I've been too stressed out, bro. I, I forget to eat a lot. I, I can't believe you noticed it. Yeah, it's been, I, it's been, you know, sleeping and eating hasn't really been a thing. <sighs> that makes me sleep that's for sure but I drink more coffee and I just stay awake I'll be sitting here falling asleep in my chair and shit I go out anytime I go out I'll be falling asleep anywhere I go the last few days. My electric dab rig leaks out the bottom. Button gets stuck. Oh, man. Man, that dab is like smoking 20 of those joints. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's a super bummer. It is what it is. I mean, you know. Yeah, no. Um I've I've been through this with them. I'm I'm praying and I have faith. <laughs> my mom be like that, you know. My dad's a stoner, my mom's a stoner too, but my mom she'll crash. My dad will park his ways. But if I need sleep from pain, it's good. Yeah. Yeah, man. I take, like I said, man, if I need sleep or help from pain, I usually take either some RSO, a gummy, or my honey. Usually it's the honey, though. My go-to is honey. If, if anybody ever gets a chance, go-to is honey. It's just, it's just the most reliable. Do you get the cat his heating pad yet? Yeah. Hey. I adventure. Go get the pad and bring it away. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. Um, JD. Trying cream for pain, since I can't do it. Um, I will, I will go. See what I'll have to do to do that for him is once I get off. What I'll have to do, and I'll be getting off here soon. He's sleeping. I'm like on my bed right now. So like when he's I I don't. When I get off, like next time he gets up, I'll probably be getting off here shortly. I don't know. Um, and I'll have to hold him with it. You know what I'm saying? Because he'll try to just take off otherwise. So I'll have to hold him. And he'll be cool. I thought about it. I thought about getting them high. I mean, I thought about giving them some CBD. Like, I have some cream. But I don't know if that's really going to help uh, him poop, though. It might help him eat. The CBD might help his hips. JD. I've got animal CBD. I gave it to him last year. The only reason I haven't given it to him already is because he acted. I don't like it when he he was so spaced out. He didn't even know who I was. And I cried and was all scared. I didn't think he was going to make it through the night. And really, he was just really high. It might what? Yeah. Man, you guys are dope. My buddy swears by it for his dog. So does my mom. So does my mom. They swear by it, dude. They swear by that shit. They're like, yeah. If you relax and further that, they would probably rather be sober to check. Yeah. Yeah. I got to find a vet that's open on a Sunday. I'm hoping that tomorrow's going to be the day. Or do you think I'm just like playing myself? Because like I told you I talked to the vet on, on Thursday and I was going to bring him in Friday. And she told me to just make sure that if he's not hiding and he's taking in liquids and he pees, but she did pee today, but it wasn't very much. But, and he takes in food that there's really nothing that they could do besides a bunch of tests and stuff like that. And I know at his age, that's probably not a good thing. Like, But no one wants to see their animal in pain. So if I'm going to take him just for the fact that if he's struggling and does not pass it at that point, then yeah. It's fucked up. Okay. Funny story. I made Keith. My grandson put pop in it. He was like, dude, my dog ate it. My dog laid on the end. <laughs> That's a funny story, Nana. <laughs> That's funny. Because, yeah, I gave Marley, too, I, I don't know, I think I gave him way too much CBD last time. And he was like, I hated it. I didn't like seeing him like that, dude. It wasn't cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, you're like, oh, shit. That's, that's funny. At least, at least you knew. You're probably like, what is happening with my dog? What the hell? Um. Yeah, I, I, uh, I definitely will. I mean, I went, did what I could. I got what I could. I did every, literally did everything I could personally besides shove my finger in his butthole. <laughs> Dang, I didn't do no shit like that. That's, that's, I said, that's too much, bro. I could hurt him anyways. <clears throat> Man. Never did get that one more like to 27. 27 would have been cool. 26 is cool, though. It's not a bad number. Get to the 27. Um, let me see. I'm going to check real fast. I think he's asleep. We don't be sticking your banana finger. <laughs> I love you, JD. JD, you're on a roll tonight. Dude, that Kratom's got you feeling good because you are. On, you're doing on fire. You're doing real well. I love it. Yeah, I would love to hang out with you sometime, dude. For sure. Yeah, he sprawled out on my bed. And that's another thing, guys. Is like last time he was really sick. Oh, whoever got me to 27, bless you. Last time he got sick, he um, wouldn't even like come by me and like I woke up this morning and he was like came into the bed like laid in the bed for the first time all week and he's sleeping in the bed right now so like I know he's not sick he was sick so whatever he ate made him sick I'm dude you guys we're ha we've been having a cat therapy I really love you guys I'm sorry for the people that are bored right now. I'm, I'm going to literally stop my cat therapy. I'm going to stop it. I'm sorry I'm boring people. Mushrooms. I didn't wear. It didn't wear. Dude. Yeah. I've, I've actually. I've known people that grow them and shit. <laughs> the first spirit that heard her say like fuck you they like right. dude what about the people have you guys ever seen that dude that like paid all that money to make himself a collie in New York and he walks around like a furry like a collie dog do you know what I'm talking about has anybody seen that story <laughs> what did I ask you guys again? Who did I ask you about? I'm so sorry. I started reading the comment. I think the rice is a decent way to get it to grow. The rice. Huh. 
I just forgot. Is that bad that I forgot who I was talking about? Oh, yeah, the furry guy. Yeah, 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 that fucking furry guy. So, okay, so imagine, I'm like, come on, I had a whole bit in my head, and I forgot because I started reading the comments. Imagine the furry guy, right, rolling around, because I seen a video of him in the park, right? Picture this cat or this dog looking at you, and you're just sitting in the park and you're eyeing mushrooms, right? Smoking a joint, and this furry walks by, and you don't know it's a furry because it's a human under there. And it's like, What's up, dude? and just like talks to you, walks by, like, What up, dude? and like you look, nobody heard it but you, and he just walks away, literally just walks away with the owner, with the person that's walking him. Could you imagine that? You're like talking to your boys, like, I swear to you, that dog just said, What's up to me. No one would ever believe you. No one would ever believe you. I thought about that the first time I saw it. I'm like, man, imagine if it talked to you. And you're like, no one would ever believe you. We got a little mixture good. No. Yeah. That furry guy, man. Unreal. Anyway, sorry. That was, uh, I always thought about that. Like, imagine just sitting there on a bench and the furry guy just be sitting there. And you don't even know. If I was on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bug the furry. Well, you wouldn't know it's a furry, though. That's the thing. You would just think it's a dog. And all of a sudden, the dog's like, what's up? That would fuck you up. You'd be like, what the fuck? That dog just talked to me. I swear it just talked to me. Yeah. You'd be like, what? Well, you're saying you would walk up and try to talk to it? You'd be like, what's up, bro? <laughs> What's poppin' dog? <laughs> um, hope you're all good, dog. Starts rolling around and shit. That is crazy. That's a crazy one. For real, for real. That's a, that's a crazy scenario right there. I watched a video. Yeah, yeah, am I chicken? We may put it in the room. Try that. I I was I mean not that in particular, Nana, but I was gonna say when I went to Alabama. We used to go pick shrooms in the morning. Like for I, was, I stayed there for two weeks, and every morning, well, f at least like four or five mornings at the crack of dawn, we went and picked shrooms off of the cow shit, all throughout the fucking fields and shit. It was cool. <clears throat> I had like a garbage bag driving back. I was sticking. I always think of the chips of two options. Focus them. My favorite is in the dark, getting into the visual. I get what you're saying, JD. I either like being in the woods and having like the the visuals from like the trees coming at you and all the colors from the sun and all that coming, or when you're in the dark. And you could have like a laser pointer and you could just watch the laser pointers trail up off the ceiling and the sky and the fucking wall. And you could just watch that and zone out. And next thing you know, you could become that laser pointer. You know what I'm saying? I like that trip better. I, I honestly, the woods sound fun, but if I had a choice, I think 
the dark with the lights like sound dope like the lasers you know you get crazy visuals but day tripping you get some crazy visuals too though especially if you live in Cleveland like up in Cleveland it's so beautiful Michigan too it's all hilly and nice. Oh, yeah. What do you see in the sky? Because we got some crazy, some crazy shit, too. I'm really, I'm really, um, I'm going to go for the heating pad first. I think the heating pad's a good, I, the, the best idea. Maybe CBD to help his hips and maybe that'll relax him. But the heating pad for sure, dude. We put a laser pointer at the thing and it zoomed away. Yeah. Oh shit. I've I've seen some crazy stuff in the sky. I don't know what it was though. I've got some crazy videos and seen some crazy stuff, but I never I don't know what it was. I say it was like probably our military. What a towel with the saw the rat. In the heating pad? Ooh. Would that even be better? That sounds... What do you think? Do you think uh, uh, that would be even better? I was just... I think that might get them too hot. I was thinking, like, just wrapping them with the heating pad and then, like, doing the salt, Epsom salt, maybe in the morning. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, dude, I've seen some stuff where moist heat. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nana. Um, yeah, I seen a ship and then just gone. And I don't believe in UFOs or nothing, but I seen it. I've seen orbs and shit, you know. Okay. Okay. Then. Okay. I'm going to put it on his side of the bed. And I'll just pet him. At this point, man, he'll do whatever for me. I just, right now he's sleeping. So. If I was tripping in the dark in the woods, I might have a... Yeah, dark in the woods sounds shitty. Yeah. I mean, if you have a flat... Yeah, no, dark in the woods sucks. Even at, like, at a festival, you don't want to be... You, want, you need to be able to buy a fire or something. Bro, hey, hey, alien. Do you like uh, futuristic and dizzy? Right? Fut that's that's all with him and, with them and and uh, lazy bro. Our military has UFOs. I know for sure. And I live right by Patterson Air Force Base. And I'm gonna sit I smoke this weed. I smoke off a whole lot of weed, man. 
Yeah, I got this. It's mushroom bar. It's in. The, it's like four grams of mushroom. Hold on. It's from the dispensary, though, in Cali. No, futuristic. If you don't know who he is, bro, Google futuristic with uh, Dizzy Wright and Lazy Bone. Oh, what's he doing? Let me take a Get it, I will say this when I make food, when I have eaten, is the best time I've gotten Marmars to eat when he sees me eat. But right now, if he's sleeping in my bed, bro, I want to leave him be. I live in the woods, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're from the city. We're not, we're still, we're still, we're still like, we still got some country in us, though. Don't get us wrong. We're, we're, we're some, we're some, we're some, what are we, Ryan? We got, we got both. We're city boys that have a lot of country, too. We go fishing and fucking kicking it in the fucking woods. And... But not tripping in the dark. That shit don't sound fun. Sparks probably are going to wake up where like, I can't believe he went for that much longer. He's crazy. I don't know how much longer I went. <clears throat> oh, you have a huge bass in your pond and bluegill. I love fishing bluegill. I know people don't like bluegill. I like. Fishing blue go. Brian said, fishing is what I do. That's Ryan's thing, man. Go check. Gonna play this song you recommended. I'll be back. Hey, do it. Smoke one to it. No, oh, bro. Well. Uh, good. Uh, Ryan, when was the last time you went fishing? Have you? Is it be is it because of the weather or what? Do you think that eclipse affected? I I feel like the eclipse affected our animals. You guys. Facts. I know way too many animals that are fucked up right now because of right after the eclipse. I remember in 2017 shit was real weird after the eclipse too. It just me. Uh, that's, 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 that's,
Oh, man. And what's funny, the guys, is like, if I go to lay in my bed, he's going to get up and cry. If I leave him, he gets up and cry. He wants to be by me. The fact that he went to bed, I'm just happy for him. Could be we have IG now. Damn. Why don't you fish, bro? Is no one wanting... I seen you try to reach out. Has no one reached out to fish with you? Or you just haven't been in the mood? Sleeping and shit? Doing this shit? Or you just not felt like it? One eight seven, dog. No, I'm saying like, why has it been so long since you last time fishing? Dude, it's crazy. Now you're on you're on 188 cuz it's a new day, bro. Right? Or am I wrong? Damn, Drake did come out with a pretty nice fucking comeback, so. Dude, the pond sounds fun, man. I wish I could still fish in the fucking... I always walk... I just... Like, go to the dispensary by my house. I like to walk over this bridge and look at the at the fish in, this, in the water, and there's, like, giant fish in them, but I guess they're not worth shit. The turtles get hung. Who hangs the turtles? Is there racist? Is there racist turtle haters up there? How do you hate turtles? I seen turtles humping once, dude. I've been going through uh, dead skins. I hear you. Cool. Yeah. No. Uh, it was cool. I don't know. I, I like it on my playlist to smoke, too, for sure. Turtles can't ruin a pun. No, can. One time I was at the Cleveland Zoo with Danny and Stephanie, right? And we were at, it was after we went to the ledges. And we took my little brother. And he was like three years old for his birthday. And I'll never forget because we had a balloon tied to his wrist and he's walking around with us and all that. We ate mushrooms. And Danny bust out his metal bowl when we were in the car. First, he goes, my, he goes, daddy has one of those. We're like, what the fuck? How does he know this shit? And we're like rolling around the Metro parks trying to burn a bowl before we walk into the fucking, uh, I've ate turtle. Before we walk into uh, 
the zoo, right? So we're trying to smoke this weed that we bought from this hippie on the beach at the ledges. Anyways, my brother looks at Danny and goes, I don't like that. And I looked at my brother like, bro, man, the fuck up. We're going to smoke, dude. <laughs> I'll never forget that shit. So anyways, we get in there and we walk up to the fucking, uh, we walk up and there's the turtle, uh, uh, not aquarium. It's the big turtles, the tortoises, the big ones, right? The big fucking one. And we walk up and uh, these like oversized, like 200 year old tortoises were fucking dude. One was on the side and it was like, uh, and its head would fucking come all the way out of its shell. And it would slide down its head would go in and it would go all full thrust head out and it was just dude and we're just sitting there laughing our fucking asses off and like my little brother's like what are they doing um um Um, it's long enough to slap you in the face with it. I tried to be nice. I was not gonna, but no, don't block them. Let them take it. Take uh, I, long enough to get slapped in the face with it, bro. Long enough to leave a stamp on your face for sure. No questions asked. Without even fucking getting excited. Yeah, Spark would totally get on that. I can't. What is it? Is it bad? Is it talking about little kids? Ryan, I can't read that. Anybody that can read that, if it's like talking about little kids and weird shit, then fuck that cat. Bro, why would you say some shit like that, bro? You need to get reported. I swear on my grave, bro. You need to not even report it. Someone needs to just fucking put you out of your misery, bro. You're fucking disgusting. Honestly, dude, that's not enough. I wish I no, not 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 longer. I'm saying, bro, I wish that there was a way to get internet punishment where we could actually like physically fucking smack the shit out of you. Fucking weirdo. Dude, there are some weird fucking people, bro. Man, do this long enough. You guys all been in here long enough. Fuck with me. Ryan knows. JD's watched long enough streams. You've seen how many fucked up people there are, dude. These people done lost their fucking mind. You miss some dude say some really fucked up weird name. I don't even know, but it sounds pretty fucking pedo to me. Talking about weird stuff. Oh. I don't know what that flag is, Doug. What's that flag?
What's that flag, BT? How you doing, bro? What's that flag mean? Is it about to be Chomo time or what, dude? Chomos need Israel. <sighs> Why are you gaslighting people, bro? I'm not being mad with you. I don't know why you're gaslighting people, though. Why does nobody... What if nobody wants to see that shit because they just want to kick it? You want to put that gaslighting fucking, you know, uh, uh, fucking propaganda bullshit in my chat, bro. Come on, man. We kicking it. We all see that shit on the news, bro. You want to do that shit? Wait till my show earlier in the day, man. Chomo's no good, bro. He needs reported, to be honest. He needs reported. Hi, Annie. Are you little? Are you an aunt by any chance? Dude, look at the name, dude. I'm being quiet because I'm tr I'm literally just flabbergasted at the dumb shit that I'm seeing. So. And at the same breath, I'm just like, huh. What's up? Man, it would only be right if I were to end the show on just blocking everybody. <laughs> If I just went on a full block stream, I'm just playing. I don't even be right if I'm like, all right, I'm going to end it on this. Pow, 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 show's over. I'm just playing. What's up, analish forever? Do you like anal? Are you trying to uh, gaslight people on anal too? I want to know what goes through people's heads. I don't care, dude. I'm down to talk and be funny and have shit. Fear mongers, exactly, bro. Why? For the betterment of the world, the whole Middle East needs to be glass, Mike J. <laughs> What does gaslighting mean? You don't know what gaslighting means? Then you're probably too young to be in this chat. If you don't know what gaslighting means, you might not want to be here. Everybody that I'm talking, everybody knows what gaslighting means, right? I didn't go over anybody's head, right? I don't need to explain what gaslighting is, right? Do I? No, it's not fear. It's projecting onto people. It's putting your fucking beliefs onto people that don't want to fucking see it. That's gaslighting. It's not fear mongering. I'm not scared of the Israel flag. It's just fucking gaslighting. No one wants to see that shit. Go watch Fox News if you want to see that shit. It's why we're not on the fucking news soon, so we don't have to do that. All right, well, then don't do it. That's cool. We're cool. I'm not trying to be mean. Just keep it that way. Are you, unless you're just trying to make fun of the Jays, which I can get down with that. Are you guys reading the title to the... To the gut that says fear...
YouTube black a comment on this channel for YouTube for Charlie Yeah, nah, no, anybody, if anybody's in the chat or you're in someone's chat and somebody's talking about stuff like that, we need to report them cats for real. Because even if they're joking, again, I don't believe, I feel like there's smoke to all fire. So even if they're smoking, like, or not or joking, they're probably on some bullshit. Why are you thinking like that? It's like, who even wants to present that? Unless you're really a weirdo. Look at the guy who said fear. Read his name. <laughs> kind of funny, Nana. It's disgusting, but it's kind of funny. I mean, there's no kids involved. I'm a big boy. His name's fine. <laughs> I made me laugh. I can use a good laugh here and there. I mean, yeah, yours. <laughs> it wasn't enough for me to feel like, oh, yeah, this guy's trying to go diddle a little kid. I just thought it was like, it's pretty fucking, it's pretty uh, original, man. You came up with your own shit there. I got to give you respect. Okay, now don't start talking crazy. You, I gave you a compliment. Now, you know. Remember, this is a, just, uh, just so you know. Remember, this is not a democracy. This is a Republican. And, um, yeah. What's an Apple Pencil? Actually, before I yell at you, what's I grip the apple pencil? It sounds like to me a penis. You're really on one tonight, buddy. You're on fire. <laughs> what's going on, man? And how I used to be. What kind of used to be? You know what? Hey, long dong, ding, long, shlong, doogly. Hit the like button, bro. I want to be at 30 now. If I can break 27, I can get to 30. <laughs> pencil dick. <laughs> hey, pencil dick. <laughs> Major order. Units. Hit the like button, bro. I'm not reading that shit. If that shit don't change to 28, I am not reading that fucking comment. It's used in for computers. So a lot of these be hating, huh? Don't be a hater. Trials and tribulations, huh? You're welcome, Doc. Tried to be nice. I'm usually running a tight ship here. I let you get away with a lot. More than most. Right, Ryan? All right, chat. Whoever's left. Everybody knows. <laughs> the funny thing is I'm the most chill person. You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I had my finger on the button, dog. I know you did. You already see where I was getting. You love me, dude? <laughs> Come on, people. Hit the like button, right? 
You weren't 27, dude. I know who was 27. Were you 27? I don't think so. I've had 27 for a while, buddy. It's all good, dude. You don't have to like me. <clears throat> Just keep your finger out the can, Tim. <laughs> I sure shit will, JD. JD, brother. I love you like the fuck. Bro, you're cool as fuck, man. For real. Uh, they, I, I remember you did, Nana. Just keep your finger. I hear you, JD. I hear you, brother. For sure. I appreciate everything you said. I'm going to do it, too, for sure. I'm going to do everything you said. And, Nana, you guys both Came with very solid information. What, your avatar is Pink Panther? Thought it was a rooster or something, dude. <laughs> Don't get up, though. Donged up, though. <laughs> Okay, get the dong up. I don't remember him having a long nose. What is that, a dong on his nose? I, I can't see it. You guys are seeing what I can't. This guy's interesting. He's got a... F you took a lot of work to come in and be fucking... See, look, bro, I respect that. You took the time. And the work to come in, but you gotta say better comments. Your comments are whack. You got the name down, you got the avatar, and I get your comments. He's got a regular pain the nose. Okay, normal comments, cool. Come in like just don't I forget what you said. Maybe you weren't the one, man. Maybe I'm getting people mixed up now. Oh, I think we blocked the one that said the fucked up shit actually. Oh, it's not a penis now? <laughs> no, it's not a penis Breathe Are you, uh, are you, were you live? I've been live since like eight o'clock or something. I did the fight. I'll definitely peep it out. You didn't send me a link. Did people pop in? I didn't even get a fucking... I didn't get nothing. I didn't get no nothing. What's good, baby, with brother man? Did y'all took out that table? You know, I feed my daughter's so. mm -hmm. Ooh. He's telling me he wants water. All right, I'll be right back, you guys. I am going to grab him some water. Mama, here, here. Bubba, here, come on, come on, buddy, get up out of there, come on, come on, Bubba, 
Come on. Come on, here. Come get your water. Come here, baby boy. Dude, he's dug the fuck out of his butt. Homeboy was actually truly mad because I didn't go on his show and like came in here and said that and left. That's kind of crazy. I hope that wasn't it. Did Tyson fight tonight? I hope he wins, man. For everybody else's sake. Oh, good. I'm like, damn. Go with the great spirit. <laughs> What's that mean? The great spirit, Mike Selen. Frog goo. Oh, man. That sounds intense. Yeah, Breezy Marmars is still fucking sick, dude. Google says the Tyson fight is not. It isn't for months. That's why I don't really talk about it too much. I said, let's get closer to the fight. Tell the dude's bad. Tell assholes. Um, the Garcia fights on 420. It's on July 20th, too. I got a picture of eating it and a picture of my have everything good girl. Right. And I can have everything in you. Oh, like What does go with the great spirit mean, Breezy? Sounds like some Indian stuff. Here, Bubba. Your bubba. Yeah. Just drink this, buddy. You got it. Drink your water, buddy. Drink your water. Drink it. Drink it, bro. You got it. Eat your food, man.
right, y'all. Look, it has been super real. It's getting late, and my dude's just struggling, and I should probably uh, get him together with that heating pad here shortly. He's in his box, and like, I don't know what the fuck, man. Who do I got left? This counter thing is crazy. I came back. I thought it was at zero. It said zero. Now it says there's seven people. I'm like, the fuck? It'd be lying. Who's Garcia fighting? Who's Garcia fighting? Oh. I appreciate you, alienated. He's drinking his water right now. Listen, man, the way I look at it is the least he has to deal with me, you guys. Because, look, guys, you guys got to understand he's old. So, like, any type of stress or pressure I put on him makes it worse. That's why I've been staying on with you guys. Like, literally, I don't have, like, I, I, it's a lot easier. Like, if not, then I'd just be stressing out. And, like, he, he's doing well. Like, He's doing everything he needs to do. You guys have been sticking around. Like, I've done everything I can. I feel you. Thank you, Nana. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's smashing his water right now, though. And that's a good sign that he's drinking water, at least. So, you know. But, yeah, other than that, man, what's everybody got planned for tomorrow? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, JD. Like, the fact that he's still drinking it, I just, you know, you just got to keep changing it. That's why I keep getting up as I change his water every five minutes, and he's smashing it right now. It's weird, dude. I got to move it. Like, I, I got to keep putting it in weird places for him to drink it. That's the, that's why I've been giving him, like, I have, like, a liquid syringe, and I've been shooting that pumpkin with water, and, like, I've been giving, I've been, look, I've been hydrating him whether he wants it or not. No. He doesn't have worms. Nah, he's good on that type of shit. I took him to the vet within the last year. He was straight. There's nothing that would give him worm. I would know. He sleeps in my bed. Lay off the pumpkin and stuff for now. All right. Let it do its thing. Let him just do his thing. Water and food or whatever. I appreciate the advice, brother. Real talk. <clears throat> Real fucking talk. I don't know what else. I'm trying to think of anything else real funny. We could get in a good mood before before I call it a night. 
I was gonna call it a night because I thought it was completely empty. The chat, the the thing said zero, and then it went up to six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm like, what the fuck? It lies. How, Ryan? I don't get it, dude. People be sleeping with 30 viewers, bro. It's got to be just because the chat, and it's probably they can say whatever. Or is there, like, wrenches? Does he have, like, wrenches? Isn't that shit hilarious, dude? I've, I've seen a lot of crazy fucking videos, you guys. Dude, this is the most water I've seen him drink all day, you guys. That's why I like to stay up with him. This is when the West Coast shows up. I know, JD. I'm almost thinking about... I'm almost thinking about killing the stream and just <laughs> kicking another one up. It just depends on who's up. Or we could just keep it like this. Fuck it. It'll be like the longest stream ever. <laughs> I hate I hate stupid long ones. It dumbs down your shit. But I feel like at this point, this is when the West Coast shows up. I feel like the West Coast last night didn't show up. You're not getting notifications. See, no one's getting notifications. That's so stupid. Does it court views from moderators? I don't know. That's a good point. I don't know, man. I don't know shit. I didn't think about that. No, just yours, but for anyone. Yeah, try hitting the bell. Try hitting the bell. Well, look, this is what I'm going to do. I am going to... Ryan, are you awake or are you going to bed? I'm debating what I'm going to do. I was thinking maybe like I was going to end it. Go get Marley this. Uh, how old are your idiot? How about? All right, dude, this is what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. I'm going to turn on the heating pad and put it where Marley lays. I'm going to, and then. I'm going to re-kick the stream back up. and I'll, I'll re-kick the stream back up right away if you guys want to pop back in while I make the coffee. Is that cool? You guys want to come back or should I not restart it? Nandi, nice. Your Sparks age. 55, perfect age. What's up, dude? Can't you take the camera with you? No, because it's on the um charger. So, like, if I unplug it, it's going to end the stream. Okay, dude. Don't come here saying that stuff. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to re-kick it. Everybody, if you want to come back, I'd appreciate it. I'll be chopping it up with you. I'm just going to re-kick the stream. So that way I can unplug my phone and I can walk around for the rest of the night. Because I can unplug it. I'm just stuck with the phone like this. But I can walk around with it once I unplug it. So I'm going to unplug it and restart it. So pop back in. Everybody, I'll be right back. Legit. All right, y'all. Peace out.